You get this for one hour. I prefer you in leather anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Stop, stop. Kitching.
Are you ready for your present? You're gonna love it. Ka ching Hello everyone. The remix. Holy crap, the remix has been wild. Uh, a little bit overstimulating. I apologize for that. I know it's the remix and like all kinds of remixes. <sighs> Hello, happy Wednesday. I hope you're all having a good is it Wednesday? It is Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. <laughs> Um, CC is on. Perfect. You can hear me. You can see me. That's amazing. Thank you, everyone, for the uh, very kind welcome for the hype train. We've already had gifted subs and and bits and new subs and everything. Thank you so, so much, everyone, for the support. As usual, I will go through everything bit by bit. <laughs> Unintended, you know? Um, and um, yeah, say hello to everyone. I hope you all are doing well. You do seem to be in a good mood, which is nice very good i love to hear that um and i am very excited for some animal crossing today um okay first of all let me say hello to the early squad also by the way i do hope that sound wise everything's okay and normal and good oh my god look at this terrain why does it drive backwards i don't get it it's like actually on the screen I saw Luna be in the last place in the last wagon thing and was like, hi. And then, um, and then it drives backwards. I don't get that. Anyway, look at this freaking long train. Ah, oh, cat's alert didn't show video again. The 300 one. Okay. 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 Are you ready for your present? You're gonna love it. I don't know why. Honestly, the file size of this is smaller than the previous one I had, so it shouldn't have any issues. Anywho, there we go. Um, Kata, Bambi, Kawaii, Chrissy, Paulina, Kat, Persephone, Lucy, Luna, and Schmeige. All of you got the early squad today. Thank you for being here so early. Uh, thank you for claiming that. Enjoy the bragging rights, I think it is. I don't like this song. I think that's one of the Sim songs, but it's like a little bit too much piano action in my ear. Um... 
Enjoy the bragging rights. Okay, how do we do this? Do I go through activity feed and say thank you for all the support? Or do I go through chat and say hello to all of you and tackle it as I go? It's always, that's my first decision every time I start streaming. And I'm always overwhelmed because I always fear that I'm I'm not going to, um, yeah, I'm going to, I don't know, I'm, like skip people or whatever. Anywho, <laughs> it might take me a second to get to your message or to get to your resub. Um, but I do just want to say thank you everyone for hopping in, for being here, for being so excited about this island. I'm, Stop. Stop. I'm very grateful for that. Stop. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Um, I'll go through chat, okay? I'll go through chat and I'll say thank you for all those things there. Okay, um, Kata and Kat and Bumby, welcome on in. Paulina, hello. Mikey, welcome on in. I think Chrissy was here also first, but the hype train thing is kind of blocking it right now. Um, but Chrissy, welcome on in. Hello. Um, Bumby, welcome on in. Um, 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 let's see, let's see. Luna is 100% wobbly today. Very exciting to see. I was 71. I thought like that's actually kind of good. And then Luna came in was like 100% and she was like, you know, wobble to me. And we were all like, <laughs> like the cult that we are. I love it. <laughs> uh, Lucy, hello. Welcome on in. Persephone, Anamik, welcome on in. Hello. Also, Paulina, I hope your stream went well. I hope your, your co work. I think you did co working today. I hope that went well. I was just um, able to lurk for like a little bit. And then I just saw that you gave me a shout out just before you, before my stream started. So thank you for that. And I hope, I hope it was good. I hope we're doing well. Um, I've actually, actually, wait, I think, I think I read on, thank you for the shout out. I think I read in Mia's stream that you were haunted by a mosquito last night. So I hope you're feeling better now. Um, Tiziko, hello. And Kawaii, welcome on in. Yan, welcome on in. Um, uh, let's see, let's see. Vanessa and Molly and Gaia. It's good, it's good to see all of you. Hello. Um, also, we can maybe later at some point get a shout out for Kawaii and also for Yun. Both of them also stream uh, here on Twitch. But yeah, take your time. I think there can only ever be like one shout out at a time. So no, no rush, but just um, just throwing that out there. And thank you. Um, also, Judith, welcome on in. I'm new and finally catching my first stream. Welcome on in. I hope we're doing well today. Kuina, welcome on in. Uh, staying with the multitasking today, I spammed the redeem button with one hand while the other one was typing on my phone. Oh my god, Chrissy, you're like a, a stream watching and multitasking pro. That's just what it is. Thank you for the hype train. Thank you so, so much. Um, Persephone, all eyes on Persephone. Oh, you've collected all level three emotes. Okay, I can't, I don't get any emotes. Oh, <gasps> did you get it? Oh my god, yes! Yeah! Oh my god, let's go. Persephone finally got the other wing. Also, bye-bye, train. Thank you, everyone. Why are there so many, like, hello? <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for the support. God, I haven't even been live for 15 minutes, and y'all have already, like, loaded up an entire freaking train. I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, Flora, hello, it's good to see you again. And then uh, Christina, thank you for the nine month resub. I hope you enjoy your new mum batch because you do get a new one at nine months. I'm not quite sure which one, um, but I hope you like it. Thank you for the continued support. And Luna, thank you for that gifted stuff to Judith. Judith, I hope you like the emotes and the badge as well. I'm pretty sure y'all have already been chatting and have said thank you and all that kind of stuff. But just in case anyone got a gifted sub, make sure you say thank you if you're here and enjoy the emotes. I hope you like them. Um, Alimen, also welcome to the chat. Hello. Cherry, welcome on in. Hello. Pia, welcome on in. Did I already say hello to Pia? I'm not sure. <sighs> Nadia, also, thank you for an entire year. Um, thank you for the 12 month resub. Hello. That's the new sub sound. Hello. <laughs> um, Thank you so much. I will I will get there. I will get there again. But thank you uh, so, so much for the brand new sub. Um, and Nadia, thank you for the 12 months. Thank you for an entire year. Um, I also hope that you like the new mum badge because you also do get a new one. I hope you like it. Um, Savage, welcome on. It's my first time catching a stream. Welcome on in. I hope you're doing well. Happy Wednesday. Um, and then Anamik, also with the tier two resub for 12 months. Thank you for an entire year. And also a tier two, Anamik, that is a lot of support. Thank you so, so much for that. I really am. Um, I really appreciate it. Oh, wait, what happened to Shmaigi? Guess who passed all the uni exams and cried in front of the professors because of the relief. Oh my gosh, Shmaigi, I'm so proud of you though. Congrats. You can take a deep breath 
and just let all the stress go for a little bit. That's really nice. That's really awesome. That's really, really nice. That's a good day. That's a good day. Were you wobbly? What was your wobbly score today? Uh, Kata, thank you for the 269 bits. Thank you so, so much for those. Uh, Kuina, thank you for the 100 bits. Thank you. Um, I'm so new to all this. I feel like a lost grandma. One step at a time, Judith. No, no rush, no worries. Twitch can be very confusing at the start. At some point, you really do get the hang of it. Um, but yeah, feel free to ask, you know, if there's anything in particular that you would like to know. But yeah. Michelle, also welcome on in. Jan, uh, thank you for the 69 bits as well. Did I say hello to you? I think I did. But thank you for the 69 bitties. Um, and then Persephone, also thank you for the 100 bits. I'm glad that you got the you got the wing today. <laughs> You're all usuals here. You know what? Not everyone, not everyone. I actually read this thing the other day that I thought was quite cute. It was like kind of like, um, you know, a stream is kind of like um an evening at a bar it's kind of like opening a bar you know like i open the bar there's some people here who are like regulars who are here like all mostly all the time who just always hang out um and then there's always a few people like coming in and leaving again and there's busy nights there's not so busy nights and i thought that was kind of actually kind of cute so yeah there's always some new people coming in there's always some regulars hanging out uh which makes like a very a very fun mix i would say yeah, yeah. Uh, Ruby, also welcome on in. Hello. Let me see. Um, Pia, also thank you for the leftover 43 bitties. Thank you. Uh, Domi, also enjoy your lurk. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Uh, and then we have Polina, also with 100 bits. Thank you so much for those as well. Uh, and then Bambi with the gifted sub to Moth. Thank you for the gift sub to Moth. Moth, enjoy the emotes. Uh, and then you probably also th said thank you and stuff. But um, thank you for the support. I have the person who created the song got double the money for the commission. The B-Boss? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> True. Uh, Luna, also thank you for the 100 bits. Thank you everyone for all the biddies. Hello. I know all the dancing before stream. That was awesome to see. Thank you for that follow as well. I appreciate it. Uh, and then Pia, thank you for the gift of to Ambient Alyssa. Alyssa, if you're here, haven't just yet said thank you. Gosh, haven't just yet said thank you. Make sure that you do that. Enjoy the emotes. And Pia, thank you for the support. Thank you. You are all too sweet to me. Um, Michelle, also, thank you for your resub for four months. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And Judith, thank you for that follow. <sighs> And Demon Kai, welcome on in. It's been a minute since I watched a stream, but I'm glad to be back. Welcome back. You've joined back with like at very at a very exciting time, I guess, because we're starting. Uh, I mean, we're not really starting it today. We started it on Sunday, but we're still very much in the early progress of our very new island. So, you know, it's a good time. It's a good uh, time to join. I would say, you know, but then I get I, I, I guess I would like to say every time is a good time, but, you know, <laughs> Also, Kat, welcome on in. Hello. And then Savage, thank you. so. By the way, is it okay if I say Savage? Because it's Savage Dark Skull. Um, thank you for the shout out for Kawaii. Thank you so much for that brand new... Not that song. Uh, thank you so much for that brand new sub for three months in advance. Thank you so much for the support and also the trust. And I do hope that you like the emotes. I hope you like the little badge in front of your name. And of course, the ad free viewing. It's a, an important part of it. Um, thank you so, so much for, for the support. And uh, Kat, thank you for the 300 bits. Sorry that the alert didn't play. Um, I I think it's out of my it's out of my control because I already I thought if I had a smaller file size, you know, that the moment it happened, that it didn't have to drag the alert from like a platform with so much effort anymore. But apparently that's not the case. I don't know. I don't really understand, understand it either. <laughs> oh gosh. But Kat, thank you for the 300 bits. And then how's Kat? Thank you for the 100 bits. Thank you so much, both of you, for the BDs. And Tish, enjoy your lurk. Um, and then let's see, let's see. Thomas, also enjoy your lurk. I like your shirt. Thank you. It's actually kind of a new one. Um, and I kind of like it too. It has like a, it's sometimes, okay honest moment we've talked about you know that area before sometimes it bunches a little weirdly and it'll kind of lay like this which is not the greatest but apart from that i like it 
Um, it's kind of like a mixture between like a a gray and a blue, which I think is kind of nice. But thank you, Pia. Um, also, Fable, welcome on in. Hello. Uh, I'm still, wait, I don't, who was that? Lauren, thank you so much for the three-month resub. I'm still going through the chat right now, so I still haven't even said thank you to a few um, like sub in, subs in between. But Lauren, thank you for the three-month resub and enjoy your new, enjoy your new patch as well. It's Wednesday, my dudes. Yeah. <sighs> Michelle, also enjoy your lurk. And then Snow Eagle, thank you so much for the 17 month resub. Thank you so much for the continued support for such a long time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Such perfect curls today. That's interesting. I just said to Kat before how I didn't like them today because it's like second day here and then I always have to refresh and then it always seems a bit frizzy at the top. But I think a lot of times when I just have it open, it's somewhat fine-ish because it's just a mass of hair. Also, speaking of, I finally uh, contacted my uh, hairdresser. And you know when her next available appointment is? Uh, thank you for the shout out for Yun. The next available appointment is literally at the end of May. So these will continue to grow for two and a half more months. I, I don't even, oh my God, that, yeah, May. Uh, I mean, you know, there's like Easter holiday and stuff in between and she's always kind of booked solid plus for me. Like usually I only take like Friday or Saturday appointments because of like, you know, the, I have to, they're ba it's back home at my parents basically. So it's like a three hour uh, train ride. So I always spend a little bit of time with my parents, which is nice, but obviously, so the planning is a bit more intense. And so I can only really, I can only really get an appointment on like Friday or Saturday. And then also because of, you know, touching up color and stuff, you can see how it's like growing out. It, I, it takes, I've got like, I've got a lot of hair, you know, so it takes about two and a half hours. So she can't just squeeze me in somewhere. And so she's always kind of booked, but like, I didn't expect that long to be honest. So I don't know. My hair will be, I'm going to guess like maybe this long, probably my hair grows like so I know like a lot of people would like to have their hair like never break off and like be thick and and grow fast. I'm so annoyed by it though. <laughs> oh gosh. Anywho. Mm. I'm in an amazing mood. I'm pleasantly surprised by my internship and I'm going to see my best again after three weeks. Oh my God, that's amazing. I hope you're all going to have an amazing stream. I'm going to stay for an hour and rewatch the rest later. Of course, Jerry, have the most fun. That sounds amazing. And also Molly, no worries. Thank you for hopping in all the time. I appreciate it. Riccatelli, also welcome on in. Arudia, thank you for the 100 bits as well. Thank you so, so much. Is my favorite alert ever? Oh wait, which one, which one happened? The 300 one? Are you ready for your present? <laughs> oh gosh. Um, also Kata, thank you for the 69 bits. Oh, stop the worrying, not the stream. Okay. Okay. I see. I see. I'll try. <laughs> also, Abby, welcome on in. It is good to see you. Hello, Marley. Welcome to the chat. Hello. Uh, I kind of missed last stream and kind of not needed to pre-sleep for the big Oscar night. Oh, oh, did you stay up and like actually watch it? But I'm very excited for Kefi and your starters are 10 out of 10. Honestly, when I got Hazel, I was like, oh, dang it. Bambi isn't here to see it. <laughs> And Tank is my birthday buddy. Oh my god, let's go. So those were actually kind of Bumby starters, right? And 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 you weren't here? Mm-hmm. I'm kidding. I did think of you immediately when we got Hazel, though. I, I gotta be honest. But yeah, I'm excited too. Um, also, Charlie Lane, welcome on in. It's good to see you again. Hello. Let's see. Ekpakmich, welcome on in. When Luna says bark, I bark. Yeah, true. <laughs> also tiger and hobsy welcome on in hello uh, i just found out about the youtube and twitch this week and i'm binge watching you oh my god marley have fun i guess have fun welcome on in if you're watching the let's play and the long plays you have a solid couple of hours to binge watch me which i can only say ha have fun i think <laughs> It was torture, but she got what she deserved. The mosquito? Yeah. Yeah. I bought Animal Crossing like three to four weeks ago. Oh my God. Let's go. Let's go. I hope you're loving it. 
Also, Domi, welcome to the... Is it Domi or Domi? Uh, welcome to the chat. My first stream after finding you on YouTube. Welcome on in. It makes me very happy to know that people are actually like finding my streams from from YouTube because when I first started, it was like, okay, do I stream on YouTube or do I stream on Twitch? But like, I initially actually got into Twitch first, um, but then I wasn't brave enough to stream. So I was like, okay, I'll do videos, you know, I'll try it with videos. And after I did a couple of months of videos, I then started streaming. But then I was like, I feel like it needs to be Twitch. And then I was worried that people weren't going to go from one platform to the other, you know. I just had the best luck. I restarted my island and my three starter um, plots filled with, oh, Silvana, cute. Rosie and Stitches. Ooh, good starters. Emmy, welcome on in. And also, uh, Lin's, Lin's Nick Games, I think it is. Welcome on in. I finally caught you live. I've been watching all your Let's Plays. Thank you. Thank you so much. Welcome on in. Welcome to the Twitch side of things, where stuff um is usually a little bit more chaotic, I will say. Um, which, you know, in my opinion, that's not my fault. That is the, the chat's fault, because really, that's the only thing that differs between this and YouTube videos. <laughs> But the chat probably, yeah, see, the chat will probably not agree with me on that. Whatever. <laughs> Rude. Liar. I'm not a liar. <laughs> also, the, um, oh, is it Oli Bear or Ollie Bear? Thank you so, so much for the brand new Prime sub. Thank you. Uh, thank you for using that on me. You only get that one. So thank you for using that on me. And enjoy your emotes, the ad for viewing, and also... What else am I missing? The badge. The badge in front of your name. Thank you so much. Thank you. I do not accept your reasoning. It's still cozy. It's cozy chaos. A little bit more. Yeah, it do be a little bit a little bit chaotic, but it also do be cozy. Usually we we go through like phases throughout a stream. Like there is there is parts where there's a bit more chaos. And then there's also sometimes there's just parts where we like we we chill. We relax, we chill. You know? <sighs> Gigi also welcome on in. Hello. Oh, you're you're welcome, Jan. You're welcome. You reminded me I wanted to ask you something in DMs. Oh yeah, do it. Do it. I'll probably like read an answer after after stream, but do it. Everyone is new at some point. Exactly. I was new to Twitch at some point. You know, I was definitely new to this platform. Uh, also, very enjoy your lurks. And it's Air Air Reka, I think it is. Thank you for that follow. I appreciate it. I love that. This is the most comfy bar that I've ever been to. Let's go. If this is a bar, I drop in for a very quick drink. Yeah, but it's nice. You always like hop in. You're like, hi, how's everyone doing? You know, and you grab your drink and then you you're on your way again. And that's OK. That's OK. I love the bar idea, right? A cozy, wobbly tavern. Exactly. <laughs> I really like that. I'll have two old fashioned and a pitcher of water for the table, please. No tab. I pay now. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, and I think, you know what, I, there's a couple, so, or like a coffee shop, I guess, would also work. Because I know, like, Diana, for example, she has this entire, like, daily snack, daily coffee type of thing. So you can have, like, is it chat commands or is it, like, little redemptions? But you can basically pick up your daily drink and stuff like that. So, like, people have actually used this analogy, I think, to um, create a sort of, yeah, cozy, cute little thing in their stream, which I think is really nice. Also, Vanessa, enjoy playing Animal Crossing. Have fun. If this is a bar, I feel like the weird person sitting in the back just randomly screaming thoughts once in a while. <laughs> I'll be the designated driver and sober friend. Awesome, Abby. You know what, Lucy? That's nice, though. You're just sitting and watching every... And then once in a while, you're like, oh, actually, I have a thought. <laughs> Maybe I live here. Maybe I don't. You'll never know. Yeah. Can I be the crazy old man that always be telling us <laughs> war stories? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Also, Tsiva, welcome on in. Savage is okay? Okay, perfect. If this is a bar, is it a yummy ice cream and coffee bar? Or boba? You know what? Whatever whatever you want. Whatever you want. Whatever you want. <laughs> was there a specific reason that you started a new island? Um, Basically, I was done with one of my islands. I had uploaded it as a DA, and whenever that happens for me, I usually just, uh, yeah, delete it and restart because then I can have separate DAs for my finished islands and I can just 
visit them in a dream or something. Um, I actually do sometimes go back because I need like certain content things from, from an island. So that's nice. Yeah. Cramps are kicking my booty more than usual. I'm curled up with my froggy heating pad and soaking out the wobbly vibes. Rudy, I hope it'll get better for you. I absolutely hate cramps, but you know what? Froggy heating pad sounds like a very good start. Yeah, we're sending you some healing vibes. Shirts sure, always do silly things depending on how you sit. No worries. Yeah. It's it's always this like this this line here, you know. I think that just kind of makes me like for given reasons. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm pretty new to Twitch too, and I had no idea what was happening at the start of the stream with the train and music going all over the shop and my earphones. I feel like a cranky villager now, old and confused. Oh no. Well, essentially, I always start the stream with like a little, a little bit of a like starting soon music. Like we're just either it's very chill or like today I put on the B boss music and then everyone has like a little dance party uh, while I get my coffee and get ready um, to like actually show my face and stuff. Um, which I mean, I kind of do that before I hit live, uh, go live, but you know. And then all the little bits that happened on top, that was either people resubbing or cheering bits. Um, and then those are all linked to some like either cute music or like funny or cute like sound alerts, I guess. And um, yeah, and then when that happens at the same time, it can get <laughs> a little bit much. <laughs> yeah, there you go. See, this is this is a little resub alert. Uh, Robin, it is good to see you. Thank you for the 11 month resub. I hope you're doing well today. I hope you're you you and everyone everyone in your household is doing well uh welcome on in uh, and lauren welcome to the chat was disappointed to miss stream on sunday having a bit of a difficult time at the moment but happy to be here today um it will definitely get better again lauren it always goes up and down a little bit so um you know just know that there will be better times and whenever you do get to join we're happy to have you here we're happy to you know be a space that you want to hang out in but if you don't if you if you can't make it that's totally fine and also Technically, we you know if you ever want to rewatch something, it's on the archive channel, but also never, never uh, any need to. I usually try to do like a tiny bit of a recap at the start of the stream or just kind of get everyone on the same page where we are with an island, etc. So, yeah. It's going to grow so much. I know. What's the longest you ever had your hair? We probably already, I probably already had this conversation. I think the longest I've ever had, but keep in mind that was when I still straightened my hair all the time was probably this much, but I hated it. That was too much. That was way too much because it's just, my hair is too thick for that stuff, you know? I can't deal with it when it's too long. But then I looked at pictures like from last year where it was kind of maybe this length and then I cut it down like this much and it's already grown back again and stuff. Yeah, it was quite long. I don't know if I can maybe show you like a picture. I don't know. I don't really take a lot of pictures of myself, so. I think that was, I was maybe like 16, 15, 16. Wait, I I'm doing math on my head. head. Okay, wait, I'll see if I have a picture maybe. Probably don't. Maybe not one that I want to show anyways. Um, Bug, thank you for the 10 month resub. Thank you. I hope we're doing well today. Oh, maybe I do. Oh my God, I had, I had bangs. This is me in Dublin in a cafe looking at cake as though I'm in love with it, which I mean mood, but that's the kind of that's that. No glasses. That was quite long. Uh, sometimes I kind of hate the fact. Okay. I never, I don't really have any pictures where you see like me in, 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 in my entirety because body issues. Um, but sometimes now I kind of hate it because I'd like to have some before and after pictures. Um, that wasn't me at 16, by the way. I was like... 20, 21 at that point. I look so different, I know, right? <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, I went to this. 
Oh yeah, I did have long hair when I was in Dublin, actually. Hmm. Oh god, pictures of myself, you know? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I feel like this length I've had quite like a few times already. Okay, when was I? I don't even know if I've got pictures of that on my phone. Hmm. I haven't slept at all last night. Oh no, brain is spicy. Please do not perceive. We won't, we won't. You're all good. Yeah, I don't really have, I don't think I have pictures at my like longest hair. Maybe, because I think that's when I like kind of got this phone. But I don't think there is anything. Me with braces. <laughs> Anywho, <laughs> moving on. That's a tattoo artist waiting time. It is actually I, I have my tattoo appointment for the first thing, though, for the vine, like two days before my hairdresser's appointment, which is, yeah. Can't cat cut? Oh my gosh, can't cat cut. Uh, her her dad can. Her dad is a hairdresser. But I feel like I've gone to this one hairdresser ever since I was like a, a tiny person. So, you know. You have no, no idea how annoyed I am at the rate my hair grows. The curse of an undercut. Oh yeah. I caught up on Sunday stream with the anxiety when your island crashed. Oh my god. Chrissy will probably come over again today. I'm not gonna lie, I'm already scared. <laughs> I'm so excited to see what we get done on the island today. Me too. I think we, we should be able to get to three stars, to be fair. Same PI. I want to I want the side of my head buzzed once a week if I could. Yeah. Yeah, because what is it with appointment waiting times? Yesterday, I finally went to the hairdresser, hairdresser that I got a gift card for to make an appointment. It's literally next door. I just always procrastinated going there. Relatable. And the next avail available appointment for what I want to do is May 20th. Yeah. Oh, I love my hair currently, but it's time for a refresh. Yeah, my, like my appointment, I think, is 25th of May now. Yep. I don't know. <laughs> I'm so frustrated with my hair. I'd love to just chop it off entirely, but we do know from experience that I probably wouldn't like it. Or would I? No, because I get the same. I get the same every some like right now, for example, I'm like, what do I really want? You know, I mean, generally, but you know what else? Uh, what else is new? And then I was looking at this picture where I like really chopped my hair up the other day. Uh, when was that? When did I get my hair chopped like really short? Um, 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 that was a while ago already, I think. Oh, I don't know. Oh, wait. Okay, here's a thumbnail picture where it is short. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, because that's the thing. You get back from the hair. I know I didn't like it when I got back from the hairdressers, but like, if I look at it like this, it's kind of... It's kind of a mood, but I know it doesn't look that good when I style it. So when I style it, it's 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 definitely more it's definitely more like flat and weird. Okay, I don't like this picture, but like, oh wait, I'm gonna sh I'm gonna find a different one. I'm gonna find a different one. Oh yeah, like this was actually a thumbnail picture. Oh my god, it's flipped. Ew. But like, that's how it looks when I style it. And I don't like that, you know? And so I, I go through like the the phases of like, ooh, maybe I want shorter hair and then I do it. And then that's not really it, you know? And this is what I do all the time now because I can't deal with everything in my in my face. So I'll, I'll always be, do this. And then that kind of, kind of gets annoying, you know? I don't know. <laughs> The balance that you do with YouTube and Twitch is perfect because for me, Twitch is just so much better as a viewer. Yeah, I oftentimes like I'll check you like I'll check Twitch first if someone is live and if no one is, then I'll go to YouTube and like look for a video. I was excited to find you on Twitch, to be honest. Nice. I also found your uh, streams through YouTube. You're one of the reasons why I'm even why I even started watching streams on Twitch. Let's go. 
Let's go. I got here via YouTube too, one and a half years ago. Oh my God. I'm fairly new to watching your live stream. Would you mind explaining what the wobbly score is? Oh, probably one of my mods already did, but I can do it just to say it out loud again. Also, Ferris, welcome on in. So the wobbly score is basically just a fun, uh, a fun number. It's just like, it's uh, basically a random number uh, and like a percentage and the higher it is, like the better it is, but it doesn't really do anything. You can't like influence it anyway. Um, and you can only do it every two hours, I think when I'm live. So yeah. And also 18 cues. Welcome on in. Thank you. I also bought this in Dublin, I think. I don't remember the store name though. But yeah. I have never seen any chaos anywhere in here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I downloaded Twitch just to watch you. I love your videos and always watch the lives. I thought I was missing uh, them on YouTube and then found out you stream here. Yes. Oh, thank you, Savage. Thank you so much. Kind of a fun song. Uh, I'm just starting Animal Crossing again, but how do you get all the cute stuff? Uh, you either have to grind for a very long time or probably uh, treasure islands. You can find a lot of treasure islands in like the Animal Crossing category here on Twitch, actually. And uh, they're islands on modded switches and they provide a lot of stuff that you can pick up and then just take home with you. Yeah. It's low-key chaos, though. Streamers can get super overstimulating, but the vibes here are really nice. I'm glad, Flora. I agree, actually, though. I think a lot of streamers or a lot of streams can sometimes be a little bit too... I think it's an energy thing, like too high energy. It's just a lot of times I can't... Uh, I can't process that for myself. Like, the I, what I need from a stream, it needs to have a certain, like, continuous, like, talking part. So I... Always get a little bit too confused if like there's a there's a stream where there's too much like quiet time, unless it's like a co-working thing maybe, but then that's intentional. Um, but otherwise I need like a bit of a steady kind of talking vibe and then also like not too overly shouting. Like I, this is gonna sound weird, you know, because I mean, as a content creator, the, the, the I guess the goal is always to entertain, you know, or to provide entertainment for people and to provide stuff that people actually enjoy watching. But I guess like stream, I don't want streams to be too much like I have to pay attention every single second. It's more like, a, you know, when I want to be engaged, I can. But if I just have it running on the side and I don't listen like 100% of the time, that's also OK, you know. And I feel like that's kind of the content that I make somewhat. So I guess it makes sense. <laughs> Also, Dragon's Fire, welcome on in. We can bring the chaos to the YouTube comments. Ooh, oh gosh. <laughs> I kept on hunting and I found Sasha. Oh, cute. Very cute. And also, Hannah, welcome to the chat. I'm also new to Twitch. I've been binging your videos on YouTube all day. I'm sick with the flu. First of all, I hope you uh, get better very soon. Um, and then welcome on in. Thank you for, for being here. And Alamatour, also welcome on in. So many new people here today. This is great. Yes, it's very exciting. Thank you everyone for being here. I'll be the person in the bar just randomly telling you Taylor Swift and Animal Crossing facts without being asked, starting the sentence with, what's also interesting. Yeah, and I can 100% guarantee that you will not find it interesting one, one bit. Yeah, you just sit there next to me and like, we're just gonna sit there in silence. And then you're gonna, what's also interesting is that in the, on the second album, in the third song, the third verse, the the fifth word, you know, she actually referenced, she co-referenced, like, I don't know. <laughs> I wish I could have said something actually true, but mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Still adjusting to newborn life, but the baby is getting better at sleeping, so I'm very grateful to that. Postpartum feelings are getting better as well. Good, good. Yeah, I think the postpartum stuff is, like, that's a real... That's a, a real like challenge. You got this. All of you are awesome. Yeah. Oh, of course, Queena. Enjoy your lurk as well. Enjoy your quiet time. And Lady, welcome on in. Still at work, so I'll be lurking until I get home. I hope you're all doing good. I hope work is going well for you. Enjoy your lurk. I like that length. I think, I think this is, yeah, this is kind of fine. I guess I would just kind of the song you're referencing doesn't have a third verse. 
Whatever, Chris. <laughs> I always hated getting photographed, and now I wish there were some more good, good pictures of me. Yep. Yep, absolutely. I have like one photo of myself when I was like 12 or to 15, but it, uh, 12 to 14, but it's so bad. I'm glad no others exist. Yeah. Due to the society we live in, I'm not surprised, but you're such a beam of light and so beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's, oh God, the inner voice. The inner voice is a, is an entire storyline, you know? Also this week, ah, you know? Baby Belene, I feel like the curls are so you. It's so different to see your straighter hair or even from older videos. True. Yeah, yeah, because I started YouTube and I was still straightening my hair. I was like, no, 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 I got straight hair. Yeah. I cut, actually, I cut my hair a little bit yesterday. I was like, oh, you know, if I'm going to have to wait like 700 years for the next appointment, I was like, okay, I'll take these few strands. But then some of them are like actually so short now, but it's okay. We just go with it, okay? <laughs> just go with it yeah i can cut i never tried to be honest though but i uh wouldn't be courageous enough to cut someone else's hair all oh, same same at uh, mizu thank you so much for the follow welcome on in i did many deliveries in the meantime and nothing happened i'm assuming it was a hiccup yeah yeah no i'm not i'm not blaming you just for the record chrissy i'm not blaming you by the way <laughs> when i had locks they were down to my butt in front they could do full coverage mermaid boobs oh my god luna Luna, let's go. Your curls like the exact type of curls that I always wanted when I still had wavier hair, but it's not almost straight, kind of changed stru structure during COVID. Oh my God. Oh my God, that's wild. Wait, so it's now almost straight, you're saying, right? Interesting. Yeah, see, and I see pictures of people having like wavy hair and I'm like, oh, I wish I had that. Or like, you know, even curlier, like smaller curls and not such a mess of, like my hair will turn into 700. What is it with me and numbers that start with that? Do you see this? It starts to be kind of curly and wavy at the top. And then it just has this like weird straight piece here. And then usually somewhere here, I always have like really extreme curls. I don't know, my, my curls, uh, my curl pattern is kind of messy, <laughs> which I think is kind of normal for curls. But at the same time, I'm like, my hair is so bad since I had COVID. It is thin so bad? I wish I had hair to cut in style. Oh, wait. So changing hair during COVID, like, or due to COVID is a thing, I guess. Currently at the point that I want bangs. Ooh. Because I found a picture of me with bangs and it looked cute. Oh, at four with bangs and it looked cute, but I doubt it'll look good now. So please stop me. You could start with something like curtain bangs or just kind of like a few small strands. So you don't have to go like full on. And if you like it, you can increase it after, you know. My hair is really long. I really want to chop it off, but trying to resist the urge. Yeah, we're all the same, aren't we? Maybe also because it's now suppressity length and so it's very weighed down. I got it. I got attached to it. Oh, true. Yeah, I guess the longer your hair is, the harder it is for your hair to hold the curl because it does get heavier. That's true. That was also too much. <laughs> I had an undercut as well and growing out with growing it out was a pain. I also chopped my hair really, really short, almost pixie cut. Ooh. Now it's healthy again, but it still grows slow. Yeah. Yeah, it was hard to tie up. Yeah, the really short hair was hard to tie up. And then plus, so I don't really, you know, I don't have a defined out. I don't have like a defined jawline. I feel like people with a defined jawline, they always fit like short hair really well. Like, you know, like bob length. I don't really, you know, I I, I just don't really. Uh, Allie the alien, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. My hair is now your length. Okay. Nice. Nice is nice. I want to cut curtain bangs for the 90s blowout style. Yeah. Those are, that's really, like, that's a very pretty, you know, when people put the little curly thing in and then it just kind of looks like, mm. yeah, he's nice. It's so difficult to find a hairdresser without gendered prices. Yeah, true. True. I don't think mine has, but she she's not like a walk-in type of hairdresser, I guess. She's, yeah, you, you make an appointment and then I guess she just 
she just calculates whatever it costs for you. It does not. It's just if if you have short hair and you only get it like, you know, cut a little bit, then that's going to be cheaper than doing colors and stuff. I have my hair tied back all the time. It's not long enough to stay uh, in a low ponytail. Okay, doing high ponytail is not an option since my scalp hates that. I don't know what to do to get the hair out of my face. I'm so bad at styling. I honestly don't know how to cope at this point. Oh, I get that. What I used to do is I used to just take, when I had shorter hair, I used to take like one side of my hair kind of away from my face. That already kind of helps helped me a little bit or like half up, I guess. Uh, and then I just took like the top half of my hair and just kind of did like a, a loose little uh, ponytail or bun, I think. Yeah, because the, the hair length with the short hair and the, the buns and stuff like that's a struggle. Coco also welcome on in. YouTube comments need more chaos. Mm. Sometimes, you know what? I look at other people's videos and I'm like, how do they have so many comments? So maybe in that sense, but like YouTube comments can be chaotic enough. <sighs> I hate my hair by now. Sometimes I even get so gender dysphoria, uh, dysphoria from it because it's so long and feels so weird, but I can't cut it on my own. Yeah. I hate going to the hairdresser. It usually ends up in me having to decide for a gender or worse, people misgendering me by default, ha me having to pay more. Yeah, that sucks. Generally, the fact, I mean, I feel like hair, like hairstyles or prices at the hairdresser should not be, should not be determined by your gender. It should just be determined by your hair length and what you're, you know, what you want to get done to it, what you want to have done. You know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't make sense. Why would, why, why would the gender matter, you know? Yeah. I also got a Twitch account just to watch your- Did you, Coco? Oh my god. And also, Fia, welcome on in. Hello. A Taylor is explaining. True, true. Wait, what played after I said I don't like loud streams? Was that an ad, you mean? Uh, Ran, welcome on in. I also recently cut my own curtain bangs and they were so short. Yeah, it's so hard to, it's so hard to really get it the right way. All my made up numbers containers start with seven. Yeah, I've been, I've been saying a lot of things with 27 in German, but in German, 27 starts with the seven. So it's sieben und zwanzig, which is like seven and 20. So like a lot of my random numbers have been like 27 or then today it was like 700. I don't know, there's something with seven. Have fun, Cherry. And also, Quenipa, welcome on in. Saw something on Pinterest called a wolf cut that I'm strongly considering now. And even if my hair is still growing from having partial shave on one side, a wolf cut? I have not heard that before. Picture of me with bangs shared in Discord, by the way, for reference. Oh my god, wait, I gotta check. I had a pixie cut for two years and decided to grow it out at the start of 2020. COVID was kind of my saving grace because no one could see my ugly growing out face. Wait. Oh my God. Wait, you're right. I can show you another. Oh my God. I can show you. I can show you a good picture of me with very long hair. Because that was also. Oh my God. How cute. Oh my god, I love it. I can show you a good picture because I actually had very long hair at the start of COVID as well. Or not as well, you were growing it out. But I was growing out my I was growing out my bangs during COVID because I was like, oh, now's the time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I'm I'm gonna show you. It's also not really the prettiest thing to show you, but. Look at that. What the heck? What the heck? And then I went to the hairdresser and I literally chopped it off. Ooh. Yeah, I was like, OK, we got to get rid of this. <laughs> Who is that? I don't know. I, I, I don't I don't know. Wow, 
Why do I have a video of me eating a cookie? Oh, I think it was... Mm, I remember. Like, I was just... I just... Ex like, all that I was was hair. <laughs> I couldn't do it anymore. Yeah, that was... I think that might have been some of my longest hair before. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it was a good cookie. It was a good cookie. It was vegan... Uh, chocolate chip cookies like chewy it was very good and I, I think I posted like a recipe on my Instagram or something and then I yeah I would walk past you 100% not recognize you that's exactly the point so okay Paulina okay my sister and I used to have a blog right uh it wasn't like a big thing at all but Paulina literally knew that blog and when she first joined streams she didn't make that connection and then at some point when i started talking about it she was like wait <laughs> and then she made the connection um between you know me like that was the same person basically because i looked so different i'm not saying you're a stalker no I've been feeling well the past few days. I slept longer, etc. And today just broke out of me. I had a good cry this morning. Now frantically cleaned the kitchen and windows and the bathroom and window. Now I'm exhausted, but somehow feel better. Oh, Paulina, I hope you'll feel better the next few days. But yeah, sometimes the cleaning and the crying, it can definitely help. I had... Was it yesterday? I had... I, I cried yesterday. No, Monday, right? Cat, when did I... When did I cry? Maybe, maybe Monday. Oh, yeah, yeah, Monday. I cried Monday. I had a full-on breakdown, and then... I don't know if it's really all that much better, but it definitely helped, like, a little bit. I always do a little 90s blowout moment with my curtain bangs. I cut them myself with little curl things. Maggie, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Also, Saki, welcome on in. My birthday's in two days and I'm doubting to buy the Happy Home Paradise DLC. Oh, in my opinion, it's very fun. It is very fun, Marley. I hope you'll have an awesome birthday. Oh, yeah. I'm all, Wait, I'm almost caught up. Let's go. You look like a different person, I know. <laughs> in, in that hair, though, you could see that there was maybe actually a little bit of movement, though. Like this is this is what it looked like when I had it. Oh my god, there's like a giant pimple on my on my chin. Anyway, this is what it looked like when I just had it like blow dried, I think. You can see like there's like a little bit of movement in the hair already. I was determined that I had. And also, okay, I think the color actually isn't different now. It's just that the lighting. The lighting always makes it seem so like caramel tone, but it's 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 not, I think. We cannot see the pimple. Ugh, that's good. Yeah, and then I started growing out my bangs with that. And then it just kind of... Kind of kept going. I can't believe that you and her are the same person. Nah. -uh. Okay, well, I don't know which way to take this, but, um... Yeah. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> I have a random picture of me eating a um a steak. Oh my gosh. Andrew, hello. Welcome on in. I hope you're doing well. Curly hair and glasses. Yeah, my glasses actually, I you know, I'm gonna be so sad when I have to get new glasses. I might just try to get like similar frames again if they're still like in style. Oh, Monday. What Monday was my breakdown day, yeah. Fun. I started the um, panini with long hair, and by the time I felt comfortable going to the hairdresser, it was down to my crack. Oh my god. Oh, wow. I cut off my hair a few months ago to a shortcut. And do you like it, Hobbsy? A long haired Moline, yeah. Yeah, because so basically, the entire reason of why that conversation happened was that I. Um, I made a hairdresser's appointment, but she was only available at the end of May. So this is going to grow for two more months. And then we kind of started talking about like, what was the longest hair that I've ever had? I also had chest length hair at one point. Oh my God. 
Uh, also, is it Grunge Grunge Nun? I think was watching the VOD on YouTube and you said I'll be streaming this island on Wednesday. Yes, welcome on in. You made it. Welcome to Twitch. I feel like I cry every day, so Monday counts as a success. Ooh, yeah. I don't know. I you know I've been I've been okay with the crying. Like we're watching a lot of Grey's Anatomy at the moment, so like there is some crying, but it's not about my own life, you know. Um, and then I think like I was very, you know, all the hope was there, like very feeling very hopeful because of the job and then Monday just. Yeah, yeah, I love the happy home pack. It was very fun and refreshing when you're stuck on your island. Very true. And you can decorate like your villagers homes and customize the outside of your villagers uh, homes. If you have the DLC, which is absolutely amazing. The bangs you have there are the kind that I'm considering. Yeah, only yours would probably be like softer and in incorporated into your other hair. For me, it was like the straight across bangs and just swept to the side. I do like that, though, on other people. Like that was one of the reasons, you know, like I like the curtain bang look or, or stuff. That's one of the reasons why I wanted these front strands to be like a little bit shorter. Yeah. When I show my old pictures, the people I get uh, looks like your sister, but not you. Yeah. Yeah, hair can be hair can do like a lot. Long haired Malene can't hurt us. She's not real. She might be again soon. She might be again soon. Remember that one stream? Oh, my God, that was great. Remember that one stream? So basically, I was supposed to stream, but I had to cancel because I almost blacked out in the shower after my surgery. And then I <laughs> streamed the next day in instead. But because I almost blacked out in the shower, I had to lie down on the sofa with like wet hair. And so my hair was a mess. And so the next day when I streamed, I straightened my hair and everyone was like, what's going on? <laughs> that was great. I remember that. I cried in front of everyone in group therapy yesterday. It was embarrassing. It's not, it's not, um, it's not embarrassing, little Lauren. And then later in the day, I got my periods and I've been blaming hormones. Oh, definitely fair. But you know what? I feel like it's, it's I mean, I get, I get the feeling you're valid and you're feeling, but it's okay to cry in, in therapy. And also if it's group therapy, I think. That was Maloon. That was Maloon. <laughs> yeah, true. Monday was also my breakdown day. Oh my God. Monday was just an a-hole of a day, I guess. The longest hair I've had is the one I have right now down to my lower back. Oh, that's very long. Ryan, welcome on in. I've been watching your YouTube videos forever. I'm so glad I could catch you live. Um, Taro Wild, I think it is. Welcome on in. Welcome to Twitch. I have my ID checked once and the guy said the photo looked like my sister. I'm an only child. Oh my God. I also need a good cry. I feel like do it. If it happens, let it happen. Phoenix also welcome on in baby Paulina with bangs and discord. <laughs> I love how one side is just sticking up. Oh my God. I'm so cute though. Oh yeah, no worries, Saki. No worries. I'm rocking my buzz cut because of Oh god. Is there an is there an English word for like if your hair, especially I think in males, if your hair starts like thinning in this part right here? There probably is. About Moline being a different person back then. I watched the first Neverland stream on the Archive channel. And she said she said she always forgets trees when designing her island. The priorities definitely changed. Oh my god, did I? I was actually I was on Naporia yesterday because I was taking pictures because uh, the next island I want to post on my Instagram um, channel profile on my Instagram is um receding hairline male pattern baldness maybe i think that one is more like when there's just random spots where you kind of where it kind of stops you know um oh yeah and i was on aporia and i mean yeah the, there was like a lot of waterscaping but honestly 
I feel like a few trees there were really not placed the best way. Like I think some place, some trees I really should have made smaller. And then a lot of areas didn't have any trees at all. I was like, I don't know. I've never had bangs in my life, not even as a child. I had, I had bangs for like a long, 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 long time as the kid. And, um, at some point through like, uh, yeah, I don't know, puberty, bro, I think it was. I was like, mm, no, I'm not having bangs anymore. And then at some point I got them back and then I started getting rid of them again uh, during COVID. I don't really know why. I think it was just like, maybe I should change. Maybe this is not all, all what I am, you know? Was Monday not a good day? Yeah, no. Hope the rest of the week is improving. Eh. <laughs> Kind of, but I'm like, oh, the anxieties and the imposter syndrome this week is just, it's just a different, a different story. April's Fool's Day. Malin gets some cheap extensions and straightens hair just to mess with us and add to the chaos of Twitch. And I color them pink. <laughs> I did some testing and noticed that with my current hair length and bangs, I will look like Rory Gilmore season four. And assuming from the, um... The emotes that you don't want that, right? Oh yeah, no worries. Enjoy your lurk, Ryan. Wasn't Mercury in the microwave again this week? Mm, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Pia, welcome back. Also, Grunge Nun, enjoy your lurk. Secret Council Corners? <laughs> oh god. I think there should be a word for that. It's funny. Dictionary says going bald at the temple. Well, that's kind of boring. Huh. I need to go coach shopping, but it's legit so hard when I don't even know my theme. Do you know some colors that you want to uh, want to use? I'm very funny about who I cry in front of. I felt very exposed. No, I get that for sure. Mercury serenading <laughs> would be a logical explanation. Yeah. My mom used to style my bangs just like she styled hers, and I hated that so much as a child. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I had a, a fringe cut in as, te as a teen, but it just turned into one ringlet at the front of my head. Oh, yeah. I, I th Sometimes you got, like, oh, I don't know what this is called in English either, but sometimes you've got, like, basically your hair will just not stay a certain way. It'll always go exactly that way again. It's just if it grows out of your head in a different pattern, I guess. Um, and then sometimes bangs just, I guess, don't don't really work. I need to test it to see if I hate it. Yeah, 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 yeah. True. Sometimes if you if you if you're curious about something like that, you just need to try it out. Yeah, like a cow's like might be the right thing. Yep. That might be the right thing. Yeah, because Chrissy, the thing is also you can always clip your bangs back or you can always push them aside or something. A floppy bit at the hairline. Yes. Now I want a haircut. Yeah. Uh, Leah also welcome on in. Browns and yellows and greens. Okay, that kind of sounds... I mean, it depends on, I guess, what item groups you want to use. But like you could start with something like cottage core or spring core. And then just kind of if you're on Pinterest, for example, if there's something you like, click on that picture and then scroll down underneath the picture and then kind of just browse from there. And then I feel like you can probably tweak your algorithm in that sense. In Dutch, the baldness at the temple is called Inhem Cove Bucht. Oh my God, I like that. <laughs> also, headdress, welcome on in. I have a gift card, so I would get the potentially ugly haircut for free. See? See? The second I get my paycheck, I away to the barbers I go. Let's go. We'll be lurking as I start organizing toys. I may take a break shortly to work on the island more. Of course. Have fun. Thank you for the lurk. My grandma took me to get a haircut on one summer when I was like nine. She got me a bowl cut. People mistook me for a boy the whole summer until I grew it out. Oh no. Yeah, I don't know why bowl cuts were ever a thing. Like, why were those being given to kids? I don't get it. I don't get it. <laughs> My mother-in-law is a hairdresser. Score. Literally, if, like, people in your family are um, 
like a hairdresser, people who know their way around like tools or tech stuff, like IT things. It's just, it's so good. Because they're cute AF sometimes. Sometimes is, I think, the important part here. I recently started uh, my new job, so I don't know when I will get the paycheck yet now that I think of it. Oh, wait, doesn't your contract say that? I don't know what country you're in. But doesn't your, your paycheck, like, state when that is, like, when that needs to go your way? My bowl cut is one of my favorite baby pics because it's one of the few moments where I look like myself. Yeah, true. I must have forgotten it. Oh, yeah, no worries. When I was like four, I cut my own hair with scissors. Only one side. My stepdad was pretty mad. Also, God can give me a bowl cut. My uncle referred to me as Angela Merkel for a while. Yay. Just what you want to hear as a kid. <laughs> Although I guess you probably didn't really, maybe didn't really understand it at the time. Oh, oh gosh. Also, Ferris, enter your lyric. Alrighty, y'all. We have, ooh, now nice, nicely timed with that um song. We have some autofilling to do today if we're up for it. Um, yeah, we can, we can, uh, I thought it was a compliment. Oh, there we go. That's nice. See, that's good. That's good. I like that. I cut my friend's hair with kitchen scissors at a festival. <laughs> I cut my hair with scissors when I was four too, my bangs. Actually, and they look terrible. My parents made me live with it for months. <laughs> Honestly though, okay. I feel like that's actually kind of the best. Um, that's the best thing you can do as a parent. You're just like, okay, you, you did that. Now you just, you gotta live with the consequences. <laughs> I once cut off my own bangs because I just didn't feel like it anymore. I like that. Yeah, you know, you have to, yeah, you, you got, you got to, you got to do what you got to do, you know? I still cut my own hair with AT, not gonna lie, it always looks awful. It's okay, it's okay. You complain about us being chaotic, but then you only do chaotic things with us on here. What do you mean? I I cozily sit down and decorate my islands. My mom keeps thinking I'm going to chop my hair myself and I'm like, oh no, I have zero patience right now. My hair is too thick. Yeah, same. Actually, it kind of doesn't look like it right now, but there's there's a lot. There's too much. There's too much. Uh, Elsa, welcome on in. Hello. I don't have the kid excuse. I cut my own hair upside down because I thought that was a good way to reach everywhere when I was like 15 because my mom didn't want me to get a shorter hairstyle and it looked horrible. See, but at least you did it. You know, I mean, you got to do like if if you want shorter hair and your mom won't let you have it. You know. Bold of you to assume I'm capable of doing that. Yeah, I can't cut my own hair. I, the only thing I did was sometimes I would cut my bangs a little bit, like just shorten it a, a tiny bit, or I guess like now I did that, but it's not like good, you know, it's just, it's just shorter. And then we live with it for a while <laughs> with scissors directly at the hairline. Oh my God. Bumpy. Oh, and then it like, did it stick up? Oh, I love it. I love it. God, the things you sometimes have to like endure as a parent, but it's okay. It's okay. I've had curtain bangs for ages. I love them. Yeah. It was shorter in the back than the front and uneven. Yeah, but why not? You know? Oh, gosh. I cut my hair once too when I was five. Everyone thought I was a boy. I don't think I've ever cut my own hair like in that sense. Yeah, you got to do the mistakes to things that aren't too permanent. Oh my god, true. Haircuts, piercings, maybe even tattoos, as they can technically be removed just to test them out and silence your brain. Yeah, piercings and tattoos, a little bit, you know, harder in, in some ways, but hair, yeah, yeah. I never cut my own hair. I was always afraid to, um, I was always too scared to look my, like, like my brother. Fair point. Yeah, I was tired of it being in my face. Yeah, because, I mean, ugh. There's so many more important things that you have to worry about as a kid. It's like, ugh, get this hair out of my face, you know, and then off it goes. 
Why not? Why not? Is my question. Ah, <laughs> oh, great. Great. No, I don't think I ever cut my hair, though. I think I, I just... I don't know. My bangs as a kid, though, were always very short. I remember that. Like, they weren't the cutest bangs. They were always very short. I had kind of like this this type of bang and then and then sort of like a bob haircut it was great my twin sisters oh my mom and dad cut mine and my twin sisters hair exactly the same box short bob with a thick fringe yeah anyone else's stream freeze oh um frames are okay knock on wood uh so i think that might be your twitch maybe thank you everyone a kid in middle school called me boy when i was younger and i laughed in his face and i was like good for you pal for calling me that i am i a real boy now i was close to shaving my head a few times as an adult though mental breakdowns am i right yeah yeah i want to feel like that again not caring my hair is effed up stains on my clothing climbing up clothes from climbing trees true true there's uh, all the all the issues being added onto the plate as an adult it's not fun <laughs> my wife and i cut each other's hair so easy to get an appointment oh true and the amount of money we've saved is real nice i am jealous of that a little bit cats never had to pay for a haircut because your dad's a hairdresser you know Uh, Kirby, welcome on in. Since that was your first time chat, I'm going to assume that you missed about three years of streaming, which is a little bit hard to to recap, but uh, we're going to play on my new Animal Crossing Island today. Welcome on in. I haven't been to the hairdresser in about 10 years. Either I do myself or my mom does it. That's so amazing. I'm so jealous. I don't think I want my mom, like, I, you know, no offense to her, but I don't think I would want my mom to cut my hair. You know, I, I just, I don't know. My mom and her friends scheduled a photo shoot for me and the friend's two daughters. Oh, my mom and her friend. Okay, sorry. My mom and her friend scheduled a photo shoot for me and the friend's two daughters when we were kids. Okay, the older one gave herself the hairline stick up bangs the night before the photo shoot. The funniest Christmas pictures ever. Oh my God. Me and the younger sister looked so good and the older sister looked mental. <laughs> Oh, I love it. I love it. I don't know what you mean, y'all. I, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because so this will be so interesting when I need to look for a hairdresser other than my dad. Yeah, because Kat's dad is probably only going to work for like a few more years. And then Kat has to find a hairdresser for the first time. And then you'll know what it feels like. <laughs> Just kidding. I would not let my mom try to cap my hair either. I would just let it grow out if I had to. Yeah, I think me too. I wouldn't even... Okay, the thing is, if you've got like some waves or curls, I guess like you can probably... It's a bit more forgiving because you can't really see... Yeah, and the cat has to pay like normal people. <laughs> yeah, because it's, you know, they're all different length anyway. So maybe it's okay. But like, I, would, I, I don't even think I would cut it myself because... I'd be too worried. Um. Alrighty. Shall we head into some Animal Crossing today? Hair talk aside. Uh, actually, we can talk about a hair because I don't know how to get... I wanted to look it up. I forgot. I don't know how to get the hair that I want in Animal Crossing. But we could maybe start heading over. We probably still have some, like, grinding and stuff, like, where we can just talk through it and everything. So there's that. Which hair do you want? I want the little messy, the I want the Persephone hair. I want the Persephone hair, basically. The messy, like, I don't know how to say it. I don't know how to have what it's called. Okay, let's change category. We'll hop into Animal Crossing New Horizons. Surprise. Skip one month. Oh, wait. Do you literally just get it because... You wake up with messy hair and then your character has learned how to how to get messy hair. 
That is so smart. That is actually so smart. Too easy. Also, let's see. Um. Oh my god, it's still working. I'm still moving. The capture card is still moving. Okay, crossing fingers, knocking on wood. And now that I said that, um, <laughs> stuff's gonna freeze. <laughs> you let me know, okay? If anything freezes, like if game, if the game freezes or I freeze, y'all let me know, okay? Yeah, I'll stop studying now. My brain is fried. Yes, yes, do that. Why did I never know that? Yeah, me neither. You just have to time travel to get messy hair. Okay, okay. So I basically just stayed on the same day. Um, okay, very briefly, I think it should be synced up, but I just want to make sure. Um, I just stayed on, I actually didn't stay on the same day. That was a lie. I just left my switch the way it was. So now it should be two days. Actually, wait, start recording. Uh, I'll say that again. Uh, because in case I want to make this into a video, then I can use that in a little clip. Okay, so um, I just left my switch untouched for the last two days. So basically, um, it should be two days ahead now. I think we skipped like two days now or three. No, I think it's, yeah, three maybe. And so there's a helicopter, which you might actually hear right now. Wait, hold on, please. Ah, oh, hi, you two. <laughs> um... I hear nothing? Okay, I, I definitely heard it. Uh, yeah, so I left my switch the way it was, and so I think we're now like three days ahead, and so that means maybe my resident services has already updated and has already been built, which I think we could just see, but I didn't even check. I just saw Rex. Um, and so the next the next thing we need to do and we need to work on is uh, some three-day... No, three-star grinding. Yeah. Are you sure that you have to time travel for the hair? Wait, is that because everyone said it or 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 do you think it's it's not how you get that Polino? <laughs> I'm famous now. <laughs> ah, no. No, no, no. You're good. Oh, because everyone said it. Oh, okay. I didn't know it though. I actually did not know it. Okay, yeah, Isabel is here. Isabel is doing the morning announcement. That should have been should have been the clue for a second there. Everything felt so normal. Ah, all right. Okay. So we didn't even get, um, we didn't even get the announcement of like, you know, it's built out now or whatever. Uh, it's, it just is. And my phone is ringing. Uh, I just said that. <laughs> Hello, Malene. Uh, this is Tom Nook. Are you busy? I have a visitor here that I'd love to introduce you to. Sorry to barge in on your day, but would you please come to the airport so that you can meet her? Oh, this is Lottie, I think. I think Lottie gets introduced to me now. Uh, I don't even want to think of the DLC just yet. <laughs> oh my god, she's still in her, like, winter clothing. Okay. It's pretending as though it's, like, freezing cold on my island. Anywho, it's really not. I don't even want to see Lottie just yet. This is, I think this is one of the things I dislike the most about restarting is that effect that I have to... Yeah, I always forget about it. Me too. I kind of, I, you know, I just... I, I push it out of my brain. The DLC is evil, yeah. <laughs> I just... I really like it for the functions that it brings to your own island gameplay stuff. And I really did like it. Um, I did like playing it the first time around, I think. But the fact that you have to redo it every single time that you start a new island. Which, you know, I feel like people don't really... Like, pro that's probably not how, like, the the majority of the Animal Crossing player base plays Animal Crossing, but that's how I play it. I decorate an island, I delete it, and I restart. And so the fact that I always have to restart the DLC as well, that's just, it's just not great, you know? It's just so much dialogue to not read. It's just so much, yeah, it's so much to skip, you know? <gasps> Pia, let's go! I just read your mes message before stream. I didn't respond to it just yet. Um, but I, oh, hi, Hazel! I hope you have fun. Oh, all right. So with that, you know, welcome to um, Kefian. I don't know. Actually, in game, I'm not sure what day it is. Uh, IRL, this is day two of playing on this island. We already have our first five villagers. Um, Hazel and Tang were my starter villagers, which is actually pretty good. This is my map. 
Um, I did really like the kind of resin services distance and stuff. And uh, Peninsula is not my favorite, but I, I can definitely work with it. And then we had three very good autofills. We had Rex, Patty, and June. Hazel is probably not going to say. Um, but... <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go and just transfer a couple of these flowers over so I can start placing some housing plots over here. Uh, and then that's gonna be our main focus for today is to get the other villagers that we need for the three stars. So to get three stars, we need to have at least eight villagers and then we need to have like an assortment of different... Um, we'll need to have an assortment of different items and flowers, etc. Yeah, she'll be on Everland. She will be on Everland, yes. If you get a good camper, camper, I'll be mad because I suffered with Pietro. You did suffer. I'm not sure. I did have Raymond on Oleander, which was very good. But then after, I think I had Hopper and some type of horse. So not the greatest, to be fair. Um, so I can't really tell what my luck is going to be like. We can do a prediction, though. Um, I guess I wouldn't start it just yet because we still have, like... um. A bit of dialogue and stuff to get through but once it starts getting interesting we can do a prediction of whether we think that the campsite villager is going to be like cute or not i guess okay mm, gotta get some uh, cook some good food now do it i had bread again today bread and a chocolate brioche it's it's, it's the life you know it is the life Okay, do I have enough wood and stuff? I should, actually. I think I got out enough for for that entire uh, building and crafting thing. So, you know what? Let's go ahead and get started on the dialogue over here. My kitties have the zoomies. Oh, my God. Cute. June is the last villager I need. Re really? Wait, what are you... What theme are you creating, Andrew? I'm going to try and speedrun some of the DLC with stream for company. Sounds good. Good luck, Lauren. I swapped out Pietro with Colton by now. Very good. <laughs> and also for Stephanie, go get a good snack. I can't wait for Everland. Me, me either. But like, okay, I'm not going to get into it today because I've been already like, I've been, I've been, oh, have fun, Coco. Have you already played a little bit? Do you like it? Have fun playing Fae Farm. Um, I've already been talking about this way too much on stream. And I know like Kat is sick of hearing me say that, but like, the anxiety right now about like my time and my energy levels for content stuff it do be real and i'm really struggling to work on the encanto video and before i work on that video i can't really upload that island and before i upload that island i can't start a new one but then i've already started two new islands like it's a lot of i think my brain is lagging right now there's too many plans and too little time so it might take me a second to get there but i'm i'm very excited for that for that um yeah plan or theme i guess are you gonna get the same villagers as on everland a, a few i think but I, I don't think everyone i love it let's go i wish i could move to new islands without having to restart completely same yeah maybe when the whole house is paid off no could suggest this helping could suggest us helping him on expanding his business on a new island. Oh, please. That'd be great for a new Animal Crossing, I think. Yeah. Doing Tropical War. Oh, mostly pink, orange, and yellow, but I still think she'll be cute. Yeah, for sure. No, she is adorable. I mean, you know, if she wants to leave, I could let you know. And you, But I, you guess you probably use Treasure Island, so, you know. <laughs> It'll probably take me longer to kick her out than you getting her from a Treasure Island. Um, also, Sarah, welcome on in. All right. Maline, hello, hello. Welcome to the new and approved resident services tent. Oh, did I say tent? Of course, I meant building. And we couldn't have built it without your help. There's one other topic that I'd like to bring up. We need new support staff for a new island for a new building, so Isabel is here to take good care of us. I think this is actually one of the first times that I have had this dialogue inside the building. Usually I get this in the morning announcement, which is actually kind of nice. It's like a bit of a bit of a change, you know? Um, yeah, so Isabel is here to take good care of us. Um, you're Maline, right? Mr. Nook has told me about you. I'm fairly new to this job, so I'm sure I'll have my hands full learning all the ins and outs for a while. Uh, I feel that, Isabel. You and me both. You and me both. 
But I'm already smitten with island life, so you can count on me to give my absolute best. Mm hmm Nice. And there you have it. Isabel and I will split up duties here to better support you all. Partly speaking, I'll take care of anything related to homes or other construction issues. Isabel will help you with general island matters and resident support. Sit at the appropriate counter when you need help and we'll rush over in two swishes of a raccoon's tail. In fact, have a seat now so that we can introduce you to some new services. Now, with that out of the way, I have something I would like your help with. When you have a moment, please sit at my counter. Uh, you already said that. Isabel with help, will help you with... Yep. <laughs> I still need to kick out Nan. Oh, I see. I see. Caroline just started two new islands. It's totally valid to put off the Encanto video and restart this island when it fits you. Yeah, but like... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I hope I can count on your continued support of Kefian and our new resident services building. Mm-hmm. All right, first, let's check if there's any new items. Yes, there are. There are some new cardboard boxes. Very exciting. Uh, we can put those up for the three stars. And then I think we should talk. Okay, first of all, upgraded our house, which is nice. So new loan that we need to pay. Great. <laughs> Since I am also just, um, yeah, using Treasure Islands for that, I'm actually okay with that. And then... Mailbox, not only can you change its design, you can change its location too. Just pick up your mailbox, okay. And I think he told me about the customization things too. I don't know how many things I've got. I don't know how much, how to, oh, I don't have enough wood. I literally don't have enough like regular wood. That's a little sad. Uh, allow me to quickly explain the services. Uh, in addition to my normal duties, I can also talk about issues related to island construction. There are lots of fun little projects that will make the island a more comfortable place to live. I can help with building bridges or inclines such as ramps and stairs or even moving existing buildings. Okay, I do have 16, but I need to make for the customization workshop. I need to make a wooden wardrobe that needs 12, I think, right? In addition to the 15. So I, I need more. I need like almost 30, I guess. But that's okay. I picked up Dizzy yesterday. Oh my god, he's so cute. I love Dizzy. Also, Cozy Ken and Dragon's Fire. Enjoy your lurks. And Coco, thank you for the wellness check. And Cat, no worries. Welcome back. You already did the workshop on Sunday. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah, my brain, my, my, my information processing abilities <laughs> are also not the best at the minute. <laughs> and it makes me want to cry. <laughs> All right, tell me about your big plans, Tom Nook. Oh, ho, oh, got your attention. Hmm? Our goal, our goal, our, our goal is to have the incredibly popular musician KK Slider come and put on a show here on Kefian. Malin, I'm sure you know who KK is, yes? Um, not a clue. I just love his response when you say not a clue. What? Are you serious? His songs are constantly playing on the radio and yet somehow you've never heard of KK. Wait, then this means that you have yet to experience listening to his deep disco disc discography? I don't know. For the first time. In a way, I'm almost jealous. Oh, sorry about that. As you might guess, I'm a big fan. It's easy to get sidetracked talking about him. Back to our goal. Our goal. If we hold a KK concert here, Kefian could become a household name. We've done a lot so far to further the development of this island, but a KK show would be the culmination of all of our hard work. I would love your cooperation, Malene. When you're ready for more details, come ask me what should I do again? For what, the third time? Who listens to the radio? Um, people who work an office job, but not of their own free will, I would say. <laughs> Plus, pushing off the new island for a bit also helps with the rhythm of how far you are with your islands. Very true. You'll have some at different stages at how far along you are. Yeah, no, absolutely. That's actually something I should try and be better about because it really helps with, like, burnout and stuff. Yeah. KK being Spotify number one. <laughs> Ah, I take it this means you're ready to hear the details of my plan. 
I call it Project K. This plan of mine is divided into three main stages. First, we need more visitors to come to our island. Next, we need more folks to move here. And finally, we work hard to increase the overall image of this island. We'll increase the number of tourists and residents and we'll create a Kefian so loved Word of how great this island is will reach KK and he will accept our offer to host a concert here. How weird, how weird is it that that actually worked? Like that that plan to get this famous like artist on your island actually worked. I love listening to the radio while working. Do you really? I always hated it because at some point like you just knew the songs by heart and it was like too repetitive all the time. It was like super annoying. Uh, for the first step, we'll increase the number of tourists by adding a campsite to our island. A campsite will make it easier for visitors to experience life here, and it'll make for great PR material too. With that in mind, could you get out your phone, Malin? It sounds like a delusion, I know, right? Yeah, if I just make this island, like, pretty enough, like, if there's eight people living here, I'm sure... It's kind of like if I say, like, Ed Sheeran would want to move, like, would want to give a concert, you know? Lainey, nice. Enjoy your time off work. Welcome on in. We're not allowed to have a radio on in the office. Wait, really? Oh. I'm new to Discord. I just introduced myself there. Nice, Judith. Thank you. I want you to craft that and pick a great spot on the island for a new campsite. I'm counting on you. Oh, craft a campsite. Yes. Skip that dialogue part. Okay. Um, all right, let's go craft. Oh yeah, you're right. I already did the customization thing. Okay, then my my wood is just enough. It's much better than silence, very true. Taylor Swift did play in an engagement party at the height of her career simply because she was asked. Oh. Delulu is the Salulu. <laughs> Imagine me commanding around some people then having Harry Styles play for me. The dream, right? The dream. The only people who listen to music are the ones working late and have headphones on. Okay. Yeah, I would have headphones on. I always need some type of noise when I work. I can't just work in silence. Uh, unless I like, obviously, when I edit my own videos, like that's its own noise that I need to pay attention to, you know. But apart from that, it's very hard for me to just sit in silence. Um, alrighty. Uh, wait, actually, I crafted the, the campsite. I should just go ahead and place it now. Too distracted. Uh, honey Rose Quartz, thank you for that follow. Welcome on in. I hope you're having a good Wednesday so far. All right. I feel like, you know, Hazel is still hanging out there. Oh, yeah. The wardrobe is right there. Duh. Okay. Um, We'll put the... Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Running around the tree. A very good morning to you, Moline Rainbow. I've managed to finish putting things away at my home, so I'm finally freed up to meet and greet all my neighbors. I'm really grateful that you came by my first day here to welcome me. Oh, before I forget, I'm glad I ran into you because I have a little something for you. A hello gift for my new neighbor. <gasps> Let's go. What do you have? It's something popular back home. A toy box. Okay. My original home. I mean, I know this is my home now. Oh, take care, Rainbow. <gasps> Cute. I like June. I, like, I think I said this last time. I kind of hate that she's so tropical branded. Because she's so freaking cute. I'd love to have her on on an island, but I just I don't really love her branding, her her um her like tropical thing. Cause it's it's just it doesn't it doesn't work. It's not a squatting toilet, but then I don't know if it's this island or if it's Oleander, because see that's the thing. I've got two islands right now that I'm trying to push to three stars, but look, yeah, this I already got this. And then I think on Oleander I have the toilet that automatically opens when you walk past it. Oh. Yeah, whatever island you make, like if you make a no t like no online island, you're always going to get a toilet like that. I feel like that's an item that you can really you can really rely on it. You know, you can really, really rely on it. <laughs> Why is the toilet such a loner? Because it stinks. Her catchphrase, catchphrase is rainbow, LGBTQIA plus icon. We love that. I could see that for her, you know? I think she's a very just wholesome being. Alrighty, I think this is on it. This is good for her campsite. Let's go. Goldie gave me a trash can because it reminded her of me. <laughs> I love it. 
I think on some island, I also got a trash can. I don't know if it was here. I really, it's too confusing. I got like a garbage can somewhere. Maybe it wasn't here though. But again, I mean, there's also some stuff over there. I don't even know if I've got, where I've got things placed. It's too confusing. It's too confusing. It, it, it I think it's a bidet, yeah. I think it is. It doesn't actually do anything when you tap it. That's a little sad. I thought this... Huh. Uh, will you make a video about Oleander? Yes. Yes. My plan is to kind of make a video about like... <laughs> so, remember that island you all really like? That's supposed to be Botanical Garden Island? It's gone. <laughs> uh, but then I kind of... I, I don't want to be like, you know, I deleted it. Let's... Whatever. I want to be like, you know, I got rid of it because ABC... But then here's the new island and here's the entrance that I made. So, you know, like I don't want to I don't want to come back when there's nothing there, I guess. And then, you know, again, too many projects right now. Too little too little time or too little um, energy to process information. So I think I'm just everything's getting delayed right now, which I hate, but I'm trying. Somewhat. <laughs> It does have a function, so it makes sense that they give it. Like, first DIY is a mirror. Oh my god, true. Yeah, true. Goldie gave... Oh, wait, a trash can is nice because I needed that. Yep. That girl is brutal. <laughs> I got a scale because it reminded a villager of me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, have you found a good location for a campsite? Um, Of course. Perfect place. Splendid. I can't wait to show this. Uh, can't wait to see the spot that you picked out. Now that the location is settled, I can proceed with the construction. Tomorrow we'll have a wonderful campsite for visitors. How exciting. Okay, as you do that, I will actually go ahead and I will update, um, no, upgrade my house again, I think, so that that also is already taken care of. Pay this from savings, full amount. There we go. Yeah, yeah, they they do make sure to give you like the things that that you need in terms of functions. That's true. I, I never thought about it that way, but that makes sense. All right, Nookie boy, it is time for a, an even bigger house because, you know, actually, I just need the storage. I would love to keep a small house if I'm honest. I do need the storage, though, you know. I'm not asking to add to your pressure or anything. I was just curious. No, it's okay. It's okay. I also got like a, I think it was a YouTube comment where someone was asking if I'm going to make content about this island or if it's just going to be a stream island, which I plan on making content about. I plan on making like the island starting thing and then maybe like a long play would be fun. Um, but again, and, and, and I know like people aren't saying that to be like, you know, faster, you loser. <laughs> Oh, uh, or like, you know, here's another thing that you need to do right now or I'm going to get mad. I know that's not what you're doing, but um, you just you're interested. And it's kind of I don't know, sometimes it's fun to have videos um, of of like island progress like that because it's a bit more like bite sized, you know, um, and you're just like interest and stuff. Yeah. I got the wig with ribbon from a balloon. Ooh, the wig has bangs. The game's trying to make me do it. Yep. True. Okay, before I go time skip for the campsite to be built, there we go. I'm just going to go and find my message in a bottle. I don't even... Should I also get my money tree? I guess it probably would make sense. It probably would make sense. I'm not really going to use my Nook's Cranny, to be fair, because of trying to keep it small. I don't know if, if it'll work or if I already messed it up or something, but um, that'll be, like, the only way to get money except for... A wallpaper, of course, uh, except for like selling stuff or I guess except for treasure islands in my case. But yeah, Fragman, welcome on in. If a villager gave me scale instead of reminding me of you, I would actually cry. Oh, no. I did kind of think about that, too, though. I feel like that's actually kind of a very sensitive. I don't know. I mean, they can't really consider everything when they when they program that, when they make those mechanics and stuff. But that actually f does feel like a very sensitive thing that maybe they shouldn't give to you and say, like, that made me thought think of you. Wasn't there a fossil over here? I thought there was a fossil somewhere, like, right at the edge that I wanted to grab. Oh, maybe there wasn't. Hmm. Oh, um... We have not done a prediction yet. 
Yeah, I think you can start. You can make a longer one now because I have to load in uh, to have it built and then time travel another day. So you can make like a bit of a longer one, like five minutes or so. But yeah, you can get started on that if you want to. Thank you. We're making the crispy gnocchi salad today. <gasps> I'm so jealous. Enjoy. All right. As I go and time skip so that our campsite is built, uh, there is a prediction up. Um, wait, we'll, we'll jump, we'll jump one day. Yeah, one day campsite will be built and then we'll, we'll check in again. And you all can predict and use your channel points if you want to, to say whether you think this will be a cute one or not. Uh, remember the first campsite villager is always a smug villager. So that's the pool of villagers that we're choosing from. Um, you know, just keep that in mind. I will make the decision whether I think they're cutie, like a cutie or kind of like meh. Um, and then we'll see. I kind of don't think it'll be a Q1. Oh my god, who, who put, oh my god, who put in points? 80k points? I was also a bit hurt by the scale, yeah, but whatever, the villager got yeeted, as they should have. They should have. I will make the optimistic people rich. Okay, you put in 76k, oh my god. <gasps> Fingers crossed for Punchy. Wait, can Punchy be one? Is Huck a cutie? Uh, I would say so, yeah. I don't know what, what to say about Raymond. I think Raymond would be kind of a cutie. I think Raymond, Marshall, Huck, um, Zell. Uh, is Zell a, a smug? I think, I think so. Sh Shep is a smug. Um, yeah, those would be cuties, I think. Lopez, are you kidding? I mean, that's the Killian Jones of Animal Crossing. Of course, Lopez is a cutie. Colton will break my heart if he shows up. Yeah. Yay! Caffeine has its very own campsite. All right, perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. A lot of the smugs are kind of meh. Cell and Lopez are my favorites. Marshall is good too. Yeah. Yeah. The Killian Jones of Animal Crossing, very accurate, right? Yeah, with the eyeliner and everything. <laughs> yeah. I have Raymond and he was giving Sprinkle a pep talk the other day. It was so cute. Aw, Looney, welcome on in. I hope we're doing well today. Losing 76k points over my favorite will be devastating. Aw. I almost don't want to, like, check. Like, I don't, I don't know, but I... I can't lie. I can't lie, you know? I was going to tour your Storybrooke Island today. Have fun. Oh, I hope you enjoy it. Um, by the way, actually, I did post. I finally posted the pictures um, that we still had of the Storybrooke Island. Um, wait, have I not? Oh, she's not here either, right? <gasps> nice. Mabel's here today. Um, but yeah, so I finally posted the um, pictures of Storybrooke and the map. So if you haven't checked that one out, feel free to head on over to my Instagram. Give me some likes. Give me some some hearts and some comments if you want. <laughs> uh, and then if you haven't seen that island just yet, feel free to dream of it. It was very fun. If you've seen if you've seen Once Upon a Time before, uh, you're you're definitely gonna enjoy it. I would say because of all the references. Uh, and if not, I hope you're still gonna enjoy it because we did like Cat and I still try to make it a cute island. I went with Q, which I never do. I'm trying to be optimistic. Okay, I appreciate it. Oh, Hans would not be cute. Not be cute. No, no, no. Yeah, Smug has so many meh villagers. The cutie and meh are so unevenly distributed across the personalities, in my opinion. Yeah, true, true. Um, How can I help today? Actually, show me your outfits. That's what I want to see. That is what I want to see. Okay. I feel like a good like vest like this. It does. It's not the most German looking thing, but I kind of I want to get. It actually reminds me of Chandler. Chandler. <laughs> it reminds me of Chandler from Friends. Uh, do we think this is enough? Actually, you know what? Let me get that sweater too, just to make sure that you actually go and move on to this island. During my hyperfixation, I once upon a time I visited that island so many times. Let's go. Okay, prediction is not going to be up for much longer. If you still want to put in some points, um, feel free to do it now. <laughs> uh, is it a Janae Squishy? Welcome on in. 
The lazy has so many cuties. Yeah. And the normals too. Why are so many jocks cute? Right? Yes. I want Lobos to be together with Chief on Guardian. They will have a garden together. Not sure what it'll be, um, but they just fit together. They're cute. Yeah. Also, free to welcome on in. Okay, campsite is built before I move on. I thought he was going to talk to me. Um, I will go and search my message in a bottle work real quick. Imagine zipping th tea through those straw glasses. Your face would be all warm. Oh, true. <laughs> Just you have to be careful with it being too hot, I guess. You know, that'd be that'd be a bit of a danger. Here's the campsite. This will be the place of action tomorrow. You know, why are there not many cute snooties, by the way? True. I hate them all. Okay, not all, but I do, I do think they're they're very they're very very limited. Yeah. Okay, here's the balloon. I'll also pop that. That's my son's name. Oh, nice. Oh, oh, some money. Nice. I'll take that as well. I can't decide what season I want my island to be in. I just keep time traveling to find the perfect one. That's a good way to find it, though. Um, if you already have, especially if you've already got some decorations up, that's, I think, a good way to find something that you like. Janie. Okay, I will. I will, I will. Welcome on in. Most mayor found in the crankies. I think I only have four villagers with that personally personality. I would say are cute. Really? I think actually there's quite a few. There's quite a few cute crankies. Although I, I do. um, Yeah, I guess I would say that the personality helps because I just feel like the 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 person. Oh, nope. I wanted my shovel. <laughs> I think the cranky personality is like really fun. I think maybe that just kind of like makes me like villagers more and i guess there's like a few where you wouldn't necessarily say they're cute but i kind of consider them cute at this time yeah yeah the sisterly the sisterly are also just generally like it's not it's not enough villagers you know all right let's go and check out <sighs> who is at our campsite i kind of i'm scared it's okay though we can kick them out you know we can kick them out <laughs> Uh, I'm okay, Janie. How are you? I'm very anxious overall. Um, I guess this week just generally anxious and imposter syndrome is kicking. But uh, apart from that, I would say I'm good. I love at least five villagers in each each personality, but Snooty. I only like Whitney and Vivian, and I just had those two. Oh, do you not like Blair and Pecan? Who else is Snooty? Hmm. To me, the jocks are the most my villagers. <laughs> no. <Nope. laughs> the most my villagers. Yeah, for me, the I don't know, the personality and like a lot of the jock villagers have like um working out as a hobby. Oh, okay. Weather on the campsite villager day is not good. So <laughs> uh was I gonna say? Oh yeah, so the jocks have weird hobbies a lot a lot of times, so yeah, that doesn't help because then they put the weird glasses on and stuff. Sorry, I, I keep jumping between comments and then my brain gets distracted. <laughs> Thank you, Janie. Thank you. I appreciate that. I got Lionel on my campsite. He's uh, the toilet freak from Happy on Paradise. Yeah, all he does is harass Renee and call her mom. Oh my god. Blair and Willow. Oh, Willow is... Is Willow the sheep? I think. Thank you, Luna. I don't know. <laughs> it makes you feel any better. I feel the imposter syndrome every time I mod for you. What? No, no, no. You don't have to feel... Okay, I'm a... We'll have to have a chat, okay? You don't need to feel the imposter syndrome. I promise. I promise. I promise. All right. The day has come. For today's announcement, we have a visitor staying at the campsite. I hope our guest is able to see what it is that makes Kefi in such a, such a special place. You know, yet, because I haven't worked on it. Because I can, because I don't have three stars. <sighs> oh, 
Oh, thank you, Janie. Um, if we're in, I hope nothing's going to freeze now. Um, if we're here, we can actually see your pronouns there as well. I was going to suggest that you set them up, but you already did. So that's awesome. Um, I do not have it on the switch one just because the text is so small. Um, but yeah, if, you know, if, if we ever, uh, use the wrong pronouns also do feel free to correct us, please. Um, but we will definitely try our best. Thank you. Also, I'll just make a note for Janie so I don't mess that up. But thank you for letting us know. I appreciate that. I use she, her pronouns, by the way, but I'm also okay with they, them. I had so much luck with my campsite villagers this time. I got kid. Oh, kid is cute. Also, Polly Woxie, welcome on in. Um, and also, uh, is it... It's Theron Theronada. Welcome on in. I love Monique because she makes me remember the grandmas and Coraline. Oh, cute. And Savi, welcome on in. You're doing a great job. My only criticism is that I no longer have you on the VIP team. Yeah, well, you know, <laughs> not this game. Ooh. Oh, plain wooden shop sign is so good. This is actually one of the one of the things I'm gonna definitely need on this island. I don't have any wood, but this is great. Bambi, what? 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 Okay, here's here's the museum. Here's the camp sign. Are we ready? Oh, I love that. I don't know if you can hear this. This is very quiet, but the sound of the little um, raindrops on the tent. That's very sweet. We do have a Discord, yes. All right, some some bongo taps in the chat if you can. And I hear balloon. I'll pop the balloon. I'll give you some time for the bongos. <laughs> oh, congrats on the three stars, Polly. Okay, that's not great. Can you please fall into the spot? Thank you. Appreciate it. Ah. Uh... Okay, so Miles, I'm not procrastinating. You're procrastinating. Easy breezy slingshot A's. That's what they call me. Oh my God, look at all those bongo taps. I love it. <laughs> I love that. Okay, here is a present. We got a light bamboo bath mat. Okay. And with this new knowledge, uh, Faith Jones plays. Uh, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. With this new knowledge... We'll go inside. Please, cutie. <sighs> so it could have been worse, but it's not a cutie. Especially not when he blinks and his eyes go like sideways. I like him. He's not the worst. He always reminds me of Zebra Cake. True. When I first saw him, I thought he was cute, but the eyes are actually upsetting. Yes, the eyes are so creepy, right? What an interesting way of blinking. I know. <laughs> you are very lucky with the others. It's true. It's very true. Um, Anamik, thank you so much for gifting that sub to Janie. Janie, enjoy the emotes. Make sure that you say thank you to Anamik. Um, and Anamik, thank you for the support. I appreciate it. Yeah. I put in 76k and I have won 102. Oh my god. Or the Nutella with the light swirls. True, yeah. I liked him. He looks yummy like a dessert. <laughs> He looks like badly mixed up vanilla and chocolate ice cream. Oh my god. I did think he was cute now that you pointed out. I just can't unsee it. Oh no, I'm sorry. He's all he's blinking so fast too, right? Yeah. 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 Never paid attention to his blinking. Now I can't unsee it. I'm so sorry. Let's just eat him. <laughs> oh gosh am i the only one that feels so bad when i feel like i want to kick out some of my villagers i only feel bad to kick it to kick them out if i kind of like them you know okay i mean you should live here i guess 
It could have been it could have been a little bit worse, but he'll forever be screwdriver eyes. Yeah. <laughs> it's just not great, is it? You know what's also done great? Not great? The music. I don't know if you can hear that. But wow. <laughs> I don't like the gators, to be honest. Yeah, I don't think I like them much either. Um, also, I think Kat just said um, that the, the bongo tab is probably the most used emote. It's actually not. I think it's only um, like the second most used one. I think the most used one is still the hype. Just because it's in... Um... It's in so many, it's in so many like, um, commands and stuff. Oh, take pictures. You mean Chrissy or me? Your music reminds me of some kind of insect buzzing. True. <laughs> okay. Well, you know, we already talked him into moving onto this island, which wasn't that hard, you know? Um, so let's, let's tell that to, um, let's tell Nick all about it. Kevin zoomed away when I spotted them. Aw, too shy. Well, hello there, Meline. Just like that, your home has another proper room. It does. I'm actually here because of something entirely different, though. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. <laughs> More prediction. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we can actually go and grab the, the plots now, right? We can do another prediction. I think you can make this a little bit of a longer one, too. Um, because of having to time travel and stuff, but yes. Thank you. I'm telling Kirsty to take photos of her gay villager smoochin, yeah. Your streams are so chill, they make the perfect accompaniment for when I want to play Animal Crossing. I'm glad. I'm glad. Thank you for hanging out. All right, Nookie Boy, it's time. It is time. Um, oh my god, he's just talking about my house. I don't care about my house right now. <laughs> I want to talk to you about our campsite. Isabel mentioned it in his broadcast, but today we have our first guest over at the campsite. If you have the time, or even if you don't have the time, make time and go check in on our guest. And if you get an opening, try talking them into moving to Kefian. I already did it. You've already convinced our visitor to move here. Good work, Malene. You got it done so quickly. Then this means we have no time to waste. Our next course of action will be building a new home. Ah. I mean, just, imagine they could decline your offer to come to the island. Like, sorry, Tom Nook, I tried. Oh, yeah, true. And Noah, welcome on in. Also, Clara, welcome on in. All right, now, Malene, since you closed the deal with our visitor, you should be the one to pick the location for a new home. Uh, yeah, leave it to me. What happens if I tell him I'm busy? That doesn't work, right? He's just gonna be like, well, do it anyway. Yeah, if you don't have time, make time. Yeah, if, you, if you're busy, then don't be busy, you know? As, he's he's the type of person, if, you're, if, you, <laughs> if you talk to him, you're like, I don't know, I'm just, I'm you know, I'm going through like a hard time right now, I'm really struggling. He's just like, well, then just don't struggle, you know? Yeah, that's that's him. Uh, should I try and win back what I lost or just quit now? <gasps> oh, God, I'm not. Oh, my gosh, it's very imbalanced. So the next autofill can be anything, can be any villager. It might be more likely to be like a smug or um, not a smug, sorry, a cranky and a snooty because that's a, the types that we don't have just yet. But it can be anyone. Currently, it's not very balanced. It's like 6k to what, 60k? So if anyone wants to put in some points, um, you know? Okay, and I'll ask for the new expansion. We can just get that done alongside everything else. Just like Pokemon say no and get the same talk until you say yes, probably. Oh my god, true. It's like, just be happy. Just be happy. Just, just, just smile, you know? If you're busy, then don't be busy. Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> Tom Nook being a boomer parent, just just don't struggle then, you know? Aid resets were the charm. I think this map will work wonderfully. At least rolled is pretty decent starter. Oh yeah. Shari, not so much. Shari, not so much. But rolled is cute. Rolled is cute. Okay, maybe I can actually fit two houses here if I try hard enough. So we can put the campsite villager basically right here. That is the spot. There we go. 
I never know if I need, do I need to talk to, um, I was forgot, I already forgot his name, Roswell. Do I need to talk to Roswell at this point or would I just need to talk to Tom Nook? Be like, I did it. Or do we need to actually let Roswell also know, like, we did it? <laughs> He's like blinking, like, so weird. Stop! Uh, ew! <laughs> Oh my god, what the heck is this? <laughs> the TV has opened up and it's close again. Headlights! <laughs> he has seen the things. Yep. Yep. Oh god, no. Hello. Special. He's he's special. Yep, he really is. Also, Chalin, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. I never noticed the way you blinked until you pointed it out, but I kind of like it. It's very quirky, but like in a good way. I don't know about that. I don't know about that, but it's good. You know, the fact that people uh, like different villagers is, is always a good thing. It makes this fun, you know? It makes this fun. Did you find a place for us to build a new home? Of course I did. Uh, and then... Uh, we want our new island friends to start their lives here as quickly as possible, after all. This has got me thinking. We can't predict when someone will want to move here, but scrambling to secure a plot only when the need arises is much too haphazard a way of doing business. I don't know if you say the word like that. Uh, yes, of course. As part of improving infrastructure, we'll set aside plots in advance and put them up for sale. I'll have to charge a small processing fee, but if we get a buyer who moves in, I'll give you miles as a reward. He, it's his plan. Again, it's his plan. He wants KK to come on here. He is not, the one who's not allowing me to do anything until I reach three stars. But then I have to pay the fee. It makes no sense. Let's sell some land. Whatever, you know? Ah, <sighs> whatever. Isn't Roswell the place where all the alien stories are from? Ooh. Ooh, I don't know. I have no idea. Why do all my villagers get the zoomies after doing something gay? I mean, I mean, okay, we have five and then the campsite is six villagers. So we need to place two plots, but I think we have to do it separately um, because I can't get two plots from at the same time. Which villager is public enemy number one on your islands? Um... I would say Al, but Al is not really public enemy on my islands. He's just kind of, he always shows up on my villager hunts. Like every single villager hunt I do, I think Al shows up all the time and I really don't like him. Eh, Lussy, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. I picked a spot for a home. All right, so first plot down, we'll get a second one to go down to because we're just going to autofill these because it's fun, you know, right? <laughs> Yeah, apart from that, I really don't like Rotney and I really don't like Quilson, but um like I don't they've they've not really shown up like that many times for me. It would make more sense for Nook to allow you to decorate the island before KK comes to make it look pretty. It's so true. <laughs> it's so true. They came to Earth in a UFO. We why would we expect them to have Earth animal eyes? Yeah, okay, I see the point, yes. I think that was an inspiration for his design, hence the eyes in his patterns remind me of corn circles. Oh. My island was Olaf, he was such a creep. Yeah, Olaf for me too, that autofill was not good, yeah. I don't like Charlize, oh yeah, not my favorite. Quilson. <laughs> don't forget about the creepy cow. Oh my god, true, wait, who is it? Is it Tipper? No, Tipper. W which is the creepy cow? Naomi Demon Cow. It's Naomi. Yeah, Naomi and, and uh, Al always show up for me. Every single villager hunt. Naomi Demon Cow and Al. Those are my enemies, I think. Oh, wait. I think maybe this beach isn't enough for another house. Or maybe here. Uh, Ginger Guppy, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. Oh, yeah. Okay, no. Nope. nope. And Naomi is... Why is she in this game again? Yeah, good question. Al is actually one of my favorite villagers. It's funny to me. He shows up in Hunt so much because everyone hates him. 
I have an irrational hatred for Ozzy. Really? Wait. And Olaf because of past island struggles. And Yeet and Island because of both. Since they refused to move out after days of time traveling. Oh. Yo, thank you for all the gifted subs today. I appreciate that. Especially like the targeted gifted subs. It's always very sweet because it like introduces someone specifically. And then obviously it still supports me. So thank you. Um, Kat, thank you for the, the gifted sub to Flora. Flora enjoyed the emotes and the, the badge and the ad free viewing. Thank you, Kat. I tolerate Naomi. Yeah. Canberra. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. My enemy is Shino. Every time I autofill, it's always her. It's never great if they like haunt you like that, right? Like the cutest ones, I think, can get really annoying. Isn't there that conspiracy theory that there are alien aliens who live in lizard suits? Crocodiles are basically lizards, so it would be that far of a jump to assume that could be what Roswell is based off of. Oh. Oh my god, that's interesting. I really, really, really dislike crocodiles. I went on this entire, like, nighttime uh, research thing uh, when it comes to crocodiles, and I read all about, like, weird crocodile stories uh, during like wars and stuff and ever since then I have this like very big fear and very big 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 dislike um about crocodiles when I never really like I did I just didn't really it's not that I liked them before like I never liked them but it's just that I didn't really ever think about them and now I just yeah I don't know <laughs> but yeah I think Ozzy will actually maybe be on this island um because he was an autofill on Oleander and I really love him I really, really like him. Okay, so our next step, we have um, the house. We asked for another upgrade. Um, yeah, I guess our next thing to do is time travel and try to fill that one slot, right? Me, my uh, best friend used to send very childish hate mail, like you're a doo-doo head to Gaston in Animal Crossing GameCube. Now I have very fond feelings of him. <laughs> Oh, Fleet is 100% wobbly. Let's go. Do you know what the difference is between an alligator and a crocodile? I'm pretty sure I read it in... Um, Luna. <laughs> Luna. <laughs> the one you'll see later, the other after a while. <laughs> Oh, tell me why I wanted to react to that in like a serious way. Tell me why I wanted to be like, you know, I'm pretty sure I read it in my research, whatever. But like, I forgot it because I did. I really thought you were quizzing me. <laughs> I thought you were quizzing me. <laughs> I can't. Oh, my God. The puns. I knew it was going to be, be a pun. I just knew it. Yeah. Yeah. I should have. I should have known. Hans is mine, oh fair. But Hans is also good, a good hatred, like villager, yep. Enjoy your dinner, Thomas. <laughs> Time for me to leave the bar. No worries, Judith. It was nice to meet you. It was nice to be part of the stream. I can't wait to join in the upcoming ones. Yeah, we'll see you then. Thank you for hanging out. Oh, is it the snout thingy? Okay, Croc has the pointy snout or was it the other way around? I think it might be that. I'm not sure which way around it is, but that might be it. I have tons of fun facts, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Cheesy jokes are the best, yeah. I had this entire thing of me hating puns, but really, in real life, I make a lot of them. You know? When I told my daughter that joke, she was so mad. It's like, oh my god, mom. <laughs> Oh my god, I love it. They both lay eggs, so excellent pun. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, the, the pain, you know? The pain. Stream, they said. <laughs> ah. ah, nice. Uh, we're autofilling. We're autofilling. There's actually a um oh yeah, Roswell has moved on to the island. Yay. 
Uh, there's actually a prediction that's already, it, it's already over, but people predicted whether they think it's going to be a cute autofill or not. Um, we're going to check the sign. I think we're probably going to have to skip a few more days to really get someone to move on to the... Thank you for the for the paper, Patty. Your house is two stories? That is so cool. Do it. Can I do a concert on your roof? You're a cow. How's that going to work? <laughs> how How is that going to work? Lighted by the light, truly, truly. Thank you, eighteen. Thank you. Uh, I I don't I don't know. Ooh, coffee grinder. Oh wait, there's a fossil spot right there. Might just actually grab that real quick. Cute. I think I got something like this on Oleander too. A ca a concert. <laughs> Cows can do anything. Give concerts on roofs. Okay. I mean, I'm not... Okay, if you say so, I'm not going to doubt it then. Let's go. Oh, yeah, a kitchen. So they want this next room that I just got to be like a, ki a kitchen. Got it. Dream house. We're already almost there. Country music for sure. <laughs> Ooh. Chad was ready today. Is anyone musically gifted? Oh. Hi. I want a specific song as my ACH tune, but I can't find it online anywhere. Oh, not really. Good morning, Maline. I'm finally done cleaning up. It was toad's hard work, but I did it. Now I've got room to dance. I called out to you because I have something to give you, so here you go. And featuring Mole Cricket. Just a chick little souvenir. Oh, not a chick. Just a chic little souvenir I brought from my last island. Check it out. A clothesline pole. Oh, nice. So did you just put your laundry on there and then I'm supposed to... I got Hazel. <laughs> Hazel is just the center of attention. She's like, I'm here, I'm queer, and I know everything that's going on because I'm always in front of resin services. I know the ins and outs. I see you every time you walk in there. I know everything that's happening. A cloud with a line pole. Ah! That's her spot exactly where she belongs. She is a queen. Yes. Is it Miramiel? Welcome on in. Is a rage and lesbian. Yeah. I mean, look at... Oh my god. She... Oh, so cute. I love her. She's such a mood. She's such a mood. All right. So Roswell should be moved in. Uh, actually... Uh, if I place my snail here, I'm not going to be able to walk. I can place it maybe behind the house, and I just scared something away that I didn't have just yet. Great. I love that for her. Yes. Ooh. Oh, my God. Roswell, cute house, though. I think that is a very pretty house. Okay. I'll take it. Actually, I need to take that inspiration because I feel like this is... Oh. I'm. I, maybe I take it back. What is this? Uh, Mira meal like honey in French. Oh, I see, I see. No, come on in. And also, e echoed farts, welcome on in. I watch your YouTube videos, but I never make it to the stream. So, this is my first time. Welcome on in. I hope we're doing well today. Happy Wednesday. Welcome on in. Yeah, it can always be redecorated. True. I was nui in and pui. He's an urban crocodile. Mm hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't expect that. Like, Big city trash interior from uh, the outside because the outside looked so like, you know, like the wooden panels and stuff. I don't know. That seemed much cuter. Oh my God, we've already sold it. Okay, so since Chrissy actually came over to this island, I'm assuming it was one of Chrissy's villagers maybe. That could either be a very good thing or a very bad thing. So I don't know. Do we check the sign? Do we check the sign and then and then already can we already do the prediction thing or do we uh tangerines villagers uh oh uh oh not great you say mhm mm mhm mm uh oh <laughs> should I check uh, check the sign or should I time travel to the next day and then go in and then check out his house or their house their house. I never know the houses, though. 
And then people in chat already know. And then I always like, oh, I don't know. Sign, time travel, time travel, sign. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Oh. Time travel, time travel, sign. Time travel, time travel. Okay, now it's more time travel. Okay. Time travel for suspense. Oh, wait. Actually, sign. Everyone's a little cuter in person. <laughs> sign. They tell me in the morning announcement, you know? I could just time travel and then they'll tell me in the morning announcement. Oh, my next spot is already placed. Uh, next to Nook's Cranny. I already have like eight placed overall. We could also time travel and check the announcement. Then it won't be the... I think, yeah, morning announcement was a good, good agreement. I, I agree. Because then it won't be the confusion with the house, but it'll still be a little bit more interesting, you know? They were upsetting, to say the least, so fingers crossed. I had no cranky or snooty, though, so if those get priority, the villager isn't from me. Okay, so we time travel. And we check the morning announcement. That's what we're going to do. I feel like this is not going to be cute. I'm going to be honest. I think this one, you know, we had such good luck with the first five. And then I think Ross will kind of, you know, the graph went down quite a bit. And then I think this, this is not... Yeah, no, I don't really see anything good happening in our future for the villager autofilling. I mean, I hope this island's going to be cute. <laughs> it's weird because now I I basically have, I've got my Let's Play island, which I'm only ever playing if I'm recording for the Let's Play. And then I have this island, which is brand new. 18, thank you so much for the brand new sub also for three months in advance. Thank you so much for that brand new sub, for the support and also the trust for the three months in advance. Enjoy the uh, emotes and the badge and the ad free viewing. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I also don't see anything cute, but I vote a cutie. We're going to try. And thank you for that follow as well. Okay. We don't want to see the house. <sighs> if you autofill, are they, always, are they always cranky and snooter? Is it anything? Uh, for this, it's anything, but I think the game is more likely to give you a cranky or snooty because those are the ones that you currently don't have just yet. Also, Kat, welcome on in. What was I just saying? What was I just talking about? Oh, yeah, I have the Let's Play Island, but I only play that during the Let's Play. And then I basically have one island that's completely done where I need to just work on a bunch of like video material. And so I can't really decorate there. And then I have two islands that are basically not even at three stars. So I like, I don't know. I feel like there's so many like uncertainties right now about my islands, you know? Okay, here we go. Good morning, everyone. Uh, March 22nd now for today's announcements. We have a new friend, Camel Frog. Oh, so no one moved in. <laughs> I know it's not a good joke. It's not a good joke, but Camel Frog is cute. Oh, Bambi says interesting. I actually think, you know what? Everything, everything considered, all things considered, I think Camel Frog is not the worst. Not the worst. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Y'all voted your points. Oh my god. Okay. Congrats or I'm sorry. Um, Enjoy the points or, you know, you'll claim them back again. Whatever, whatever works for you. I'm ruined. Oh no. Frogs in general are like default cute. It's the big head. The big head and the tiny bod, I think. His house is very upsetting. Oh, I see. Oh, it's kind of okay-ish. It's very dark. But yeah. Not the worst means cute, right? I would say so. I would say he's cute. Let me look at him. But I think he's cute, yeah. Yeah, he's cute. Oh, he's so happy to be cleaning. Hi! MVP. And then that deep voice. Oh, so he's a cranky. There we go. And you are, oh, you're my neighbor. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm Camel Frog. Now don't let the creaky exterior fool you. If I like you, I'm actually a nice fellow most times. Any what's it? Any what's it? I've got a lot of tiding ahead of me. Let's parlay some other day. Uh, okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. Where is he? Disappears into the floor. True. 
Look at the baby. <laughs> he is cute, yeah. At least he's neutral colored, not hot pink or something. True. <laughs> he is one with the floor. Malene going into a random house talking to herself. Yeah. <laughs> the shooketh eyes were cute. Also, wait, what DIY did I learn? Sandy beach flooring. Okay. I more than tripled my investment. Let's go. Now I know who to replace Lopez with. Yes. Alrighty. And then um, we can start the next prediction. I'll go over to the plot and I'll check if if, uh, if that's done. But we can do... Um... Do I hear Vladimir slander here? What? No, we love pink. We love we love pink so much. Okay, not sold yet. All right, so we're gonna go skip like a few more days. I I feel like. Um. New prediction is up. Uh, for whether you know you think this next one will be a cutie or a meh. Again, this could be pretty much anyone. It might be a snooty though. If the game really wants me to have all the different like personalities, it might give me the snooty one, but it is definitely not like guaranteed. And as the prediction is running, I might just go and quickly see if I can find any more fossils or also maybe the crafting villager. He's cute as wallpaper and flooring fit him for sure. That's true. Yeah. 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 We're trying to get three stars. We started this island on Sunday. And um, today we started with the campsite villager. Oh, hi, Patty. Perfect timing. And uh, yeah, we're trying to get to three stars. So we're trying to fill up. Oh, log bed was nice, I think. Do you already know it? No, I think not. Yeah. Um, place your beds. I don't know if I can do this again. You got this, cat. Do it. Do it. Uh, yeah, so we're trying to get eight villagers and then probably place a bunch of, I'll probably open up for Chrissy and she'll come over and uh, like give me a bunch of items and probably like flowers and stuff. And then we will hopefully have three stars, which means next up we'll be able to have, oh my God, wait, Mabel still hasn't moved on to this island because I was going to say maybe on Sunday we can do some code shopping. You know, some good old, like, code shopping. You know, the, the drill of, like, putting all the codes on the floor next to each other, trying to decide what we want. And then I'll make sure that we flatten the island. Now, here's a bit of a, here's a bit of an issue, if you want to call it that. Next week, as some of you might know, we are getting a new Stardew Valley update. Um, Stardew Valley 1.6 update, and I would like to play Stardew Valley on stream. <gasps> June, where are your friends? Who are these chairs for? Hmm. Oh, Hazel, of course. Mm hmm. Lurking in the weeds. I think you're ready to learn one of my favorite reactions. Ooh, laughter. Okay. <laughs> Let go. Up, Malene. Yeah, so I would like to play Stardew. I've always said I wanted to do like a perfection save uh, in Stardew on stream at some point. And I think the update is probably a good moment or maybe it's the worst moment because everyone and their mom will be playing Stardew Valley. So I'll just disappear in the category, <laughs> but it's okay. Um, and also, you know, I'm going to be a total noob again because the 1.6 update is happening. So, um... Yeah, that's happening next Tuesday, so I'm not really sure when we're going to do the entire, like, island progressing or, like, when we're going to stream, when we're going to stream what. I'm not really... It's a whole thing right now, you know? I found Tipper first, which worked, because she's my birthday twin. Oh, nice. The five minutes prediction was too long now, longer for Kat to decide uh, to bet. Oh, yeah, no worries. No, I'll run around a bit more. That's okay. It's okay. Lower coats for the win. Yeah. She's the same height as the weeds. I know she was hiding. Oh, yeah. Look, look, Hazel. Look at Hazel. She's back. This time she, you know, she just inserted herself into a little friend group. Or she probably started this entire thing. So it wouldn't seem, um, it wouldn't seem so suspicious. 
But yeah, I don't know. I feel like there's the, the third villager is missing. Uh, okay, found some fossils, found a lost item. Probably time to time to time travel. I could have maybe uh, talked to Nook about my house one more time, right? Is the Stardew Valley update only for the PC? Um, I think it is for now, but as far as I know, they're definitely trying to push it out to Switch and mobile again. It just might be like it might take a little bit. Yeah, maybe Stardew Sundays and Animal Crossing Wednesdays. That's kind of a thought that I had too, yeah. And I also don't know, like, okay, so the 1.6 update is coming out on Tuesday, right? I think Tuesday is update day. Please, please correct me if I'm if I'm wrong, if you know anything about it. Um, so I thought, should I stream Tuesday or should we stream Wednesday? And then like the like a, a bit of the flood will be gone again and we'll just start Wednesday. And we'll, or we'll start Sunday. I don't know. I feel like, you know, it's... I'm not really a Stardew streamer, so I kind of expect it all to be a little bit more... If we're talking numbers, I, I expect the numbers to be, like, a little bit lower and everything, but that's fine. I just... I've just always wanted to... I've just always wanted to do, like, a Stardew Valley save file, I guess. I've been trying to play it, but I found it quite confusing. It can be at first, for sure. Have you been to Amsterdam? Oh my god, only for like a day. So I don't really have any recommendations, unfortunately. I'm sorry. I don't care about Stardew. I just want to vibe with y'all. Oh, I appreciate that as well. I appreciate that as well. Hefian is Hazel's now. You can't eat her. But, 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 but. Tuesday, okay. Hey, Paulina, enjoy your dinner. I don't expect you to be able to wait until Sunday. Yep. Yep. Valid point. Wednesday. I say Wednesday. Star, star Dewey. Wednesday sounds good. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So maybe like Wednesday we will start a Stardew Valley save file. It'll be a perfection run. Um... Do any of y'all have experience or have any knowledge about like the mod situation because i did want to um okay i'll time travel and do the talk meanwhile uh so we'll skip um we'll skip like three days ahead maybe and then maybe the villager has already moved in or something um yeah so i wanted to kind of uh include a couple of mods that make it a bit easier to stream stardew i don't want to do anything that makes gameplay like easier like any cheat mods in that like in that sense i guess but stuff like, for example, there's this one mod where um, you kind of see where the villagers are on the map. Or um, if you hover over like an item, you see when you can find it and certain things like that. Because all that information is like in the Stardew Valley wiki. So you can look up for any villager, any townie. Uh, you can look up the times, like when are they where on the map. But like doing that on stream is just super annoying. You know, I'd always have to be like, oh, wait, let me look that up. And then I'd just be silently browsing or I'd always have to drag my window in. And I feel like that'd be just very annoying. So um, I would like to have a few mods, you know, that make that a bit more visual for us on stream. But then, for example, something I won't have. There's like a mod where you can have access to all of your storage chests from like everywhere on the map. That's something I probably wouldn't do because... Um, that does make the gameplay like much, much easier, you know, because that's usually not a mechanic that you have. And like the, your pocket management is like a big side, a big, like, you know, aspect of the entire, entire, like, um, yeah, management thing. So I, if that makes sense. So that's kind of the reason, but obviously if there's a new, if there's a new update coming out, the mods probably won't work, right? But then I guess like modders usually are very good. Okay, let me catch up with chat and then we'll check out who this who this villager is. What is the goal of Stardew Valley? I would say generally it's a farming simulator. So um, like any game, just to have fun, you can definitely have your own goals with it. You can decorate your farm if you want. You can just kind of go through the storyline and progress through like your farm and just like grind through certain, uh, certain things. There is something called the perfection 
or like a you can do like a perfection run where after some time you unlock like a new area where you can have access to like a perfection tracker perfection tracker which basically means you need to like collect all the recipes and collect all the items and craft everything at least once um and so on and so forth so you could do something like that but you don't have to if you don't want to my best friend just started playing Stardew for the first time and loving hearing about it and watching him play. It is so fun. Knowledge, not really, but I did download some Valiant Nexus that I found visually pleasing, okay? Mods usually update rather quickly, so especially when you start on Wednesday, the most common ones, like the ones you want to use, should be up to date. Okay, perfect. So Wednesday. We'll do Wednesday, so that'll give us... Um, yeah, it'll just be the regular day, so it won't be out of the norm. Maybe, you know, it the hype... I, the hype will still be there. <laughs> the hype will still be there. Let's not kid ourselves, which is a good thing, obviously. Um, but yeah, and then the mods might be updated. That's true. UI info su suit suite. I don't know how to say that. Mm hmm. Can you mod it on the Switch too, or only PC? Only PC. Hello. Only PC. Uh, Sims Elaine, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. Chrissy's mods document and Esther's list are both pinned in the Stardew thread. Perfect. Thank you. It does make it easier. Yeah, yeah. But but it's basically, it's information that's out there. Um, and I've already, so I've already reached perfection once on a Switch save file, which doesn't allow me to use any mods. And I already managed to do, managed to do it once. But then that would always like, you know, when I wanted to look for someone on the map, I'll think about the map thing maybe. But um, whenever I wanted to find someone, I would pause my game and then I would look it up on the wiki. But it's a lot of switching back and forth and just for stream, that's not real. I want to make it like a fun experience for you all as well. And I don't want us to spend like half the stream just silently browsing the wiki, you know? I had to stop playing because it gave me extreme anxiety due to feel like I'm not good enough. Oh, I feel that. I feel that. Stardew can be a little bit overwhelming at first, for sure. It's supposed to be very good for quality of life, but not in a cheaty kind of way. It just gives way more info. That's helpful. Yeah, exactly. The goal is vibes only. Exactly. The goal is to magically lose eight hours of your day for me. Yeah, I love Stardew. I played some yesterday. Forgot how um how cozy it is. Yes, yes. Uh, is it more of a completionist type of runner? Is it also time based? Uh, more of a completionist. You do get like an extra dialogue thing if you manage to do it in two years, which is like technically the earliest that you can achieve it. Um, so you can also time it for like a bit of an extra achievement. Uh, and then every day has a certain time limit. Yes, but there's like no overall time limit. It's just like a completionist thing. Yeah. The fishing is the fishing is something else. Also, Simzalyn, welcome to the uh, welcome to the chat as well. Yeah, silently browsing the wiki uh, part is is part of the game experience. It is if you're playing for yourself, you know, you know. I can't wait to play Stardew again. I'm waiting until after the update, until my mods are updated. That makes sense. Yeah, mod, like uh, like aesthetic mods, I don't know if I'll use because I like the vanilla style. I'll see if like there's something I want to use, but I like the vanilla style. I love your German country theme. Are you playing on that island now? I am, yes. Uh, Any also enjoy your lurk. Welcome on in. Um, we're autofilling. I was just, I got sidetracked by talking or by Stardew Valley for a little bit, but we're, we're, we're playing on Kefian and, uh, we're going to see if maybe we already autofilled or maybe if the sign is, uh, says sold now. So yeah. Good morning, everyone. Uh, March 25th. Okay. Oh, I found an egg. Oh, that's right. Oh my God. <laughs> on Oleander, Hopper is also there and is hopping around and I hate it. I hate it. I got it on Steam when it had a discount. It could be a nice time to start. Yeah, it is so fun, Thomas. It is literally, I think, one of the most addicting games ever. It comes and goes in its waves of, of wanting to play it and like the motivation. But whenever I'm in a phase of Stardew Valley, I'm like, Animal Crossing, who is that? Like, I don't, I don't know her. Um, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> the trauma, I know. The seasonal outfits. Ooh. <gasps> Rex. Pull yourself together. You haven't been. Oh, it's sold. It's sold. You haven't been here for enough time. I'm not talking to you right now.
I hope that my starting phase will come back when the update drops. Me too. Oh, that'd, be, that'd be very good. Okay, let me also check real quick for the message in a bottle and then we'll go time travel. There we go. Um, Mabel was not here today, right? No, it's leave. Okay, because we still need to get Able Sisters here. Rosebed. Hmm, great. <laughs> Watch Rex be the hardest one to kick in the future. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, wait, there's... Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. I'm not gonna dig these up. These are gonna be eggs. I just got excited because there's literally three berry things here. But no. Okay, we time travel right away. I think the prediction was over, right? I live in a very German-influenced city in South America. Oh my god. I wanted to do my... I like that too. Let's go. Okay, and then I guess like once we find out who this villager is, we might do a... We might just do like a big... Um, we might just do a big time jump to get that, that outfit, not the outfit, sorry, the hairstyle. Um, should say hi for my boyfriend, hello. <laughs> uh, and then we'll get the hairstyle and also Hopper will be gone. When is, when is Bunny Day over this year? I'm new to Animal Crossing, just a couple months of playing, have fun. Ah. <sighs> The beginning times are very, very, very exciting. Alrighty. Bunny day is March 31st. Okay, end of March. Oh, yeah, I mean, that makes sense. Yeah. Duh. Okay. <sighs> oh, thank you, Persephone. Thank you, mods, again, for helping out so much today. And for all the prediction. Okay, well, I'm going to snooze the ad so that we can check out who the villager is without it interrupting with an ad. Because that'd be... That'd be sucky. <laughs> that'd be very, very sucky. We don't want to do that. And then maybe after we've checked, we can do uh, the break. Because we haven't taken a break just yet. So we'll check who this villager is and we'll take a break. And then we'll try to actually get the, the three stars. Uh, good morning, everyone. Right now, it is... 11 whatever doesn't matter here we go for today's announcement we have a new friend eloise eloise is the dlc uh elephant right the yellow elephant the dlc elephant she's kind of cute i'm gonna have, have a look at her i think she's she's kind of cute though i'll i'll take a look <laughs> Feels like it's oh zipper, get out of here. The lucky bunny? No, the creepy bunny. The creepy bunny is your title. You just need to understand that. <laughs> Malin, no. Oh wait, what did I learn? So I can make a rose bed and a bunny day bed now. How 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 great. Cute house. Cute house, actually, though. Hair bangs make me cry. I think Persephone thinks the same. Persephone hates when the hair is just weirdly stuck on. Okay, well, all right. So there's this thing I have about the lopsided mouth, you know? But all things considered, she's cute. I have to say she's cute. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, cat. But she's cute. I don't know what you want me to say. I personally don't like her, but she definitely isn't the worst. Had a suffering today. I know. She has a sideways mouth. You should be sorry. Oh wait, I didn't I didn't talk to her. Oh no, Kat, I'm so sorry. Oh no. I had her the first time that I did Happy Home Paradise. I got Olivia. Ooh. As my first Happy Home character instead. Interesting. Yeah, she was cute until I had to see her 8 million times on the Happy Home Paradise. Life is suffering. <laughs> oh no. It's time to quit the gambling addiction. Yeah, we'll we'll stop now. We'll stop. We'll, we'll there won't be any more uh any more bidding. Have I checked for a message in a bottle today already? Oh, weeds have changed also. 
I think that already happened because I remember Hazel hiding in these weeds, but the weeds have changed. So have the, the things on the trees. <laughs> so have the things on the trees. Ugh, corpse almost blocking my path. Rude. Okay, I mean, since it's here, we can also check this because I don't have most of these recipes just yet, so why not, you know? But... No. And Gianna also welcome on in. And I also hear a balloon, which also might be uh, a bunny. <laughs> bunny Day literally is the worst holiday that they could have made. Wait, but if there's a Bunny Day balloon, doesn't that also mean there's like a regular one coming? Or or is that wrong? Is there are they more likely than the regular ones? <gasps> oh my god, I almost literally did not see him. I was like, what are these floating eyeballs? <laughs> I like Camel Frog. I do. I do. Also steadily welcome on in. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> oh, that's the plan, right? He's just he's just chilling. Yeah. Uh, we have had some some cute ones, some not so cute ones. So basically, Roswell was the campsite visitor, and then we got Camel Frog and Eloise. Don't make me laugh while drinking. I'm sorry. <laughs> Bunny Day balloons every. Oh my god! Look at this. Oh, it's the it's. I, I, I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here anymore. Okay, we'll upgrade my house and then we'll get out of here. Uh, every four minutes while the normal balloons will appear every five minutes. Okay. I almost died of water. Oh no, Kata. <laughs> okay, next uh, loan payment, which I think I can still pay. I think I still have... I still have enough um, money. Purple Moroccan flooring. Okay, interesting. White roses, also not great, but yeah. Oh, I can do amiibo cards now as well. I do have Flurry's amiibo, so at some point I can probably get her to move in. But I do think I'll do that once. We have like 10 villagers. Um, and... We can then kick someone else out with that same card. Uh, low payment, loan payment, and then pay from savings. I still have enough. Very good. A ripped doctor's coat. I never heard of that before. Wait, really? You haven't? I remember how angry people were the first bunny day right after release. It was so bad. I didn't play at that time. I just knew, like, I just heard about it. That was so bad. Look at it. With the purple tie. Oh, Fia, thank you for hanging out. I appreciate it. Hello. I hope you have a lovely uh, rest of your day. Okay, also there's a couple of items right here. Uh, the first, like, the first few days after you start your island, especially if you're just restarting to decorate again, so you're just trying to get to the same, the same, like, level as you were before, and, like, unlocking everything, the first few days are so grindy. Like, just trying to skip through the days, paying everything off, getting all the Nugmal things, like the camera stuff, the hairstyles, the colors, the DIYs, like, just all that, you know? And Night Skies, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome on in. The first bunny day was also for 12 days instead of 7. Yeah, and then, I, I mean, I, I guess some people probably already time travel, but I think at first... Like the, like, the first few weeks or months, like, time traveling wasn't that big of a thing, so a lot of people just had to suffer through it. When now, I think people are more likely to be like, let's just, let's just skip, <laughs> you know? Okay, ultimate pocket stuffing is definitely a must-have. Now I've got the four rows of inventory, which is amazing. Um, And then I always get the reactions really quickly. Is anyone else like that, or is that just because I I also get it because the the um, reactions are awesome for like content stuff too. Like if you want to do like thumbnails, etc. So 
So I always get the reactions very early on, even though that's like a lot of points or like a lot of miles that you maybe could just save for other things. Bam. Hey, how's work? How are you doing? Uh, thank you for asking. Um, I'm okay-ish. <laughs> I'm very anxious. Uh, this, this week... This week, uh, the like imposter syndrome and all the anxieties are kicking. I feel very, very stupid. <laughs> I feel very stupid. I feel very like unable to do anything. Um, and so I've kind of been struggling with that this week a little bit. Uh, but apart from that, I'm good. The like my coworkers are still super nice. I'm still excited about the entire thing. I'm just very scared and anxious about it um but yeah how are how are you i stayed in march until it was over yeah yeah that makes sense oh yeah that was the reactions okay now there's hairstyles but i think you know the one that we want is just whatever um fencing would probably make sense to learn the rest of these i'll just learn like later on but fencing i guess is kind of good to maybe get out of the way i don't think i need the the zen fence Log wall, maybe. I priori prioritize the hairstyles over inventory space. I'm not one to judge. Yeah. Yeah. I need the hug. I need hug emote as soon as I can. Wait, like on Twitch or 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 the in Animal Crossing, you mean? Oh, you probably mean the Animal Crossing like this one here. Yeah. Recently restarted my island on my Switch Lite and it's been reactions left and right. Yes. <laughs> nice. Very tired, but very happy to happy to watch the stream. I'm glad. That makes me happy. Hug reaction to Animal Crossing. Yeah. Yeah. You're not stupid. You're you're new. Yeah, that's what like Kat's been saying and stuff. But I'm a very, very, very impatient person, and I have, I don't, like, you might know this, I don't really speak to myself very kindly, and I have, I think my expectations for myself are too high, uh, so that a lot of times, like, I overthink certain things, and I, I overcomplicate certain things, and I... I think about them so much that I I don't really get started on things and then I beat myself up about it because I haven't really done that. Just like I haven't taken that step just yet, if that makes sense. And I know, but like, it's just, it's, it's, it's just it, you know? Uh, Shannon, thank you for the follow. And then Khan, thank you for the 21 month resub. Thank you so much. It's good to see you. Um, I appreciate the support. Thank you. I'll be back in time for deliveries. Yeah, enjoy your dinner. Oh, no worries, Annie. No worries. Yeah, I started a new job um, last Monday. The last Monday was my first day at a new job. Um, I work like 22 hours a week. So that means like five to six hours per day. Uh, and the beginning has been... Like, I'm very excited about like working with and for them and working like on this project um i work for like an indie game dev company by the way um it's called spell garden and they made a game called sticky business which you might know uh, so that's like really fun and they're really really nice and everything it's just a lot of like new things and my it's taking up my like entire energy and so i i get very like anxious about not being able to do content creation but meanwhile not living up to like their standards my standards like that's just the entire thing but yeah okay let's go and skip to uh two should we do two months maybe let's do two months there we go and then that should give us the hairstyle and everything and then before we go to the um to the announcement thing we'll take a little break i love that game me too me too one of my tasks last week was kind of to play through the game and like you know get a little bit familiar with it because i'd only like play like a little bit myself before and it's very fun i've got like over 10 hours in it already <laughs> i've been in my job and i still feel that sometimes it gets better i try to think about that if i could do everything that my job would ask of me i wouldn't learn anything would would i then like to be there oh 
oftentimes get surprised how welcoming and how willing people are to share knowledge and get the feeling that they can teach people something. Yeah. Yeah, true. I just, I just, I'm too hard. I'm too hard on myself, which I kind of, I know, but, you know. I went to a tech conference a few years ago and there was uh, there were whole seminars on imposter syndrome and honestly I have no idea what they said now but I do remember that they were jam-packed like we were smushed in there because they were so popular and so it just reminds me that so many people experience the same thing seven years in my job and I still get that it gets easier uh it gets easier to manage I promise I hope so I hope so yeah yeah all right, before we get back to Animal Crossing, um, I skipped two months, so we should be should be getting the hairstyle now. And um, next up, we are going to probably open up for Chrissy and then spread around a couple of decorations. And then we'll see. We'll kind of talk about what we're going to do next. I still want Abel's sisters to move on, so we might just kind of try and look for them. <gasps> Annie, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That probably, that was not a link. That was just a dot without a space. Um... Okay, and then let me catch up with your messages, and then we'll take a short little break. It's really normal to feel like that. The senior co-workers I talk to, because um, I talk to, uh, because of that maybe, uh, have these feelings, and that really helps me. Yeah. Uh, Como Rabi, welcome on in. Uh, I don't know the game, but we'll check it out. I know it's hard, but try, try to be kind to yourself. Life is stressful enough with other people not being kind. We should try to not add to our own to our, to ourselves. Yeah, yeah. I'm the same way. Mm. Fascinating that Twitch cannot get rid of the word "don't" problem. Yeah, same. Uh, breaks are usually like, oh, I would say around five to ten minutes. I think five to ten minutes is usually... I usually say like five minutes and then I, I end up most of the time taking a little bit more. Uh, all right, so we'll take a short break. Um, I think I can run an ad again. I, I think there just were maybe a few ads, but then we kind of reduced the ads for almost an hour after, which is nice. So uh, time to get yourself like something to drink if you don't have anything just yet. Does it have to do with people telling you to, you did things wrong when you were little? Because I have massive imposter syndrome I went through because probably because I had a very mass ADHD. I think I also have ADHD, so it might be that. Yeah, it might be that. All right. Enjoy your break. Go get yourself something to drink. Go get yourself something to snack. Maybe stretch. You know, there's a few things. There's a few things that you might you might have to do during the break. But yeah, um, I'll see you. I'll see you after. It'll only be like a few minutes. Enjoy.
Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed your break. Did you get anything to snack or drink or did you get up and stretch? Let me know. Felicity just sent me a letter opening with, I have problems, Curie. Same, Felicity. Same. Yeah. I forgot to move. Fair. Fair point. Uh, welcome back, everyone. You know what I just thought about? Maybe at the end of stream, because I don't actually know, like, if we reach three stars today. Did you hear that? Oh, my God. My entire, like, desk vibrated because my phone work just vibrated. <laughs> um if we reach three stars i don't really know what i'm gonna do because like i mean i don't have anything like that we can decorate but i did think maybe if you are <gasps> we have announcements okay if you're up for it i could open and we could do um the tree chopping together again i made food before the breaks so i have food and soda nice took out the trash Ooh, doing the dishes nice i got more water cooking dinner i ordered some tacos yum Oh, I put a load of laundry in. Very good. Very productive. Right before break, I came back with foods and drinks. Therefore, I didn't move the slightest bit now. <laughs> and nice. Now. Oh, I read Curie's message. Nice. And now she's teaching me how to smile. You're sending me some mixed signals, honey. Maybe she's also kind of like, you know, I'm struggling. But let's just smile through the, tr the troubles, you know, just through like the, the issues. <laughs> yeah. I hung up my laundry and took out the trash. Look at all of you hanging up laundry and taking out trash. I had finished lunch, which was Chick-fil-A. Ooh. I almost fell asleep. I have my balloon ready. Very good. Okay. We do have an announcement. Um, I skipped two months, I think. So I guess there will be there will be a villager now for today's announcement. Thanks to everyone's loyal patronage. Business at Nook's Cranny is booming. Fudge. No! Okay, so... That didn't work. Okay. So you can't sell anything even in... Even when it's still in the resident services. I guess. Because I didn't do anything apart. Like, after it was built, I didn't go in. I just went in once to meet Mabel and that was it. And I had it onverted before, like you can do it with time traveling forever and ever without it, um, without it like upgrading. Uh, yeah, before they built their shop, you know how Timmy or Tommy or whoever it is is in the in the tent in a resin services tent, and you can sell there. Yeah, we thought that that was fine. Put some vegan chili cheese balls in the air fryer. Oh, yum. Also did laundry, made dinner instead of uh, ordering small wins. Let's go. Built my campsite and placed it. Good luck, Dragon's Fire. It's raining here. We've got, um... And we've got an Animal Crossing stream. I literally could not be cozy right now. Nice. All right. So, you know, um, unfortunately, Nook's Cranny is upgrading. Oh, that kind of sucks. All right. Well, I mean, that just means uh, we are going to do a little small shop. There we go. At least he got the hairstyle. Uh, yeah, I mean, okay, that also just means we can, we can take the fence away, we can just purchase things now, which I guess is also, that is also kind of okay. Dang it. I would have liked to try, just because the small one is, is kind of pretty, but I mean, I, you know, Chrissy also did say, like, it is hard to decorate around it, because it has, like, a little bit awkward spacing, so we're just gonna pretend this was the plan all along, all right? Uh, mom's knapsack. Which one did she send me? <gasps> she sent me the little orange one with the duck. Oh, I love it. And we got a monstera. Okay. Not the best uh, pot, but it's okay. Yeah, Nooks is upgrading. Nooks is upgrading. I don't understand either. I did not go in. I didn't order anything from uh, the Nook stop. Um, I didn't go in after I'd placed it. I'd only sold stuff when they were still in in the tent in the resident services tent but maybe you can't even do that you know maybe you cannot even do that all right well so we have our eight villagers so we don't really need to time travel we do still need to find mabel though 
Yeah, nobody's gonna know. We're, we're just not gonna tell anyone. <laughs> I'm just probably gonna edit into the, into the video and everything, but we're not gonna tell anyone that the plan was a different one, you know? Because I, yeah, this would have been this would have been super super cute, but like you can't even put custom designs up to the doorstep and stuff. Yeah, I sold in resin services and time traveled six months and Nooks is still tiny. Yeah, I don't know. There must have been something that I that I did wrong. Like something that I missed because usually or I would say like it's definitely possible to have a small nooks cranny um, also with time traveling because I did have that on burden and I'm sure I even skipped like a lot of time ahead um, to time travel to like a different season, you know, hide it from YouTube. It's a Twitch secret. Like on my spicy switch, it's been much longer than a month and Nooks is still tiny. Yeah, maybe all the gold nuggets. Maybe I just surpass like a certain limit and then it still upgrades, even if you don't really go back in it. I don't know. It's fine. Oh, I hate them. I hate the dragonflies so much. This is not even the banded one and I still hate it. So bad at catching them. <gasps> Mabel is here! Oh, at least one good thing. You win some, you lose some, you know? Stop! Oh, God. Oh, the bigger shop might be easier for a small town, though. Like, the small one is too ramshackle, maybe. Yeah, I was going to make it, like, a shed. I was actually going to use that ramshackle uh, style and make it, like, into, a, into, like, a shed, not, like, a store, necessarily. Even though it does say, like, shop on it. And Louise is all, like, pretty with her bow and stuff. Um, in every video of yours, I just have a very bad overlay of the small store on top of the large one. No one will notice. <laughs> oh my god, imagine. Just every time I do, like, a weird PNG picture just randomly stitched over top it, that would be great. On Vanilla, I even sold millions worth of, um, bells and it's still small, but well. Anyway, positive note, Big Nodes, uh, Big Nooks is indeed much easier to decorate, yeah. Yeah. Eloise is such a hekel, Ute. <laughs> Wait, what the heck is that? <laughs> I've never heard that before, but I love it. Camel frog is so cute. You literally don't see him, though. Like, that pattern is working, honey. All right, Mabel. You came at just the right time. There's something I would like to ask you today. Could I bend your ear for a bit? Sure. What is up? I wanted to ask you about a location for the store that we're thinking of opening. Thanks to you, we've gained a lot of customers on this island who can't wait for me to come here peddling. So I've been talking with my sister about opening a proper store right here on this island. So today I came to chat with Tom Nook and we had a great conversation. He was all like, we have some materials left over from building Nook's cranny. All that must be done then is to select an appropriate location. Oh, and the perfect individual to help you find the location would be Malene. Of course. Uh, so I figured I would just keep doing the traveling peddler thing until I ran into you again, and that's now. Oh, geez, I've just been rambling on and on, haven't I? Sorry. I'm pretty excited about all this. Anyway, my sister and I would feel better opening the shop with the help of someone Tom Nook trusts. So how about it, Malene? Can you be our location scout? Of course. Of course, there's nothing I'd love to do more than that, you know? He does blend in, yeah. And Louise is giving summer Zoma Zuzi. <laughs> Okay, also, show me what's on sale. Maybe you've got something cute. Um, eh. I mean, you know what? The hoodie, I feel like it's actually not the worst outfit. We kind of have to think about, like, what my character is going to wear. I like the pants, too. Um, I feel like the hoodie is not the perfect color. We'll wait. We'll wait until you got your big store. And we will already go ahead and we'll change up the hairstyle. Because that was the entire point of this thing. There we go, fashionista. All right, Persephone, what would you like? Sandals and socks, absolutely. Sandals and socks for sure. Um, I'd like to maybe even have the holy socks, you know, the ones with the holes in it. Not the holy, like, ah, but like the, the ones with the holes. <laughs> Something from Mabel, oh, you've got to be kidding me. Okay, well, can I wear the hoodie then maybe? Uh, what's on sale? Or do you want to choose? At least one item. Okay. Give me this simple parka and maybe give me... 
You know, I'm down to buy the pants and the skirt then. We'll check out what looks better. Uh, fat bad kisses. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. They call my sandals. <laughs> I'm wearing them in those Birkenstocks kind of shoes on my island. Yes, that's what I want too. Birkenstocks for sure. That is like a must, I think. For sure. Um, and then, I don't know. I feel like relatively basic like pants and a a sweater of some sort. Like it, it depends, I guess. Maybe we'll look for like a cute custom design sweater. You know? We'll we'll see if we can find something. I definitely want a different hat than this one. I don't really love this hat. Um, but it's really the only one I've got right now. And then they only had like a mage's hat, so I'm not gonna do that. Okay, here's the parka, and then this is the pants they had. Or this is the skirt. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> Maybe this. Maybe this. Yeah. Eh, uh, should I leave that unpaused now that Encanto is finished? Um, unpaused meaning leaving it open so people can redeem the uh, fashionista. Yeah, yeah. I'd be, I'd be happy to, to pick out some outfits. Uh, pineapples are bomb. Welcome on in. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. It's kind of cute, right? It's kind of cute. Hello. Yeah, because in the future, you know, we can pick out a couple of outfits from like whatever they offer. I think that's nice. And then we're just going to go and put the Able Sister shop right here. If that works. Uh, and also, um, is it a... a, a Aphelia, I want to say. Thank you for the follow as well. Welcome on in. It is cute. Very good. <gasps>Alrighty, Able Sisters is placed. Very good, very good. Um, shall we talk to... Oh, also, Pineapples, welcome to the chat. Has the stream title been answered? Do we have three stars? We don't know yet. Uh, we have been... We've been working to get the needed uh, villagers. So basically, uh, we now have eight villagers, which is, I think, the minimum requirement to even be able to reach three stars. And I would say I'm going to ask... I don't think I've got it just yet because there's not that many items up and not that many flowers, but um, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> but we're going to ask, I would say. Ooh, and there's a few things here. Baggy shirt. Okay, sloppy sofa. And then some items that we can put up. All right. I really don't look like myself with that outfit, I will say. <laughs> Welcome, Aline. In case you don't remember, I'm Isabel. I look forward to being of assistance with your life here on Kefian. At this counter, I can help you with both general issues and issues you may face with other residents. We can delve into the details when specific concerns arise. No need to worry about that right now. But since you're here, I may as well ask, do you have any specific concerns at the moment? I do. What a welcoming chat. Yeah, yeah. Welcome on in. Whoever said that little hello sounds like a cat meow has broken me. I can't unhear it. Oh, my God. It's actually just a sound clip, I think, from Epidemic Sound, um, if I remember correctly. <laughs> so I don't know who said it. <laughs> thank you, Clara. I appreciate it. And Ma, thank you for hanging out. Um, I, I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. My first official request. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Uh, that wasn't professional, what, professional was it? Um, How can I help you today? Okay. Uh, mm, oh. Do I need to talk to Tom Nook first? She doesn't give me the option yet. I always forget this part. I think maybe I need to talk to him because he's going to be like, Ooh, we have enough villagers now. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're getting more inquiries. Quiries. I don't know. About the campsite you helped build. My plan to draw visitors easily where the campsite has pro proven itself to be a masterpiece. Yeah, you are... Uh, yeah. Right. Now that positive word of mouth marketing about Kefian will just spread. I admit it, though. This is the most difficult part of her whole venture. We've done all right so far, so I'm sure it'll work out. 
We won't be able to host a KK concert without your help. I'm going to keep counting on you. When you're ready to talk about the next part of the project, come ask me, what should I do? I just asked you, what should I do? And then you go into an entire monologue praising yourself. And then you tell me, like, ask me. I just did. Okay. I'll explain the last part. We started gathering feedback from folks on and off the island. There we go. Our focus right now should be improving the image of the island and gaining that all important word of mouth marketing. I've asked Isabel to assist with collate. I'm every time, every time I read this dialogue, I don't know how to th say these words. Col collating, collating. I'm not sure. So talk to her for the latest information. I think Isabel will have some good pointers on how we can improve the island's image. Um. Okay. Let's do that. Infrastructure is important. I think that should probably be taken care of. Collating. Okay. Or I don't know where the the where you'd stress it, but yeah. I won't bore you with the details now, but feel free to ask me about island evaluations anytime. Okay, there we are. Let's talk island evals. Wonderful. It seems you're as excited to hear about the image of our island as I am to talk about it. Well, allow me to explain how the task force force that's me collects and analyzes the data for my reports i basically know that the five star system yes we need more residents and buildings infrastructure and a well-decorated natural setting easy enough <laughs> yeah two stars okay kind of kind of like i kind of like i expected to be fair uh let's see what we can improve on i've been shipwrecked there a few times so i consider myself an authority and i've got ideas um more stuff going on. Okay. More stuff we can do. <laughs> Some more development on the island. A lot of people will judge an island based on the types and numbers of shops it has. Yeah, that's BS. We don't need the shops. We basically have the shop that's needed. I don't really think you actually need Able Sisters to reach three stars. Oh, collating. Coll collating. Collating. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, enjoy your dinner, Chrissy. Very exotic for a change. Pasta with pesto. Let's go. Enjoy, though. That sounds good. All right. That means we need to make some more items. Uh, Chrissy, let me know when I open for you. But also, please enjoy your dinner first. No need to rush. Now that we can order stuff anyway. You know. Oh my god, look at them. <gasps> no. <laughs> look at them. Roswell is enjoying a little drink and Camel Frog is serenading him. No. <laughs> <laughs> Why do we wear this cap even though we now have a cute hairstyle? Oh, actually, wait, for a point, we could just take it off. I hadn't thought that far. I feel like it's kind of missing a hat, though, not gonna lie. It is kind of missing a hat, maybe. We love the games. Fred, is that you? <laughs> I like my food at room temperature. Now piping hot, I could come by right away. Okay, I can open for you then. I can open for you. Give me a second. Cardboard box we can put up and we can put up the sloppy sofa too. I cannot handle when they sing. It's just painfully cute. Yes. Okay, so basically I just cr I gave Chrissy like one file. I don't I didn't give her too much just yet. I gave her one file um, with like wheat fields and then just like a few more things. Uh, maybe that'll be enough though. And then apart from that, maybe just some flowers, uh, which I can make a an, a file for in a second. You want me to drop the sandals too in the socks? Uh, we might just try and find them. I think we'll try and find them now that we've got Able Sisters moving in. Um, we'll check maybe just for outfits. Thank you. Okay, I want visitors, please. I can't. Yeah, they're they're so cute when they sing. It's it's adorable. <gasps> I love some pasta with pesto. Same thing. We had bread again today. Did I already mention that? We had bread again today. That was good. Mm, and chocolate brioche stuff. S stuff. But pasta with pesto. 
laps a lot. Alrighty, invite my friends, please. This is only for Chrissy, by the way. I'll open like for the flattening and stuff. We'll do that later after the three stars. Uh, this will be for for Chrissy for now. Um, okay, well, what type of flowers do we want? Because obviously, I I could um, we could already go for flowers that we're gonna use. We already do have some. We have like green mums. I was thinking like green, white. What is on the mood board? Chrissy received another message from famous Sparksby. Uh, Sparksby. Kind of. Very impromptu, though. I just did one interior just before stream. Because to be fair, um, my weeks, I've just been, I don't know. You know? <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I was thinking white, yellow, and orange flowers. And... Um, White, yellow, and orange flowers, and the green mums, probably. I already have yellow hyacinths, orange tulips. I think I've got white mums, too. I think I've got white mums, too. But let's fill, like, a pocket full. I'm just going to do that quickly, like, off to the side. But you can tell me what you think would, would fit. White mums and her tulips, yeah. White cosmos are, I think, like, a very good idea. Because they kind of look like... Which I don't know what that is. Fill row. We're going to do white tulips. A museum is probably not staying at 10. I did think about it. Um, but I I just didn't know where to place it. And if the museum is a 10, you can't move it anymore. And I didn't really place it in like a good spot. So I think... I think we'll upgrade it and then we'll just um we'll just pretend it's like an official like town hall. You know, like a tiny village town hall sort of thing, but yeah. Can you send me the file again? I I can. I can I can. I think. Um just like this. Uh, sushi, welcome on in. I already gonna go now. Have not had nearly enough sleep the last few days, so I might want to try and catch up on some. Of course, thank you for hanging out, Frida. I appreciate it, and I hope you can sleep. I hope you can uh, you can sleep. Random interesting thing, or maybe not. I notice whenever you ask about a word and people spell it out in chat that there seems to be two different ways people use. Either by spelling it in a more phonetic way or by laying it out with a different word, it sounds like. Perfectly illustrated by Kat and I just now. I wonder why people do it the way they do. Curious. End of ramble. Yeah, I was talking about like how to pronounce because so I always say daily for the villager. But a lot of people have like, or not a lot of people, but some people have commented on my videos that they pronounce it in a different way. Now I got another comment, by the way, saying like, oh, do you say daily? Is that like, like a Canadian thing? And I was like, probably a German thing. <laughs> um, and then people were kind of, because I, I was asking, um, I was like asking like, oh, you know, let me know how you pronounce it. And the people were like, oh, it's basically rhymes with like jelly or belly. So people say like deli, which makes sense. If I think about it, that's how I've heard that word pronounced. Oh, that shirt is still so cute. That's how I've heard that word pronounced in English. I don't know if I was just, I just had a, an, I just had a, I don't know, weird thought, but I, I feel like the daily thing is kind of like a German influence. Like that's German coming in and, and kind of, yeah. Okay, maybe for the three stars, I'll just do white cosmos, white tulips, orange cosmos, and yellow cosmos, honestly. Why not? And we'll just do like 10 of each, I think. Um, oh, yeah, Flora, someone gave it to you a while ago. You can actually check on your Twitch. If you go on to Twitch and you check the inbox thing. <gasps> Hi, Chrissy. Oh, my God. Wait, my reactions are all weird. There we go. Hi, Chrissy. Um, wait, what? Remove the dot? It doesn't see it as an NHI file, but a 0.1 file. Oh, 
Oh, oh, the name of all oh, because of the name of the file that I gave it. Oh. Mm hmm. Okay. I'll just do. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, it's telling me that it might be unusable. Okay, hold on. Uh, can I give me a second? I'll save the current inventory and call it something else. And then I'll load this in and just save it again, just to make sure. Uh, load inventory. Ah, uh, it might not work. Yeah, it might not work. It doesn't let me load it in either. I'm going to try to remove the dot, but it's, I'm, it might make it weird. It might make it weird. Try it and let me know. If not, I can just quickly fill something. Yeah, I pronounce it like jelly. Yeah, like deli. Yeah. Deli like jelly versus something like da daily. Yeah. The left brain, right brain thing or something. Ooh, true. Yeah, the creative, the creative versus like analytical thing. I always think it's my PC and look for an alert. No, that was me. Sorry. It doesn't show me the file at all. Okay, can you load the second one I sent? Oh, wait, I didn't send you that one. Can you load this one here? Because then you can start with the flowers and I'll quickly do the other one. Weird. Okay, but I'll, rem I'll remember that for the future. That is odd. That one worked. Okay, good. Okay, we'll do that way then. I don't really remember what I had, but... Oh, no, I remember. I had, like, two rows of wheat fields. Um, and then I had a row of Aries rocking chairs. And then I think I got some tractors. A red one. And a yellow one. And a green one. And then I got some... Um, Scarecrow. Wow, that name just did not come to me for a second there. And then I did some wooden stools. That was it. So nothing too fancy this time around. But, you know, does the trick. I hope. Anyway, as long as I save it with the right name, it seems. Okay, save current inventory. And then we're going to call this something else this time. Oh my god. Do this instead. Sorry, that was me again. <laughs> Not your PC. That was mine. Okay, so the 22 and the 23 data, uh, data things. Ah, okay. Ooh. Windows likes to alert me and tell me to clean up my desktop. Thanks for calling me out, Windows. Oh no. You know what? I have... I... So... I don't know how you all do it. If if you um, <laughs> please, uh, Gianna, welcome on in. <gasps> Who did you get? Who did you get? Uh, it, are you the type of person if you download things, do you immediately sort it into the right folder, or do you also like me, basically put it in like just the download folder and then it just sits there for the longest time? Because that's what I do. And so on my to do list for like quite some time now, I've had like sort PC. Because it's it's basically a lot of like, um, it's basically like a lot of just pictures off my islands and stuff, or random graphics that I've downloaded for stream or for YouTube videos or whatever. Um, I do try to be like organized when it comes to like videos, you know. So like I've gotten the files for like one video and like one folder and stuff, but there's a lot of things in the download folder. Downloads until I need to sort it. Have to sort it right away. Okay. They, yeah, they collect mold in my downloads folder unless I know that I'll delete it later than in download. Okay. Always in download. It stays in download forever. Yeah, because I'm the same way, but like it's starting to really get on my nerves. And so I feel like I need to, um, I need to really organize my PC. And also same thing for my phone. I actually sat down yesterday randomly. I actually got sidetracked, but that's like the 
you get the best organizing due when you're sidetracked. Um, because I deleted like a bunch of photos, but I have like so many photos. It's wild. Okay, I can't remove the vines. So I think before y'all come over to clean later, I'll remove the vines and then maybe just bring like a ladder or something. Ladder and vaulting pole. Damn. I have ADHD, so it stays in the download forever as it procrastinated as it becomes more and more of a mess. Yeah. I also don't really know, like, what do you do with if you download programs? What about those? Because do you also sort those away? Because, I mean, I'm impressed if you do. <gasps> Look at all these. Yay. Thank you, Chrissy. Thank you for all the flowies. I feel like this should probably do the trick, right? Clap, clap, clap. I don't necessarily sort stuff, but I download something for a reason. So generally I need to go and get it and do whatever it is with it. Otherwise, I would just download it later when I'm doing that thing. Okay. I can't hug. Oh, my God. Uh, all right. Well, I'll hug. Okay. I'll still I'll still hug. All right. Thank you, Chrissy. Wow. I hug. You sneeze. Great. <laughs> thank you so much, Chrissy, for the delivery. We'll see if that pushes us over. We'll see if that pushes us over. The best organizing tidying happens when you're procrastinating doing something else. Yes, Noah. Yes, absolutely. All my games go in my games folder on my desktop. Yeah. Programs also stay wherever they end up when downloading. Okay. Gonna go get, get um gonna go help get dinner prepared. Take care, everyone. Thanks for the stream. Of course, yeah, of course, Buck. Thank you for hanging out. That was I tripped over that sentence. I'm sorry. Allergic to affection. I was like, hug. You were like, uh -huh. no. Alrighty. So we should have a bunch more flowers in our rating, considered in our rating, and then we have a ton of stuff that we're just gonna put up. Um, I got a lot of wheat fields, so this this is gonna be very random. I also got a few wobbly sheep and wooden stools. So we're just gonna, gonna put some of those up. I don't have the reaction. I want to lurk on your unwind channel. I saw Garden Galaxy. I'm on it now. Yes. I need to play a, a, like um I need to play Garden Galaxy again. I haven't in a while and I kind of miss it. I wanted to do like a spring spring version of an unwind video so that I, you know, just decorate like a little meadow with like a a pond or something or like a lake or whatever. Um, But I haven't been able to sit down and like obviously it'd be playing it for like a solid few hours to get like a good unwind video. And I just I just have not. It's just other things. <sighs> I annoy myself with like the amount of procrastinating that I do. Um, yeah. And then I do, I procrastinate like the important tasks with other things such as tidying up or organizing certain things. So yeah. Yes, please do as soon as you have time for it. I will. I will also, you know what? <laughs> I saw this earlier today. My, oh my god, this is absolutely insane. When I uploaded the first long play, uh, not on the Unwind channel, but like on my main one, the one with talking, that was on my early fall island on Sycamore. And I decorated, I think, my house, the pumpkin patch in front of my house. That was the first long play that I did. And I was like, you know what? I don't know how this is going to go. I love this. Like, I love this format when it comes to Minecraft, but I've never seen it really... Um, in Animal Crossing, at least not like that. I'd seen a couple of like ASMR type, like long play things in Animal Crossing, but nothing like where people really like play through it and talk. So I was like, you know what? We're just going to try. We're just going to see how it goes. And then it went terribly for like a day. And then it started picking up and then it actually did kind of well. And I was like, okay, I will uh, try this again. And then both of the long plays I posted after this one actually did much better. And I saw earlier that the Calathea one you know the island that I deleted? The Calathea one is almost at 100,000 views now. It actually might now. 
it was at like 99k earlier and I was like, what? And then I deleted that island and I feel bad about it. <laughs> and like, I've gotten quite like a lot of, I've gotten like a lot of comments also on my let's play and stuff of people wanting another long play, but then long plays, like obviously I sit there, I need to take like a solid few hours to even just build something, record something and, and everything. And um, it's just these tasks, I tend to just procrastinate right now. Even if I'm like, okay, technically today is Friday and I don't work for Spell Garden. I'm like, okay, today could be the day. And then I just spent the entire time doing other things, like taking my entire setup apart to check for my cables and order a few things off of um, Amazon to maybe help with the um, cable organization. Sure, why not? You know, that's the stuff that I... Oh my god, I think El Eloise sat down on the sloppy sofa. <laughs> that's the type of stuff that I will do if I actually maybe should sit down and record something. Same thing for the Let's Play last weekend. I was like, you know what? Let's bulk record a couple of episodes and then maybe just check. And, um, you know, when I've recorded them, like, it's easier... It's going to be easier to edit them throughout the week and stuff. Uh, did I record anything? No. No. Did that uh, Tuesday in between work instead. So I like worked an hour in the morning. They was like, y'all, I'll be, I'll be back later. I have to record a let's play episode. And they were like, okay, fine. And so I sat down, I recorded, I edited it. And then I went back to the spell garden work. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yay. But yeah, exactly. Wow. Calathea. And like most of the Calathea videos honestly have really been doing really well. Most of them, not everything, but most of them. And I feel a little bit bad, but the top, like the, the theme is going to come back, you know, so it's going to be fine. <laughs> um, and also welcome on in. It's so nice that you can be so flexible with your work time. It is. I asked them, I was like, you know what, is it like, would it be okay if I like maybe do something else real quick? Cause I have to do like a little bit of video prepping. And then they were like, actually, yeah, totally. Because like we actually, we plan on doing that much more that we just take like two hours in between to like go on a walk or something. Um, they they most of the time don't really because they forget to take breaks. <laughs> Same. But they were like, yeah, of course. No, it's totally fair. And sometimes I feel like that could help with like motivation because you don't sit there for like monotonous amount of time or like a, a, a like a, a, a lot of time just monotonously doing the same thing, but you can get up, do something else, then come back and stuff. Yeah, stupid walks for stupid mental health. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> but yeah, so they're they're really, really nice. Yeah. So are you working in the perfect environment? I think maybe I am. They're so nice. They're so nice. I don't know how to deal with it. Okay. Uh, you're curious about the current image of Kefian right now. <gasps> Three star rating. All right, perfect. Chrissy, thank you for the items and the flowers. Uh, allow me to read an excerpt from the feedback that I gathered. There we go. Kefian man, hearing about how chill it is, I'd go via the chance. Yes. <laughs> there have been, honestly, there have been so many green flags since I started there. Like, I don't want to talk about it too much because I'm also like, you know, it's still like a different project than a different workplace, but like there's, there've literally been so many green flags where like there was a certain chat going on and I just sat here being like, oh, yay, <laughs> you know? <laughs> oh, but thank you everyone. Also Faith, thank you for the follow. And Marley, welcome back. Oh my God, Tom Nook was like literally looking outside the window and he was like daydreaming. Whoa, 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 whoa. Am I hallucinating or was that feedback signed by a KS? Huh? Um, yes, there it is. Very clear. K.S. And the penmanship is quite striking, if I do say so myself. Could it be? Can it? It must be. That message is from the one and only K.K. Slider. Yeah, because that's the, you know, your first thought is going to be the, the famous person. Sure, he he wrote that. <laughs> what? I, I can't believe it. We finally achieved our goal of bringing our island to the attention of the K.K. Slider. Not only that, but he said he's looking for an excuse to visit. Then what are we waiting for? Let's offer him the chance to hold a concert on our shores. Strike while the iron is hot, they say. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, Charbeer, welcome on in. There will be DA, yes. I'm currently working on some uh, video material for that island. And once I have like some of the uh, some of the videos and some of like the building of the stuff out, then I will record like an island tour and then I'll also upload it as a DA and then publish that one, yes. Do you think KK is Nook's favorite artist because he's always naked? Oh, that's a can of worms that I don't want to open. <laughs> it's from Kaylor Swift. Oh my god. And then how does he has his phone number? I have like this doesn't make sense. You know, the entire thing just does not make sense. I'm with Nook Inc. located on Kefian. Mm, yes, indeed we did. We greatly appreciate your valuable feedback. That's actually why I'm calling. If you're truly interested in visiting Mr. Slider, we would be happy to host you and your musical stylings. Yes, quite. Mm, I see. Oh my, you mean, thank you so much. I'll be sure to mail you all the details straight away. The entire island will be looking forward to it. Thank you again. Yes, talk to you soon. And they were roommates. They don't want you to think this much about it. Listen, this is like, what, the 15th time I've done, I've done this? Of course I'm thinking about it. Well, yeah, that's true. They were like, uh, they're not going to notice, right? It's fine. What are KK's fans called? Slideys? Yes, please. Yeah, if he's so famous, why is he answering the phone himself as not his manager? Oh, awesome. Very good question. What did he say? I'll do the concert. That's right. KK Slider is coming here. Mm -hmm. And who do we have to thank for that? Amazing. Congratulations, sir. Isabel, are you kidding me right now? Congratulate Quifties. <laughs> Oh my god. He could be here as soon as tomorrow, but he has to check his schedule, of course. And then tomorrow, he's available tomorrow. How famous is he? <sighs> KK is too free of spirit and constantly naked to have a manager. <laughs> and plays in front of like three people every week. True. True. Malene, can you believe it? We finally turned our goal into reality. Yeah, I can't believe it because I worked for it. I mean, partly, but you know. Uh, we'll spread news of the concert via our island broadcast system. I do hope that you'll be in attendance. You simply must hear KK play. Yes, you must. Right. So now, all that's left for us to do is to time travel to the next day, right? I think that's the next thing I do. I don't think there's anything else that I need to check before that. I can go and get some fencing? Uh, it's not really the best fencing. Okay. Sounds pretty desperate to me. It kind of does. <laughs> not gonna lie. All right, you know what? Let's load. Let's load into the concert. Let's go. We're also playing during May. Um, That's okay. I still haven't decided. I still have not decided on the time, but... Oh, we'll have to definitely not play during... Like, if we play during spring... I think it should be, like, earlier than May. Like, maybe more like March. But then not during, like, Bunny Day. Not during Bunny Day. I just Googled what the KK and KK Slider stands for and the random piece of info appeared when KK Slider was a... Oh, this random piece of info appeared. When KK Slider was a puppy, he was bullied by Tom Nook and his friends at school. But he had a crush on Isabel. What? And now, now Tom Nook is his biggest fan? I don't know. Did they think about this lore? Did they did they actually like did they consider all that stuff? <laughs> Doesn't seem like that to me. That sounds like straight off AO AO3. Mm-hmm. It does. <laughs> huh? Yep. Ah, <sighs> that's surely from a fan fiction. I, I think it kind of sounds like that. I agree. I like the hairstyle, me too. I think I have to get used to it like a little bit and I definitely would like to have a hat of some sort. Like I think like a, actually just like a beanie or something, like something basic, but um, I like, I, I like it. I just, I don't, I need to get used to it on myself, I think. It's canon that Nook and Sable are the same age and were friends in the past, okay. 
Today's announcement, as I mentioned in yesterday's broadcast, Nook's Cranny will be closed today for renovations. Yay! To wrap up today's broadcast, I have a very special announcement. The incredible, amazing musician KK Slider is here visiting Kefian. Not only that, but Mr. Slider has graciously, I clicked on accidentally, uh, stand by for a direct feed from the concert venue. I hope you all enjoy the show. Also, they didn't even, like, they don't even have a concert venue. Like, we're literally just doing it on the plaza. I mean, the concert. You know? Like, that's not really... That's a really famous singer, like, concert vibes to me. Hey, Kefian. <laughs> it's real groovy being here today. Feels like this dream I once had when it was just a scruffy pub with a shoebox guitar. I was dreaming of hitting out on my own, wandering wherever my road would take me. Dreaming of finding a magical place where cool cats like you would come together to see a stray like me. Sorry about that. I do run on. Time to get your finger snapping. All right. Right on. This one goes out to all you cool cats on Kefian. I call it Welcome Horizons. Get those snapping fingers out. What I don't understand is if DJ and KK Slider are two separate entities. True. I was confused at that too. This man's sitting in the rain almost every week. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. It would have been such a nice throwback if he would have moved his concert to the cafe once you unlock it. Aw, oh, yeah. We need a dwarf dissa. <laughs> you beat the game! Credits! We're done! Yay! Alright, so that was Animal Crossing New Horizon. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, next time... Ouch. Next time, we'll play uh, Supermarket Simulator. <laughs> According to the Animal Crossing wiki, I don't think Nintendo writes this. Yep. Oh my god, look at Rex. Oh, Rex is so into the music. I love it. He's like... Thanks, bye! <laughs> no K-pop chefs? That'll be after. That'll be after. Rex is absolutely vibing. Yeah. Sometimes it's kind of weird to think like that after this. I mean, yeah, there's a couple of things unlocked after you sh re you reach three stars, like you know the um. The islands, uh, wait, what is it called? Captain's Islands. And then, I mean, you can already do DA visits, but like, there's a few things. But really, if you're only into gameplay stuff, um, I feel like actually at this point, it almost feels like it's over, which is like, kind of sad. Actually, Stardew Simulator. <laughs> Stardew Simulator. There's like this major update. Not sure if you know about it. <laughs> oh, have fun, Polina. The vibes are vibing. Yay! Thank you so much. Maybe I'll catch you next time. Mm -hmm. He is desperate for our attention. That's it. A friend of mine can call me Ketzchen. Oh, I see. Yeah, museum, five stars, gold tools. True, true. But like actually reaching things on your island, you know what I mean? I don't know. Yeah, I guess the, the gold tools and five stars and stuff is right, but I, I don't know. I mean, we're not really interested in that anyway, so it's okay. Uh, it was a special thing for sure. As a commemorative gift, I have his song, Welcome Horizons, for you. Yay! Yeah, how long did he, how long was he standing there? True. To listen to it, you'll need an item that can play music. I have some big news too. KK is apparently very fond of her island now. It looks like trash. I don't get it. He's going to perform a show here every Saturday evening from now on. It really is amazing. Kefian was once a deserted island, but now we can host important concerts. Excuse me. 
looking through the windows. Oh God. Uh, I'm so thankful to you and everyone else on this island. I guess my getaway package idea is a success. I hope Kefian remains an enjoyable place to live for a long time to come. With your help, it will. Speaking of which, I've developed a new app that should help you make the island even more inviting. Let me send it to you now. Yes! Maybe KK isn't as successful as Tom Nook makes us believe he is. Sounds like that naked dog is actually struggling. Yeah, he maybe just is like an indie an indie artist. And maybe Tom Nook is just a very big fan, you know? Maybe it's just trying to get him the big break. It's true, it's true. It's a special app from Nook Inc. that gives residents the ability to take part in bold island development. At first, you'll only have permission to create paths, but you can use your miles to access more options like different kinds of paths, uh, different kinds of paths, and permits for changing our cliffs and rivers. Once you get a taste of island design, I think you will want more. I encourage you to obtain all the necessary permits. Yeah, Kefian has come a long way. I think I'll leave more and more of the future development of this island in the hands of its residents, aka me. I'm glad we have this talk, Malene. On behalf of Nook Inc., I'm excited about our continued partnership and your Kefian plans. You and me both. You and me both. Maybe he finds trash charming. True. True. <sighs> and so it begins. Alrighty. I want to know why KK walks around naked while everyone else wears clothing. Also good point. He's just a free spirit, I guess, you know? KK is different like that, yeah. Oh, God. Okay, so that means um, next up, the next step for me would be cleaning this island. Um, now, there, I guess there's like a few things here. I would go ahead, I'll go and clean up the items and then we'll open up. But I think before we open... Uh, I might do a quick time travel so that my, that the Able Sisters is open and my shop is open, you know? Booting up my Switch now, nice. I will probably just open for friends and then people, because I, oh, I've got a lot of people on this Switch, I think. So if you're friends with me on this Switch, then you feel free to come over if you want. Do make sure that you have a stable connection though, please. Um... That'd be, that'd be good, uh, so we don't have crashes. Uh, yeah, Chrissy would definitely make sense because Chrissy has the stuffs. Chrissy can maybe spawn some axes, some shovels. Um, bring your vaulting pole and ladder because I don't have stuff everywhere. And... <gasps> Hi, Camo Frog, what's up? You know what burns my beans? When somebody's got troubles but don't show any reaction. All right. Worry. Okay, that's a good one. Yeah, bring your vaulting pole and ladder. Um, bring... I, I guess maybe not... Br don't bring an axe and a shovel because maybe Chrissy can drop it if Chrissy comes over. And... Yeah. He doesn't wear clothing, so it's easier for him to feel the vibes. Mm -hmm. and also, if you come over... And no plucking of weeds. I would like to keep the weeds as is, at least for now. Um, and... Oh yeah, you can get rid of the roses. I think I've got a couple of flowers to the front that I'd like to keep, but you can you can get rid of the, of the roses. Uh, I'll put up like a trash bin or something where you can throw it out, I think. Okay, we'll leave Hank his... <laughs> Tank, sorry. We'll leave Tank his, his stool for now. Your character's hair? Yeah. <laughs> Oops, I plucked the weed. I think it was... I think it was a small one, though. <laughs> when KK is on your island on Saturdays and you do the group stretching, he just does it with the guitar removed. It's like he's naked. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Not the naked stretching, I know. I can help. Yeah, I mean, as long as you're friends with me here, like I've tried to try to fly over, I would say. I I would probably just do it kind of that way today. I hope that's okay. There might be some people who want to do the friend code stuff. We could we can also figure that out if there's like not not enough people. But for now, I, I guess I would just try it like that maybe. 
I'm very happy that you call it Persephone hair. It's for to me, it it is. It really is. Worry reaction is a good one for oop. I deleted another island YouTube video. <laughs> Yeah, I oh wow, look at me. I actually took a screenshot of why are you so shocked, Camo Frog? Mm, good. Um, I actually took a screenshot when I deleted it, like off the delete screen. I took a screenshot because um, I was like, that needs to go into the thumbnail. I don't know how to call it. I don't know what to call that video just yet. <laughs> Did you finish the botanical garden? I'll just eat it. I kind of yeet it, but I'll build it back up. It's just, it has a different name now. Um, I'll basically build it back up though. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, Oleander is now in its place. Will also be Botanical Garden, basically. I am knee deep in looking for pathing. No worries, go, go look. Go look and find some cute ones. Are you just testing out all the possibility to, to sit on this island? Is that it? I guess so. I just imagine my own dog doing that good group stretching. Oh, cute though. Oh, now he's got his soda out. He's like, ah, oh, I'm living the life. I need a test. I need to test this island, you know, tooth and nail. Sitting, a mood. <laughs> so cute. Tank is like, ooh, see, don't mind if I do. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, another opportunity to rest. I will do that. And Louise is doing some yoga. Cute. Thank you for hanging out, Fregnan. I hope you have a lovely time. Oh, yeah. So, like, these here, these here we can keep. These we can move to the beach, maybe. Plus, I think there were, or was that Oleander? I keep mixing them up. Maybe that was Oleander. I think I had, um,. I had some white mums somewhere on Oleander. And I was like, oh, mums, if you run through them, like if they're just starting, if they have the tiny little thingies, that looks really cute. Kind of looks like dandelions. Oh yeah, wait, we talked about that. Dandelion puffs. Was that this island? Am I, I'm too confused. I need to stop having islands that are in the same stage. That really is too confusing. Okay. Oh, wow. Look at this. <laughs> all the buildings, all the upgrades. Um, Where else do I have stuff? I do have some fencing, I think. Uh, I do have. Actually, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to put up <gasps> Emmy. Welcome on in. Um, OK, wait, let me finish that thought. Because my ADHD will make me forget it. Um, I will actually, you don't need to bring a ladder if you come over. I will put up vines because I can't flatten the, I can't flatten the cliffs anyway. I'll put up vines. So you don't need to bring ladders if you come over. Um, all right. And then let me see. Hello, Emmy and everyone who came over. Thank you so much for hopping in. Uh, my name is Moline, or you can also call me Sparksby. I use she or pronouns. I'll go away from the waterfall so it's not too loud. Um... I love Animal Crossing. We've just started a brand new island on Sunday. Today is the second day of playing on it. We just reached three stars. So I'm running around just cleaning a little bit and then I'll probably open for a few people that are already friends with me on the Switch and we'll have a little co cozy or chaotic, we'll see, a cleaning party. Um, but welcome on in, Water Lily and Emmy, hello. Um, is it Filix? I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly, but welcome on in. Mask, hello, welcome on in. Thank you for the follow as well. Um, I hope you had a lovely stream. What were you doing? Uh, if you want to share, please do. And also, if you need to raid and run, absolutely no worries. Go do your like post stream stuff. Take care of yourself. Get a snack, get a drink, stretch. If anyone needs to leave, no worries. But thank you for hopping in. And you're very welcome to hang out and uh, lurk or chat, whatever, whatever kind of works for you. I would love to show you what we've done so far in this island, but it literally is nothing. Um, it is called Kefian which is kind of a play on two different words. One of them is Kaffee, which is German for coffee. And the other is Kaff, which is like the German word for a tiny little village. And so uh, I'm trying to kind of create an island or I will be trying to create an island that it will be inspired by like German 
like countryside and villages. So I want to do like different clusters of houses and a very like simple. <gasps> oh, look at her. Oh, she's so cute. I want to do like a more sim simple, like simplistic, minimalistic type of decorating on this island um, and like rural kind of leave some tiles open. And we also have someone happy over here. <gasps> oh my God, why are they so cute? Camo frog and tank over here. And Hazel is sleeping. <laughs> oh my God. My island's probably only gonna have white flowers because they're the best white flowers. They're really nice, yes. Thank you again for the raid. Thank you. We were working on the Sprinkler Island today. We built a tea party area and a bunch of fillers. We're getting close to finishing it. Oh my God, exciting. Oh, it's Felix. Oh, okay, okay. Welcome on in. Hazel is so cute. I've been catching up with streams. Oh, no worries, Pixel. Welcome on in. Mm. Not the little hippity hops, I know, right? And LOE. Oh my god, they're still... They're still doing the hippity hops. <laughs> and then the little singing. It's so cute. Oh my god, look at them. Oh my god, and three ladybugs here. I just having the perfect time on this island, not gonna lie. Precious. Watch the moon. Welcome on in. Also, did I say hello to you just yet? I'm not sure. All right. I hope I said hello to everyone. If not, feel free to feel free to say hello again. Um, I can't really find any items that I'm missing. I will go and grab. Okay. Two things. I'll kind of leave my workbench and storage shed here, I think. I will go and put up a garbage bin just in case anyone has flowers. But I think that Chrissy said we're going to take care of those um, due to, like, the being able to make them disappear. <laughs> um, but just in case, I'll put that there. Uh, any, like, wood that you chop or anything like that, you can drop by my storage shed or by my entrance if you want to. If you keep it, that's also fine. <laughs> um and then what else did i want to do oh i wanted to put up some vines there we go yeah you might you did you do have to bring a vaulting pole though i don't have bridges everywhere unfortunately felix also thank you for the for the follow i appreciate it i'm gonna need to raid and run today of course no worries i'm so tired go go rest go sleep thank you again for bringing your community over i appreciate it i appreciate it and also you know, anyone from my community, uh, do make sure that you give Emmy a follow because Emmy's streams are really, really lovely. If you enjoy the vi the vibes here, I think you'd like it over there as well. Um, so make sure you do that. Okay, and then I'm going to put up a couple of vines so y'all can go up on the cliffs. Um, and then, you know, flatten and stuff or, you know, get rid of trees and, and, and stuff there as well. Happy villagers are so wholesome. Yeah. How do I send a clip of that to my villagers? You mean like show them how happy mine are? Or what do you mean? Very lovely vibes over at Emmy's. Yeah. Leave the roses to me. Okay, so Chrissy's going to take care of the roses. AKA get rid of them. And yeah, the rest of us are going to... Actually, you know what? We can also do it... I think last time we did it that way that... um. Excuse me. I'm so sorry. That as you all were running around and chopping trees, I was collecting the wood and stuff. So maybe I can do that here too. I can go around and just, um, yeah, collect all the collect all the collectibles like wood, rocks, sticks. Okay, basically we've got this cliff here, and then we got one more small cliff over there. And then the plan is basically I will remove all the cliffs later on. Um, at Libby, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. I will basically remove all of the cliffs later on and flatten because I kind of want to try to do a completely flat island. Um, with waterscaping, but like no cliffs. So, we'll see. Your villagers need to spread that happiness to my villagers after they've gone through such a gloomy winter. Oh my god, yes. Yeah. Everyone, everyone needs to hop around, do a little happy dancing and singing. What tools will we need? Golden and regular. 
Uh, I'd like regular. Yeah, yeah. So golden regular. Um, shovels and axes. Maybe some balloons. Maybe some balloons would be fun. Uh, where's my entrance? There is my entrance. Okay, here is the garbage bin. Maybe we should no, actually wait. I'm not gonna put that. <laughs> I'm not gonna put that stuff by the airport or or the resin services. Can maybe, can maybe we'll do like stretching and stuff. And I'll time travel quickly so my shops are built. Just because I feel like maybe that'll be fun. I don't know. Okay, we'll do storage shed here and garbage bin right next to it like that and then just in case we need it which i don't think we'll do but workbench over there and then i'm a time travel all right and this is maline one by the way just in case anyone's wondering Oh, Marley. Oh, gosh. Sorry. Uh, Marley, I'm sorry. I hope um I hope you're okay. And it'll get better as well for you. I'm happy to have found you on Twitch. It all feels like a little group of friends. Thank you for saying that. Thank you. It is a very lovely bunch. It is a very, very lovely bunch. Yeah, like today Hello. after work, I was kind of like, oh, my God, I don't know if I'm ready. I don't know if I can do this today. Um, but I've had like a really good time on stream. I've had very much fun and so many times like talking to you all on, on, on stream in the chat and stuff is really, really cheers me up. So yeah, thank you. Uh, also cheesy gigabyte. Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. Yeah. All right, here we are. Wow. The grass is really, really green. The grass is really green. I don't think I want that for this island. I think we're going to do... We might try... We might try fall again. I like the weeds at that time. I don't know. The thing is, if I bring down the cliffs in the back, then... <gasps> Three months? Uh, also, Cheesy, welcome to the chat. Uh, Chrissy, thank you for gifting three months of tier one to Marley. Marley, enjoy the emotes and enjoy the uh, the badge and the ad-free viewing for three months now. Chrissy, thank you so much for the support. That's like three gifted subs. Thank you so much. No, I have an ordinance update. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. Ordinances. Yes, we're going to do the early morning thing, I think. My first time catching a stream of yours, I'm really loving it. Your community is so lovely. Thank you, Janie. It's been lovely to meet you as well. And if anyone has any questions, all right. Moving on, I'd like to tell everyone about a new kind of tour available. Okay, Captain Tours. Captain Tours, yes, yes. Yes, you'll board a board and a bo boat and enjoy the ocean breeze as you make your way to your destination. Yeah, yeah. And then is there something else? And Nook's Cranny is celebrating the grant reopening. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the Able, wow. Oh my God, Isabel is, wow. Isabel hard at work today. The Able Sister tailoring shop open. The tailor shop will have all the fashion items that you would expect. And the custom designs gallery, of course. Awesome. Is that, that's all for today? She was like, I did that. <laughs> What a morning announcement. Yeah, that was it's never it's never gonna be this exciting again. And message bottle literally right here. I love the flower thing you've got going on in here. Thank you. Yeah, the the sub badges are little flowers, and then my bit badges are um like little coffee mugs, actually inspired by some IRL coffee mugs that I have. Yeah. Isabel, I'm so proud of you. You know, I know, right? Girly needs to sip of her whiskey now. <laughs> she didn't have that, even have time to watch TV. She didn't have time to do anything. She really had to prep for that. And just, oh, uh, yeah, it was, it was hard. Okay. And then also I do have this book and I guess I got some weeds. I hate those days at work. Yeah. 
I haven't worked on this island for a while. First, I was all focused and rushed finishing the Christmas island. Now I'm so stuck on working Hestia because I just love the new island. But that's also good. If you love an island, you know, and if you're if you're feeling inspired to work on it, then definitely do that for a little bit. And um, OK, also, can I say maybe Chrissy comes over first uh, so that you can drop some stuff. And then maybe once the stuff is dropped, more people fly in. That'd be great. Because then at least the drop things maybe are already saved, even if there's a crash. So only Chrissy try for now, okay? She didn't have time to lose a sock while doing laundry. <laughs> yeah, true. Yes, ma'am. Good, good, good. <laughs> Felix, oh, oh gosh. Wow, voice break. <laughs> Felix, enjoy your lurk. <laughs> I'm in puberty now. <laughs> Felix. <laughs> She was practicing it in the hour, in the mirror for hours. Yeah, she wrote like little cards. She was like, okay, first I got to go through this. And the next up, okay, okay, I can do it. I can do it. Yep. It, are those memes, Paulina? I don't get it. And, and be careful with the German, please. Okay. Alrighty. There we go. I joined Sleepy Hazel and disappeared to sleep lurk. Of course. Of course. Y'all go to bed so early. That is... That is, um... Yeah, that's impressive. I I, I sleep way too late. And then I'm, I'm always like, why am I so sleepy? Why am I so confused? And so... <laughs> Good night, Bumby. Thank you for hanging out. Hey, Hazel is your birthday twin? Ooh. Very, very good birthday twin. Very good birthday twin. Mine is Blair, who's also a very good one. But then she didn't show up on my island, and then I was mad at her, so... Yeah. Had to run to connect my Switch to load! Ooh! You've been playing so much that it's empty. Yeah, I'm so proud. Finally made myself that porridge that I wanted to get when you went on break. Let's go. I need one to two hours to fall asleep. Yeah, same. And we always only go to bed at like 11 because we get sucked into like Grey's Anatomy. And then we only go to bed at like 11 or 12 a lot of times. And then I can never fall asleep right away. And I'll, I'm always on my phone, which is terrible. And so I usually only fall asleep at like 1 or 2 in the morning. So, yeah. Did y'all finish the Vampire Diaries? No. I don't know. We have a habit of not finishing a, a show, but like moving moving on to the next one. Yeah. I think so, Marley. Yes. I caught the Animal Crossing bug again. It makes me pretty happy. Let's go. I'm rewatching Grace right now. What season are you on? We're, we're on uh, season... No spoilers, by the way. Uh, we are on season... Five now, I think. I have no real sleep schedule. I basically do the poly, polyphasic sleep because I take multiple naps during the day. Oh, I'm not a nap person. I don't know. I'm not a nap person. Um, and I feel like right, like right now, especially. I mean, I guess like if I if I end my spell garden stuff, I could like take a nap and then continue. But like, I don't know when to take a nap. I, I'm not sure. <laughs> Oh, Clara, thank you again for the brand new sub. I really appreciate it. Thank you for hanging out. And I also hope you have a lovely rest of your Wednesday. I'm tired all day. When it's time for bed, I'm suddenly awake and can't sleep. That's me too, Kiri. I'll get up in the morning. Um, especially now, you know, we have like daily meetings to start the day somewhat. And so I'm, I need to be there with like my camera turned on kind of. I guess if I was like, I can't be there today, like that probably would be fine. Um... But, uh, okay, y'all can come in now. Okay, you can start flying in. Thank you so much for waiting. And Chrissy, thank you for all the stuffs. Um, yeah, I, I get up in the morning and, and now, like, I really need to get up before. Sometimes I was like, oh, just half an hour longer, you know. And I get up in the morning and I'm like, oh, my God, I'm so tired. I could, like, just fall asleep right here at my desk. And then it kind of drags on like that throughout the day. It goes up and down a little bit. But then when it's time to sleep... You forget about that. 
Or, or I can't sleep and then I'll start reading a fan fiction. And then usually during that, I'll at some point get very sleepy. But then I'm at a point where I can't, I can't stop reading. And so I like forcefully like turn myself around um, so that I wake up again and I can continue reading. It's a very vicious cycle. <laughs> Yeah, so many unfinished shows, it's always like hyperfixation mode and then we drop sometimes, yeah. Yeah, we just, I don't even know why. I mean, Vampire Diaries, we dropped also season five, so I don't know if it's that. The thing is also, starting Grey's Anatomy, I mean, there's like 20 seasons now, so. I don't know how that's going to go. I say nap, but I sleep three to four hours each nap. Oh, I see so wait, do you also just like randomly uh, wake up in the middle of the night then and then you just kind of awake or or how does that how does that work? Same, I can't nap. It just messes me up. Yeah, I'm also not a nap person because it messes up my sleep at night, meaning I can't fall asleep right away. Same. I met with my sleep med doctor and he said my biophasic sleep schedule is actually like OK and healthy. All right. I'm late in season two. I've watched it up to season like 12 before and stopped. Yeah, I think me too. I think I also watched it before up until like season, I don't know, either like, like 12, 13, 14, somewhere like that, I think. And then I dropped it because I don't think it was on any platform and then I just never got back into it. And then we, at some point, basically we watched um, a Twitch stream. Did we watch a stream or a rerun of Detroit Become Human? Uh, and in Detroit Become Human, you know how um, there's the actor from Grey's Anatomy who, ironically enough, has not appeared where we are right now in this in the show. But um, I kept saying to Kat, like, oh, my God, he's from Grey's Anatomy. And Kat was like, what? I've never seen that. I was like, you have not seen Grey's Anatomy. And then because we got so obsessed with Detroit Become Human again, or I'd seen it before and <laughs> basically I've seen all these things and then I just pushed them on to Kat at some point. Um, and then we kind of got obsessed with... <gasps> oh my god. I need to show you something about my controller in a second. Oh, cute. Um, and then at some point we were like, oh, you know what? Since we're obsessed with, uh, with Detroit Become Human and, you know, that person is also in Grey's Anatomy, like, why don't we just maybe start watching it? And then we always get obsessed. And then we drop something else. We still have not. Okay, Kat and I literally watched. I once upon a time was one of my hyper fixations. Kat and I watched through almost all of it. We watched through the first six seasons, and then we created an entire Animal Crossing island based on that show. And we have still not seen the seventh season. I've seen it before, but we haven't finished watching it together, which is fair because it sucks. But still, you know. Yeah. It's crazy to me that Grace came out when I was in high school and it's still on. Yeah. Absolutely. I typically sleep for four hours early evening. Um, I'm up in the middle of the night for a few hours and then go back to sleep for another four hours around 3 to 4 a.m. Interesting. I'm the most awake starting at 8 p.m. and then I cannot fall asleep and need to be in the office at 8 a.m. again. So I'm not accountable for anything I do or say before I have my first coffee. Yep. I've major nap hangovers. We'll stay up late to read. Mm -hmm. Oh, drop six regular shovels and axes and then nine of each golden shovel and axes. There's need for more than just let me know in chat. Thank you, Chrissy. I wasn't ready for one of the heavier season finales. Yep. And then forgot about it because I'm so fixated on other shows. Relatable. <laughs> Grace is a huge commitment. I've rewatched five or six times, but I always restart after season 14 as I don't like the newer seasons as much. Oh, so maybe I before kind of stopped at like a good point then probably. I officially dropped Gilmer Girls. I have no intention of going back because I hate the storyline they added in season six. Same. And then, oh my God, you know what's even worse is the reunion. The reunion of Gilmer Girls is trash. Oh, welcome back, Fable. No worries. And also Tarot, welcome back. Detroit is such a good but sad game, yeah. 
I've seen a lot of people on TikTok talking about how the original study that found out we need about eight hours of sleep was only conducted on men. Yes. And that women actually need one to two hours more. I saw that on Twitter, I think. Twitter or Instagram. Um, yeah, because it has something to do apparently with like producing, producing hormones. And like men are able to do it during like sleep as well as um as well as like throughout the day when women can only do it throughout the night and so and it takes about like nine to ten hours to replenish our hormone supply so yay but i mean what else is new about like you know studies like medical studies only being conducted on men you know <laughs> yeah it's amazing to see other players' characters, not just my own. Yes. So wait, I think so. Chrissy is here. Paulina is here. I think Julia. I think Cat, like Mod Cat, and this is Schmeigy, right? I think. I was like five when Grace came out. Oh my god. I haven't watched season seven either. For me, it ended after season six. For me too. There's like one scene, or there's like two scenes. I think. Uh, in Once Upon a Time season seven with Emma and Killian in it um, that are kind of maybe sweet to see. But apart from that, it's getting to the point where they needed to end Grey's. Uh, I kind of hate I kind of hate when shows go on <gasps> cute for longer than that. Like if they've reached that point and then surpassed that point of like it should have ended. Gilmore Girls reunion is an embarrassment. Yep. The re ruin Yes. My favorite show of all time is One Tree Hill, but only season one to six. And there are nine in total. Oh, dang it. I mean, Vampire Diaries, same. There's like no spoilers because Kat still hasn't seen it. But there are eight. And I think the last... I don't know. The last two are probably not great. Plus, then they did the entire sequel stuff for that. I like the spinoff shows. I stopped watching Grace with the COVID episodes. Okay, fair. I think I'm on the beginning of season three of Gilmore Girls and my first ever watch, but everyone makes me not want to watch the last season or the reunion. Yeah. Uh, the best thing I did for my sleep was not use my phone as an alarm and charge it in a different room to break the habit. Oh my God. That makes so much sense, but I feel like I can't really make myself do that just yet. These little pocket computers are a blessing and a curse. Yes. I feel like that means women should get 26 hours, uh, 26 hours day to make up for it. Yeah, it makes you wonder because like we're still expected to um, deliver the same amount of work, if not more, actually way more. We need like women oftentimes need to do way more work to get even a glimpse of the same appreciation and there's still a glass ceiling like a lot of things still can't be reached and there's so much there's so much evidence piling up that i don't know it's it just that is a topic that upsets me a little bit so yeah schmaggy made that shirt herself oh my god cute oh no cut up maybe not <laughs> Maybe not. Uh, be careful with be careful with spoilies about Grey's Anatomy, please. Who's your favorite Grey's character? Christina is nice. Cat uh, asked me the same question at the start. Uh, at least the stuff saved, yeah. So that plan, that plan was nice. Um, uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, Cat asked me the same question about the favorite Grey's character, and it's. I feel like that's a very hard question, but Christina is. I do like Christina a lot. I love season seven of Gomer Girls, the reunion. Not so much. Also, Saki, welcome on in. Our welcome back. Welcome back. Sorry. So many series get ruined in a few last seasons. Yeah, because a lot. I feel like a lot of times they pitch certain shows um, with just like the premise. 
and they have like maybe the first season somewhat mapped out and then the rest of it is just they try to come up with it as they go but sometimes it's just you know one show i do love all the way through is pretty little liars it's cringy and i don't even care i feel like they ruin i mean i don't know the reveal was also just mm. I'm at the end of season six for of Grace for reasons, but I really want to watch season seven for the musical episode. <sighs> Oof. It's not helping my sleep that for some reason my alarm doesn't go off properly most of the time. I'm not too lazy to get I'm I'm too lazy to get an alarm clock. Yeah. Yeah. The oh how I love being a woman TikTok sound in my head with stuff like this. Yeah. 18, thank you for hanging out. Thank you again for the brand new sub as well. I hope you have a lovely, uh, lovely rest of your day. And Felix, thank you for hanging out. Oh no, it's okay. Um, yeah, the items are already here, so we don't necessarily need to wait for for Christy. That's okay. Okay. Uh, Kata and Jerry Lurk. Now with Gilmore Girls dropped, I can get into Shameless. Oh, I've never watched Shameless. I never have. I'm actually getting close to... So I'm re-watching Modern Family right now. I have to say, actually, this Grey's Anatomy rewatch for me is kind of exciting. There are certain things I still remember. There are certain characters I remember. There are certain patients I remember. Um, and sometimes there's like a specific storyline where like the patient will show up uh, and I'll be like, oh, okay. Um, and I remember them, but there's honestly, there's so many things I don't remember at all. There's full on like storylines and relationships I've literally just blocked out. So that's kind of nice. And then I'm currently rewatching um, Modern Family and I'm kind of getting close to the end of it. And for me, it's always like either Friends, Modern Family, or I think Brooklyn Nine-Nine that I'm rewatching as my comfort, like putting it on just whenever there's like a little bit of time because the episodes are only 20 minutes and stuff. And um, I'm getting closer to the end of Modern Family. And I, I have been thinking if there's like any other shows like that that i should watch maybe i don't know if you like anything like more or less like a comedy i guess i don't know but yeah and mod cat are making me watch because i said it's good and spicy oh super spicy okay i was sold at gay crime drugs and gay drug crimes what can i say I don't watch new shows or films, hence me watching Gilmore Girls for the very first time. So if anyone has any older shows or films to recommend, I'll, gla I'm, I'll gladly hear it. Ooh. Is there any reason for why you don't watch newer shows or films? Like anything in, in particular? I don't know. I think for me, like a lot of times I like to rewatch things because of the comfort factor. And then just lately, because like I was, I was a TV show person growing up. Like I constantly was watching tv shows i was very um hyper fixated on vampire diaries and then once upon a time after those were like my my shows that i i just i was so obsessed i still read fan fiction to this day so um and cat wasn't and so she hasn't seen like a lot of the things that i feel like are very essential to see so i think <laughs> i think yeah we're just kind of rewatching a bunch of that my current comfort show is Law and Order S SVU. Don't know what that says about me. Uh, Saki, we're, I, I opened my island for um, a bunch of people who are friends with me and on the Switch, and they're going to help me chop some trees and, and uh, clean up the island. I basically only watch YouTube and Twitch, so I'm very much not up to date on shows. I'm definitely not up to date either, though. I think a lot of, I don't know, nowadays I don't really watch a lot of TV shows because they're, I think sometimes, oh, they're too heavy for me. And also I get this thing where, <laughs> stupid, but I get this thing where like if a show is very hyped, I'm like, now I won't watch it. I don't know if that, that's probably like a pick me girl thing, which is very not great. But that's kind of, so like I haven't seen... Squid, squid gank, squid war, squid gank. I don't know what it was. The, the, you know, the thing. 
Um, I haven't seen Wednesday. I haven't seen like I haven't even seen Stranger Things. Um, you know, so yeah. I have seen Bridgerton. I'm very excited for Bridgerton though. New Girl is the comforter for me. I watched New Girl, but I don't know why it never really reached that comfort show status for me. I learned that they released a US version of Shameless. That's the one everyone will mean, right? Unfortunately, yes. Okay, what's the difference? Sometimes I feel so overwhelmed what to watch. I just freeze and watch the same thing over and over again. That's me too. Because it, like instead of me sitting there uh, for a long time and like scrolling through Netflix being like, ooh, what are we going to watch? What are we going to watch? I'd, I'd rather be like, oh, you know what? Let's just let's just throw on some friends or let's just throw on some modern family. You know? You watch British comedies? One of our faves to watch and rewatch is the IT crowd. There's this one with, um, I've heard some stuff about it, but then I've also recently read some stuff that's not so great about that. What is it called? The one that America Ferreira is in super superstore. I think it's, di it's a different name depending on the country. I'm such a noob in so many things. <laughs> I'm eternally an NCIS girly. I blame the autism. Yeah. I'm too scared to watch Squid Game. I think me too. I watch New Girl exclusively for Nick and Schmidt. I think I'd watch it exclusively. Yeah, like Nick actually annoys me sometimes. Like he was sometimes he was a little bit too. I don't even I don't even know how to describe it. But Schmidt, I really liked. Schmidt was awesome. Bridgerton has become a newer comfort show for me. I'm very excited for the new season. I'm like, I can't wait. And then they're splitting it up. It's. Uh, too long if a show is too hype then i won't watch it like i'm just convinced it can't possibly live up to the hype so i let the excitement die down a bit so i can go in with more neutral expectations <laughs> yeah <laughs> good game was really good but be violent okay yeah so because i hadn't seen so we also actually watched some stuff that cat had seen before that i didn't know um so we also for example watched um downton abbey which was amazing uh, Downton Abbey was very good as one again a sh kind of a show where the first few seasons were better than the last few but we did watch the entirety of it uh just not the just not the remake or just not the newest like reunion whatever they did because that wasn't available anywhere but so we watched Downton Abbey and we also oh, another thing we watched what is that called the Spanish one uh um uh Oh, uh, um, Casa de Papel, Houses Geldes. What is that in What is that in English? Not Elite, the other one. What is that called in English? Money, Money Heist, Money Heist, Heist. I don't know. Um, but basically, the same producers, I think, like Elite. That's the one we watched, but we also, we have literally not seen the last two episodes or so. Like, there's just a little bit missing now. And then we stopped again. And then I think we we started watching Vampire Diaries after or Once Upon a Time. I'm not sure. Bridgerton season two was my life for a while. Yeah. The last show I was obsessed with is One Piece live action. I loved it so much. Ooh. Okay. Are we are we waiting for someone else? If in case you're still trying to come over, like this is probably enough to be fair. Um, but if you are still waiting to come over or trying to come over, let me know. And then I'll add you all as best friends so you can go chop chop on the trees. Um, yeah, comfort sitcoms or I mean comfort shows generally. My comfort show is Supernatural. Also kind of, I mean... Only the first three seasons for me, it ends after that season. I was gonna say, it's kind of nice because technically... Um, because technically you've got so many different seasons to go through, you know? Com oh yeah, have you ever thought? Yes. 
Oh my god, my controller is vibrating like crazy. Okay, you all should be best friends. So make sure that you grab either an axe or a shovel and go to town. And I'll go and uh, I'll go clean up. I'll go clean up after you all grab all the wood and the fruit. And there we go. I love Heart of Dixie. Ooh, I also have not seen that one. Has anyone seen Tacoma FD? No. Makes me giggle so hard. My comfort show if you like dumb, silly comedy. Okay. I think there's, for me with comedy, there's like a, there's like a, there's like a limit, I think, to how, how dumb I guess it can be. Yeah. Outlander. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. Outlander. I think the new season is out too. The Leaf Balloon. Yes. Supernatural is one for me too. I started Supernatural like back when I was obsessed with Vampire Diaries, but uh, Vampire Diaries. But I don't think I got really that far because I think it just I got overwhelmed by all the seasons that existed. Thirty Rock, Alyssa, welcome to the chat. I haven't heard of Thirty Rock either. Yeah, no picking weeds, and Chrissy will take care of the roses. Leave the flowers on the beach alone. Yes, yes, thank you. My favorite show is South Park. Ooh. Outlander is one of those shows. I love it. I'm not sure I understand like all of it, to be fair. And I think Outlander for me. Oh, I forgot the sofa the tank was sitting on. Nah, it's fine. Uh, I think Outlander for me is the type of show I'm I can't I can't watch it all the time because like there's there's very very heavy scenes and i feel like some days i just kind of can't process that you know uh, do you want us to leave the pears if you need them you can take them but i would i would keep them for like tree stunting yeah i love king of the hill i also have not heard that uh coconut on the beach yeah you can also cut down I don't think I don't think I need it. I loved Stranger Things. I don't I don't know why I never watched Stranger Things. And then suddenly it became this like super hyped thing. And I just I was like, oh, my gosh, I got left behind. And same thing. What was that show called that like completely went down the drain? Riverdale? Like Riverdale was such a hyped thing. And then suddenly it was this entire like fan fiction. Turns out they were living in like a tr like a like an open relationship, weird type of internet. I don't know, it was super weird. I only ever heard about it on social media, but it was like a complete shit show, I think. Hello. Uh, Yuki, thank you for the follow, welcome on in. The first few seasons of The Walking Dead. Ooh, that actually is one of the ones that was already like a big thing back in the day when I was watching uh oh. Are y'all okay? Are y'all frozen? Oh my god, I thought you two were frozen there. <laughs> um, That was like a thing back when I was obsessed with Vampire Diaries. And um, I still never picked it up. I don't know why. I stopped because I typed. Okay, good. <laughs> I was like, oh no. Uh, Mini Panda, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. Also, by the way, for anyone who is confused what's going on right now, uh, basically I opened my gates and a couple of people came over uh, who are already with friends with me on my Switch and they're helping me chop down trees because my plan is to have or to flatten this island essentially. I'm going to keep the water, but I want to get rid of the cliffs because I want to do a no cliffs flat island, I guess. So yeah. Riverdale season one was incredible. Yeah, right? That's what I heard too. And then it kind of drifted off. Killing Eve. I've heard that before. Have not watched it. There's a few exceptions to my no newer releases. If anything, Star Trek drops. I always watch it with dad. Doctor Who. Oh. Mamma Mia musical films and the never ending story remake that Disney's making will also be an exception. The Hobbit films were an exception, but I don't really count them. Okay. Oh, Kata, it's okay. It's okay. 
I read the Outlander books. Ooh, from my grandma. I just couldn't really watch the series because the books were just so damn good. Yeah, yeah. I think that that happens a lot of times, especially if you if you read books and you've got like a really good imagination. This one singular tree there. <laughs> then, um, yeah, sometimes the shows just don't live up to to what you what you imagine, I guess. Don't get me started on Riverdale. <laughs> I never stopped watching shows, but I stopped watching Riverdale. Yeah, from what I heard. Yeah. Camo frog be like, bye trees and shade. Riverdale was insane. I stopped watching a couple of seasons in. It got too weird. Highly recommend 30 Rock if you like smarter comedy. Jokes are very layered. I find new stuff to laugh at even after watching it every night as I go to sleep for years. Oh, okay. 30 Rock. I'll try to remember that. Avatar The Last Airbender is probably the ultimate comfort series for me, uh -huh, especially because the overall theme is like hope in the face of an unjust world, which I need sometimes. Yes. Oh my God. So true. Uh, Fluffy Cloud. Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. I watched Riverdale, the Heathers musical episode with my girlfriend because she never watched it before and she was too stunned to speak. <laughs> the Heathers musical episode. That sounds wild. <laughs> that sounds kind of wild. My grandma loved historic novels. When I was old enough, I found out some were quite, well, spicy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I think um, Mia keeps saying that. And sometimes I'm like, oh, my God, Mia, no, it's so good because she was like she wanted to watch uh, Outlander because she wanted to watch like something historic. And then it's uh, it's a lot of spice, basically, like the TV show as well. And so she was kind of disappointed. But the show is very good if you go into it with like, the I guess, the right expectations. I rewatched Riverdale because I love the first season, but now that I've seen it again, it sucks too. It's not as bad as the future seasons, but like the student teacher relationship. Oh my God. G yeah. Like in uh, Pretty Little Liars, watching that now, that shit is twisted as like, oh my God. No. No. Never any story in Labyrinth were pillars of my childhood. Bless David Bowie and that sparkly mullet. Killing Eve is perfect. Have we talked about that before here on stream? I feel like we've talked about that before. And sometimes people keep telling me this, but I never like actually go and watch the stuff. Because again, I, I I think I'm too anxious. I can't do like new stuff. I need to know what's coming, you know? Uh, Quantum, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. I don't know if you heard that because of the ad, but thank you so much. Killing Eve is awesome. All right. It's going to be a flat island. Yes. I plan to do a no terraforming island in the future, but also love to try a uh, totally flat island as well. I have done, again, ad right now, so I don't know if you can hear me. Um, I have done a flat island before, which was Naporia. Uh, that was a swamp island. And essentially, I had it completely flat, but with like a ton of waterscaping. So I would say like half of that island was literally waterscaping. Um, are y'all already done? I can't keep up. Oh, Chrissy, no. Not that again. Chaos. Chaos. You pushed me. I did not push you. You ran into me and you bounced off. Cause my my body do be bouncy. What? Uh cat. Did you see that? That was attempted murder. Oh, and now I'm being uh, Cat. <laughs> Attempted murder, and then people are throwing stuff at me. Okay, wait, I gotta pick up more stuff. Are y'all already done? Am I the only one working now? <sighs> it was wild. She's really into musical. I was very embarrassed to tell her I only knew the musicals from a Riverdale episode, and then we had to watch it. Oh my god. I love Heathers. The movie is honestly my favorite movie out there. And also musicals perfection, but the Heathers musical episode in Riverdale, an actual crime. <laughs> oh, with Sandra. Oh, oh, I see. I see. I see. I saw a trailer for that. I think Killing Eve is, pro is not my genre, to be honest. I don't think it's my 
it's my genre but i think it's it's from what i've seen like the quality of it seems amazing the swedish title of heathers translates into witches homework and deadly lessons okay on my screen you pushed me sure i did i mean uh chrissy was pushed chrissy was not pushed I'm picking up stuff. Good. So Paulina and I are, are the only ones working. Oh, and Julia is still busy. Okay. <laughs> yeah, lots of people helping and then suddenly you're done. It's always impressive. Like if you do this by yourself, Chrissy's just taking a bath right now. <laughs> Spikey's feeding me while in the pond. That's an odd duck. I've never seen this type of duck before. Have you seen this duck before? Well, you know, Spikey's making sure it's fed. So that's good. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Okay. Oh, there's some more stuff to pick up. Okay, okay. I thought Hot Assassin Spice doing Hot Assassin Spice stuff was everyone's genre. I think I'm too... I, I think I'm too anxious and depressed for that type of stuff right now. I need happy. I need to believe that there is like fun stuff happening in the world sometimes, you know? Can we keep the duck? Sure. I, I think I think that's yeah. I'll just make Chrissy stay on this island forever. <laughs> hot assassin spies doing hot assassin spy stuff. Should be should be in the in the ads. Yeah, I think so. I think so. If you want super mushy, almost too cheesy stuff, uh, I don't know if I want that either. I think, I don't know, I think comedy is kind of where it's at. You know, like Modern Family right now is exactly my my jam. Yeah, which Heartstopper. Also haven't seen it. Super hyped, have not seen it. I'm just sat here watching the ducks. <laughs> I need happy and then watch this Grey's Anatomy. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Grey's Anatomy really is. And also, I won't lie, watching it back now, sometimes I feel like there's scenes in there that feel kind of bad. <laughs> like I'm like cringing a little bit, but they still manage to make you cry. All the time. <gasps> you don't like Modern Family? Andrew, why? Uh, why? Why? Uh... I mean, don't get me wrong, I feel like there's certain storylines that could have had, I guess, like a better ending or just, you know, like a better in-between. I I still, I don't know, I really like it. Like, Phil cracks me up, you know? This weird cow is following me here right now. I don't know what's up with her. <laughs> uh, drop it by my house. Drop it by my house, please. I'm right at the entrance. Did she? Uh, hello, people. Sloppy work. Get your ass. <laughs> hello. Hello, excuse me. What is this tree doing here? <laughs> Grace wasn't always this very progressive, like talks about many important topics. Yeah, I think so too. Especially, I'm not going to lie. I There's a... <laughs> Oh my god. Did you see how much that glitched? <laughs> oh, wild hot dog appeared. Excuse me. Is he killing me right now? <laughs> this one lonely tree. Um. Awa. Awa. It's too predictable for me, like friends. Okay, okay, that's fair. Uh, Janie, by the way, I didn't even say thank you. Thank you for the 100 bits. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. I got it distracted because this is what I meant when I said chaos. Remember? Remember the chaos? Ooh, nice. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. And now the overcompensating. Yep. Toxic work environment. I just want the work to get done. <laughs> I want grim British crime drama only killing you was almost too joyful. Okay. Okay. 
I wish the Heartstopper novels weren't graphic novels. I love Alice Oseman's book, but despite going to comic school in high school, I don't like comics or graphic novels, which is, I think, very valid. I feel like I'd, I'd actually think the same. I'm just getting a good dusting over here right now. Thanks. Oh, there's more stuff over here. I I I, th I think I'm dusted now. <laughs> I've been watching Mike and Molly. Oh, I don't think I've watched that one either. I don't think I watched that one. As Simsalyn, thank you for hanging out. I see no chaos, only helpful workers. Do you wear glasses? Because maybe you should clean them. <laughs> I don't think you do though, right? I don't see many green lights in this work environment. Green flags. Yep. Yeah, yeah, right. Right. Uh, excuse. Why are people continuously hitting me with their axe? Do you want me? Do you want to tell me something? <laughs> Stone. Roswell is like. What's going on? Uh, Chrissy. Cr Chrissy's not. Chrissy's not doing so well right now. <laughs> Chrissy's not doing so well right now. Chrissy's Spider Woman. Melissa McCarthy is awesome, yeah. You know, Persephone, when I look at myself like this, I always just see that like picture of I don't know if you remember remember, but there was like there was Persephone. And then there was like Perlene, and then there was me. Like it's always just the Chrissy always has to show off her special reactions. <laughs> is that Julia? <laughs> Running around us in circle. You're going to lose your balloon. No running in the hall. <laughs> oh my god. Roswell is so confused. Um. Okay, do we want to do stretching? Also, you know what? I'm scared. Okay, wait. You know what I just realized? <laughs> okay, remember how, like, or do you know how, I guess, like, Maybe it's a little dirty, okay? Don't pay any attention to it. You you know how like your Joy-Con is supposed to have that ridge around it? You know? <laughs> I don't can you see that at the top there? It's like it's like completely gone. I have literally played so much that I have worn down the ridge on my Joy-Con thingy. <laughs> I wore it smooth. I feel like actually it doesn't quite like I it kind of almost doesn't like look like a circle anymore. Totally. I feel like I need to take a picture of this and put this in the discord to kind of show you <laughs> true gamer moment for real. I mean, if we check, we can check. Um, you're going to see my my thing, my thing, my friend code but that's okay um i have played for almost four thousand hours i guess i think i've never seen that before i'm just different you know i'm just different <laughs> how did you do that i don't know hours of flattening my island i think <laughs> animated emote idea maline balancing nook's, nook's balloon oh i don't know if that's possible with like the oh my god schmeige is preparing for stretches oh that's so cute I don't know if that's possible size wise, but that's a cute idea. It reminds me of my swimming kids when they're driving me insane. Yeah, right? When you game too hard. <laughs> I it actually looks I kid you not, it looks flat at the it looks kind of like it's Yeah, I don't know. I'm a what can I say? I'm a gamer. I'm a gamer now. <laughs> I can't. I see signs of Animal Crossing addiction. What? <laughs> okay, let's do some stretching. Also, fluffy, fluffy cloud. Enjoy your lurk. Flattening. Ha! <laughs> I see what you did there. Uh, I'm just going to say that that's exactly what I intended to do. Yes. Oh, Julie, do... Oh, dang it. 
Sorry, Julia. I, I already did the stretching. I did. I just saw that message. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, okay, we're gonna do buttons. Forced workout before bed. That's good. That's good. You know, stretching before bed. Very good. We got Tank joining us, Tom Nook, and what's his name? Orville? Wilbur? I have a black screen. Uh oh. My crash? Didn't that didn't that um happen last time too? I get Joy-Con drift and it's annoying plus I have a switch light. Yeah, oh that sucks. Yeah, I might have to get like Joy-Con like caps or something. Or, oh, cat was way too late there. Oh, Julia. Ah, Julia. She's like, no, I don't want. I don't want to stretch before bed. Leave me alone. <laughs> um, I might have to get like the Joy-Con cab thingies for for this one because I mean I can't continue to wear it down like that. That's kind of weird. Uh, Jiminy, thank you so much for um for the follow and welcome on in. It doesn't work. Oh no. Did you accidentally like do the joy cons and you have to move? Oh my God, we're all so out of sync. Wear it down until your thumb is the Joy-Con. Yeah. Forbidden flat Joy-Cons. <laughs> there are some really cute cows. I think I got some, um, but I don't want to have two. I don't want to have ones that are too big. Um, but I got some uh, with floops on my wish list, I think. Uh, welcome to the chat, to the chat, Jiminy. I just opened today for like because some people help me uh, with flattening, but usually I don't. Usually I don't. Okay, now let me fix my face cam. Or like up here. Okay. No, 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 not on, not on that one. Oh my god, no, the responding, responding to Jiminy. It was buttons, but it just didn't work. Oh dang it! It's okay. I played so much in 2020 because I had a mental breakdown right before the game release. So I reached 2k hours by August. I have the OLED now, so the hours are reset. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I definitely played a lot. It's not on my throne, though. I think my throne wishlist is empty because that requires like credit card. Which is um, really weird because lots of Europeans don't have a credit card. Christy with the spice again. Okay, all standing in a row, please. Please line up. Please line up for a commemorative picture. Mm hmm. Wait. Yeah, there we go. Okay, scooching over to the right a little bit. Cat is currently not really in it. You can also go somewhere else, maybe. I reached at least 5k hours or something. I was too scared to look. Yeah. Roswell should not be in it, though. No, no, please. Please get in line, Polina. Please get in line. No, no special treatment here. Mm-hmm. Y'all are so chaotic. Oh, my God. All righty. Thank you. Leaf is a team player. Leaf is just, just like also here. Don't have a leaf balloon, but I'm also here. Thumbnail potential. True. True. Y'all are so cute. <laughs> oh, Paulina smelling leaf. All right. Okay. Um, Thank you so much, everyone, for helping. In case you'd like to treat yourself to some shovels or axes, feel free to do that. Um... 
Make sure to take a balloon with you. That's the only thanks you will get for helping me. And it's not even provided by me. <laughs> Everyone in chat uh, has the imaginative uh, imaginative balloon as well. Y'all are part of the, of the leaf balloon cult, if you want to be, that is. And then we, we give out hugs. Everyone, everyone hug, please. Modern slavery. Cat is just like, no. Okay, bye. I'm just gonna stand over here and offer hugs. If anyone wants to come over and give me one back, then feel free to. <laughs> Hi. Aww. <laughs> Gracie just collapsed. Um, Sarah, thank you for hanging out. My mom said I'm not allowed to be part of a cult. It's harmless. It's harmless. Yay, group hug. Oh, my voice breaking like I'm a, like I'm a pubescent, no, what is that word? Teen boy, pubescent? I feel like I read that somewhere and I thought like I could use it, but then I felt too self-conscious about it. That happens. That happens. English being a second language. Yay. Alrighty. Pubescent is a word. Heck yeah. Uh, circle hug while Chrissy is collapsed. Chrissy had too much to drink. Happens, you know? The chocolate milk was too much. The way you're blocking my face with your balloon is kind of rude though. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Alrighty. If you are... um. If y'all are ready, uh, not me. <laughs> that looks kind of inappropriate. <laughs> A summoning circle, yes, yes. <laughs> uh, if y'all are ready, I'll go yeet. Okay, I'll go yeet. Thank you so so much for, <laughs> thank you so much for helping. Big big hug again, also to chat. Bye bye, and I'm a yeet. All right. Bye-bye, everyone. Thank you for helping. Caffeine is already freaking flattened. I mean, I still have to tackle the cliffs, of course, um, but I will do that. And then Sunday, we can get started on some code shopping and some general shopping or, you know, whatever. We'll kind of see. I might, I don't know how much I'll get done in terms of like item shopping and item prepping, but um, you know, like an in-game mood board, something like that. Yeah. Alrighty. Um, and you know what? With this, I I I think we'll also come to an end on for today's I was gonna say video. No, I'll stop the recording though. Um for today's stream, we have reached our goal. We've been live for five hours. A little bit more than five hours. It's already ten. We still need to watch the Love is Blind reunion if we can. Uh, sometimes I think Netflix glitches. I don't know if we'll be able to. Um, but so I think we'll kind of somewhat end it here. Oh, look at that sky. And I'm going to say thank you all so much for hanging out today. I had a lovely time today. I had a, had a very, very fun time on stream. Thank you for all the good chats. Thank you for all of the um, support as well. Thank you so much for all those gifted subs, for all the new subs today, for all the biddies. I appreciate it. Thank you for hanging out, for lurking, for chatting, um, for, yeah, for spending time with me. Uh, Kefian is at, oh, I just hit myself. Kefian is at three stars. Uh, we reached our goal. Our autofills are, all things considered, actually not that bad. So that's that's nice. Um, and I'll be live again on, on Sunday. Uh, we will be live at 5 p.m. this week. So we'll do the slightly later stream again. I hope that's okay. Uh, so we'll be, li we'll be live at 5 p.m. on Sunday. 5 p.m. CST, that is, on Sunday to do some code shopping, some in-game mood boarding. And then we'll see kind of you know, how we get started. And then I guess next week we'll do the first bit of, of decorating. So yeah. Thank you all for hanging out. I do appreciate it a lot. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, all of you also, uh, Roswell is just really wants to be part of this. <laughs> oh my God, the wings. Oh, five hours just disappeared. True. I'm so excited for code shopping. Me too. Uh, code shopping, by the way, means I will search for some codes on Pinterest off stream. And then on Sunday, we'll sit down and we'll test those together. But yeah. Um. Thank you, everyone, for hanging out. Thank you for all the lovely chats today. Thank you, mods, for helping. Thank you, everyone who lurked and who chatted and who supported. Um. 
and we'll see if there will be a new YouTube video. I'm 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 gonna keep you updated, I guess. And then, as usual, I'll say bye bye over here and switch on over to the ending screen. And I hope you all have a lovely rest of your Wednesday. Whether you're gonna go to sleep, good night, or have um yeah, hopefully a lovely rest of your day. And um, I'll see you Sunday. All right, bye bye everyone.